The Great Ruler Chapter 1376 to Chapter 1400 Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 1376, Lower Plains Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The vast heavens and earth were enveloped in crimson. Even the distant mountains were red, as if they had been infused with endless blood, full of desolation and annihilation. Buzz Above a mountain, the space was suddenly torn apart. A plain passage was formed as a lithe figure descended from it. This figure, of course, was Mu Chen. After seeing that there was no strange movement around him, Mu Chen relaxed a little, and he concealed the surging spiritual energy around him. The level of power between heaven and earth on this lower plane is indeed, lower. Mu Chen stretched out his hand, and the power of heaven and earth converged to form a ball of light. He felt the power of it, but his brows knit together. The power of heaven and earth was far less powerful than the power in the Great Thousand World, so it would be much a slower process if he wanted to restore power here. Fortunately, this time, I brought the Mu Estate's reserves of sovereign spiritual liquid. Mu Chen sighed. If there was no sovereign spiritual liquid as a backup, after encountering combat, he would have to hold back, as he would be always worried about the consumption of spiritual energy. Even then, he had to be careful not to run out of spiritual energy and put himself in jeopardy. After sighing, Mu Chen suddenly clenched his fist, and the white dragon spiritual pearl flashed out. As soon as the white dragon spiritual pearl appeared, the white light above it seemed to have become brighter. However, Mu Chen was surprised to see that the mark left in it by Reverend White Dragon remained untriggered. Is it necessary to get to the place where Reverend White Dragon was to bring out the thread of attachment? The good news was that at least the White Dragon Spiritual Pearl had reacted to the Lower Plains, which meant he was not in the wrong place. Now that the Lower Plains have been occupied by the Fiend Blood Tribe, Mu Chin gazed at the dark red world in which he could smell bloody and chilling fluctuations. The spiritual energy in his body reacted resentfully. Apparently, the source of these fluctuations was from the Fiend Blood Tribe. From this point of view, the extraterritorial race seemed to be transforming this lower plane, trying to infect the power between the heavens and the earth, and change it into what they needed. I don't know how strong this fiend blood tribe is, Mu Chen murmured to himself. He could not act recklessly. He had to find out whether there was a demon emperor in the fiend blood tribe that occupied the lower planes. Every demon emperor had combat power comparable to that of a heavenly sovereigns. If there was a demon emperor, it would not be good news. After all, with his current strength, the odds of success would not be too optimistic if he were to clash against a demon emperor. I should investigate the situation first. After making up his mind, Mu Chen did not dawdle. He transformed into a stream of light and shot off into the distance. He chose to travel at a low altitude in order to avoid detection by the fiend blood tribe. At full speed, the mountains were quickly left behind, but as he moved on, Mu Chen frowned harder. He found that there was no sound emitted by the birds and beasts, and the whole world was in a state of stillness, like a world of the dead. Have all the creatures in this world been slaughtered by the fiend blood tribe? At this point, Mu Chen's expression was gloomy. Are these d asterisk mn fiend blood tribes that brutal? Mu Chen's thoughts flashed, and his perception spread quickly, but fortunately, half an hour later, he sensed some fluctuations. His silhouette appeared directly on a mountain top. He looked out into the distance, only to see that the outline of a city loomed on the earth. Looking at the city, he could sense that there were various auras in it, some of which had the same aura as this world. If he was right, they were the natives of the world. Are there any more natives here? Mu Chen's gaze flickered as he moved swiftly and appeared above the city. He concealed his spiritual energy to blend into the space, so no one could detect him. Standing above the city, his gaze swept down, only to see that the city was a scene of prosperity. Countless people shuttled around and presented a lively city scene. However, Mu Chen looked at the scene and frowned. Despite the hustle and bustle, he felt a strange aura. Those figures did show a variety of life, but Mu Chen was clear that something was amiss. All of the people were pale, and in the depths of their various expressions, hid a sense of numbness. These people, though alive, were more like walking corpses. Who? As Mu Chen was puzzled, suddenly a shrill rattle rang out in the city, reverberating between heaven and earth. Boom! When the shrill voice sounded in the bustling city, all the people frantically turned around and fled to their residences. Their previous smiles disappeared, replaced by a thick impression of fear. Cackle. A thousand blood shadows burst out in the depths of the city. They cackled sharply like hawks, descended from the sky, and pounced on the people of the city. In the sky, Mu Chen's gaze grew solemn as he saw those blood shadows clad in bloody robes. Their faces were pale, but there were two sharp fangs protruding out from their mouths, flickering with cold light. These people were obviously the fiend blood tribe. They swooped down, stretched out their palms, and seized the figures who were escaping in a frenzy. They then soared up, and their sharp fangs pierced into their necks. 
Their victims' bodies dried up quickly as they struggled madly. When the blood was drained, they discarded them as if they were garbage. In just a few minutes, the city that had seemed to be lively and peaceful was strewn with corpses and blood. High up in the air, Muchen finally regained his senses. His face suddenly became iron blue with fury, because he finally understood what had happened. The fiend blood tribe deliberately gathered these natives as if they were keeping pigs and dogs in captivity. When they were hungry, they started to massacre them while enjoying the fear in their desperate attempts to escape. The natives of the world, though surviving, were kept in captivity as food. How cruel and brutal it was. In the city, a blood shadow fell from the sky and grabbed a young girl who was frantically trying to escape. He stretched out a cold palm, touching the girl's beautiful cheek. However, her face was full of despair. She struggled madly but could not get out of the blood shadow's tight grasp. He stuck out his tongue, gently licking the girl's white neck. He inhaled the scent of fresh blood and smiled. You're even a virgin. I'm really lucky. As he spoke, his sharp fangs moved in to pierce the girl's neck, and he could not wait to enjoy the virgin's blood. But just as he was about to prick into the flesh, his head was suddenly stiff. A slender palm held his skull so that he could not move. The sovereign from the fiend blood tribe also froze, then his gaze swept towards the youth who appeared behind him. His expression changed, as he realized he did not even know when this figure had appeared. Who are you? How dare you disturb my meal time? Bang! He was greeted with a fist that clenched forcefully. His head exploded in an instant, and blood spattered the girl's face. This sudden change also shocked the girl. She stared dumbfounded at the sovereign from the fiend blood tribe who had collapsed, even forgetting to wipe away the blood on her face. However, she quickly came back to her senses, but glee did not surface in her eyes. Instead, she grew increasingly desperate as she looked at Mu Chen and said, trembling, leave quickly. In the past, there were people who wanted to resist these demons, but in the end, not only were they mutilated, but others even died as a result of the fiend blood tribe's wrath. Thus, in her opinion, none of them would survive this time. At that moment, the other sovereigns of the fiend blood tribe also discovered the situation. Enraged whistles reverberated through the city, and in the next moment, countless blood shadows suddenly shot down towards Mu Chen, wanting to tear him apart. The natives of the city who were escaping wildly, looked at this scene and crumpled with despair and numbness. They knew that when the fiend blood tribe tore up the rebellious figure, they would incur their wrath and none would live. However, it was better to die than to suffer such a fate worse than death. Whoosh! Whoosh! Over the city, countless blood shadows whistled down as they charged straight towards Mu Chen amid countless numb stares. Mu Chen ignored the blood shadows and stretched out his palm, helping the girl wipe away the blood on her cheeks. A gentle smile bloomed on his handsome face. Don't worry, it's all right. As he finished speaking, he raised his head, looking at the sky covered with blood shadows. His expression grew cold as a chilling glint flashed in his eyes. He slowly lifted the soles of his feet, then stomped them with a sudden blow. Boom! A spiritual storm suddenly raged out from within him and filled the heavens and the earth. Bang! 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 The spiritual storm roared past, and the thousands of blood shadows that had rushed in were suddenly still. In the next moment, they burst into terrible screeching, but just as the sound spread, their bodies were struck by the spiritual energy's terrible power. One after another, their bodies exploded and erupted into blood mist all over the sky. In just a few moments, the blood shadows in the sky were annihilated. The roaring city suddenly descended into deathly silence. In the city, the natives who were ready to die looked at the scene in a daze and did not regain their senses for a long time. They had never thought that the demons who seemed invincible to them could be massacred like flies with just one stomp from that figure. They turned their heads stiffly and looked at the calm, slender young man descending through the mist of blood and began to tremble frantically. In front of Mu Chen, the beautiful girl was also trembling as she looked at the scene. In the next moment, she suddenly knelt down heavily before Mu Chen. Her hoarse and mournful voice rang through the air, Divine Lord, please help us. In her eyes, who could have easily killed these powerful demons, other than the legendary Divine Lord? Chapter 1377, Blood Demon General Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The sense of despair that could be heard in the girl's shrill and aggrieved voice was enough to move anyone. At this time, the other natives in the city came to their senses upon hearing the young girl's sad voice. They knelt down in the same direction where Mu Chen was, trembling, as if they were grasping for the last straw of hope. Divine Lord, please help us, they all cried in unison. Their voices kept ringing in the air, as deep despair was written on all of their faces. They had lost all of their dignity, and were looking at future lives like the kind that pigs and dogs in captivity would lead. The only purpose of their survival seemed to be as a supply source of blood for the fiend blood tribe. Of course, they would be allowed to reproduce, but their offspring would also be kept in captivity like pigs and dogs. 
It was not that they did not think of resisting this captivity, but under such an absolutely powerful force, their resistance would undoubtedly be like a struggle of ants versus giants. It would have little effect, except to give some pleasure to those demons when they finally crushed them, just like ants. After all, those demons were unparalleled in power. But now, such a mysterious and powerful presence had appeared when they had lost all hope. Although they did not know whether the mysterious young man was of their own kind, they were relieved to see that at least the person in front of them did not emanate a malicious aura. They finally began to believe that their fates might actually be changed by this mysterious youth. At the thought of this, the innumerable natives frantically kowtowed their heads onto the ground, regardless of the blood that was flowing from their foreheads. After all, this flow of blood was a passing physical pain that was nothing compared to the shame of being held in captivity. Mu Chen looked at this scene and sighed in his heart. At this moment, he finally understood why all of the Great Thousand World, in the face of the invasion of the extraterritorial race, would choose to abandon all of its grudges and fight together. After all, if the extraterritorial race were to really dominate the Great Thousand World, all of the creatures would surely be enslaved in captivity, like the natives in this lower plane. As such, the extraterritorial race was the real enemy that they could not coexist with. With a wave of his sleeve, a soft force swept across the area, helping those who were kowtowing to stand up. Mu Chen then looked around at the trembling eyes of the people and nodded slightly, then said, Don't worry, I will save you and free you from this place. These lower planes were part of the Great Thousand World. Although they were lower in level, they were still regarded as being part of the larger world. Although they were seen as inferior, once the emergence of supreme talents had broken through the shackles of the world, they were bound to be true great heroes. As such, their future achievements were unlimited. Two examples of this phenomena were the, the Flame Emperor and the Martial Ancestor. Therefore, as these were people of the same great thousand world, even though Mu Chen was no saint, he would not sit by and let the fiend blood tribe slaughter them like pigs and dogs. Thank you, Divine Lord. The girl in front of him had tears all over her face as she thanked Mu Chen. The others were so excited that they wanted to kneel down again, but were held by a gentle force that made them unable to kneel. There seems to be another fellow in there. Mu Chen said as he looked at the deepest part of the city. In his perception, there was a veiled, overbearing aura in the depths of the city, but it seemed to be in a slumber presently. Hearing Mu Chen's comment, the girl's face turned ashen and her voice trembled with fear as she said, Divine Lord, that is the Blood Demon General. His strength is extremely terrible. Since he is in a deep slumber now, let's hurry up and leave before he wakes up. They were extremely terrified of the Blood Demon General because every time he woke up, he would consume the blood of thousands of people. He was incomparably brutal. Hmm. The Blood Demon General. Mu Chen murmured and smiled, then suddenly clenched his fist. As he did so, a giant sphere of light formed in his palm. He then threw it directly into the city's depths, while innumerable frightened eyes watched him. Boom! As the spiritual ball of light exploded, countless buildings were raised. The next moment, a red column of blood rose to the sky and a low roar that was filled with hostility rang through the heavens and the earth. Who dares to disturb my sleep, a voice demanded. The voice sounded more like a roar than anything. Upon hearing this low roar, the natives of the city slumped down as their legs gave out from under them. Their faces were terrified, as the city's most terrible demon king had clearly awoken just now. We will all die. Someone cried out in terror. There was despair in all of the people's eyes. In their perception, the blood demon general was too terrifying. They feared that, even if the mysterious divine lord was powerful, he might not necessarily be able to defeat the blood demon general. Divine lord, if the situation turns for the worse, please promise that you will leave, the girl said, her face deathly pale. Mu Chen looked at their fear and shook his head in exasperation. He had already realized the Blood Demon General's strength, which should be equivalent to a complete earthly sovereign's in the Great Thousand World. Now, he was confident that he could easily crush him with just a flick of his finger. In the Fiend Blood Tribe, what grade is the Blood Demon General regarded as being? Mu Chen asked. The girl froze for a moment, then immediately shook her head, not sure of the answer. In their eyes, the Blood Demon General was like the King of Demons, hence, they could not even imagine there being any creatures that could be stronger. Mu Chen was slightly disappointed, as it seemed that the information that these people knew was extremely limited. Divine Lord, we don't know much, but the Queen certainly would. Looking at Mu Chen's disappointment, the girl hastily added. The Queen? Mu Chen froze as he wondered. What kind of Queen do these natives have? But, before he could ask, a bloody light suddenly descended from the sky into the city's depths. The light landed and transformed into a figure that was donned in red robes. On his fair body's surface, there were many bloody runes, and he looked extremely unsettling. Clearly, this was the Blood Demon General. After he appeared, he looked at the blood mist, his changing instantly. He then snapped in fury, how dare you kill my people? Who did it? Get out! 
His roar turned into a rolling sonic boom that swept across the heavens and the earth, causing countless natives to tremble in fear. They are just some blood-sucking bed bugs. It's nothing if they are dead, so why raise such a fuss? Mu Chin raised his head and smiled at the blood demon general. You did it. You insolent brat. Blood light surged in the blood demon general's eyes as he glared at Mu Chen with murderous intent. The next moment, a massive bloody beam of light burst from his body as his figure turned into afterimages before skimming through the space and charging towards Mu Chen. A terrible sea of blood roared behind the afterimages as they went. Mu Chen looked at the rolling sea of blood and shook his head. The next moment, his eyes suddenly became cold as he clenched his fist and dealt out a heavy punch. Boom! A crystal light spread out of the blow, instantly bombarding the howling sea of blood. Bang! As the blow fell, the space shook. The earth also shattered into pieces, while the surging sea of blood exploded. Within the sea of blood, a shrill cry was heard. Many of the natives were horrified to see a humiliated blood shadow fly out from the erupted sea of blood at that moment. Bang! Bang! The blood shadow smashed into countless buildings, then plowed a deep trace trench on the ground as it flew out of the city due to the forceful impact of the blow. Mu Chen looked at the figure, and with a grip of his palm, he sent a force of intense suction surging outward. The figure, who was just blown away, was immediately sucked back and caught in Mu Chen's grasp. Mu Chen then bowed his head and looked at the extremely twisted and cold body. Seeing that there was still an incredulous look on the blood demon general's face, the corners of Mu Chen's mouth could not help but twitch. He did not expect that the blood demon general would be so weak and vulnerable. After all, Mu Chen had been able to kill him with just a single blow. What a loser. I still wanted to pry some information out of you. Mu Chen shook his head in exasperation, then threw the blood demon general's body out like a piece of garbage. Seeing this, the city grew dead silent. Those who had trembled in fear at the appearance of the blood demon general were frozen once again. They felt that everything was so surreal at this moment. Not only had the blood demons been beaten to death like ants, but even the blood demon general, who was like a demon king, had been annihilated in a single blow, all at the hands of the mysterious young man in front of them. Have I been tortured so much that this is all a hallucination from my tormented mind, someone exclaimed in wonder. Many other people were also murmuring in disbelief. All of these things were really too surreal. They could not imagine that there were such powerful people in this world. Divine Lord. The beautiful girl looked fervently at Mu Chen as she wondered in her heart. Other than the legendary Divine Lord, who else could be so powerful? Have the gods seen our despair? Did they come down to save us? Hurry up and go. Seeing such a display of wonder and affection, Mu Chen smiled gently and waved at the crowd. Before waiting for them to say anything further, he vanished into thin air. Seeing this, the girl and many of the natives panicked, but Mu Chen disappeared so quickly, they couldn't stop him. Eventually, they all looked at each other with bitter smiles. Everyone then knelt down on the spot where Mu Chen had just disappeared from. After a while, they got up again and began to flee the city frantically. They knew that there would soon be other blood demons from the fiend blood tribe arriving, and if they did not escape, they would end up in captivity again. As the natives fled, Mu Chen flashed out in the sky. As he looked at the fleeing figures, he thought to himself. They mentioned a queen. It sounds like she knows a lot about the fiend blood tribe. In the world that is occupied by the fiend blood tribe, do they still have the strength to unite together and resist? But. Their strength must not be strong enough to counteract the fiend blood tribe. It seems that I need to follow them secretly for a while. Chapter 1378, The Queen in White Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Many people fled across the mountains as though they were running for their lives. Everyone had a flustered look on their face, and they kept turning their heads to look behind them. It was as if they were afraid that a demon was coming after them. These were the indigenous people from the city whom Mu Chen had saved. After they had left the city, they rushed the entire way, in fear of being captured by the fiend blood tribe again. They did not dare to stop moving. Even though some of their team members dropped off along the way, most of them continued to press on. Mu Chen stood in the sky above these people. He withdrew his spiritual energy and hid himself in the void. As he looked at the indigenous people, he went deep in thought. Mu Chen had been following them for some time, and he could tell that the people knew where they were going. Apparently, they knew where they had to go in order to be safe. Is it the queen whom they were referring to? Mu Chen muttered to himself, and he found it strange. Is it possible that the indigenous people have the power to fend for themselves in the lower plains? However, he found it unlikely. How can they gather together when the fiend blood tribe is ruling over them? Mu Chen did not show himself to these people for several reasons as he followed them secretly. He wanted them to lead him to the queen whom they were talking about. Mu Chen did not want to associate with them before he knew more about the queen. He had come alone to the fiend blood tribe's territory, and he had to be careful. 
As Muchen thought of this, he lowered his head once again to look at the people who were on the run. After hurrying along for two days, Muchen felt that they had started to slow down. He then looked into the distance, and his gaze froze. He saw many towering cities beyond the mountains. The cities were bustling with noise, and they were joined together with high city walls. From far, they looked like a large city-state. Muchen glanced at it, and he was unable to see the end of the city-state. According to his estimation, there were about 100 million indigenous people staying in the city-state. He found it puzzling that the Fiend Blood Tribe had allowed such a large number of indigenous people to exist. As Mu Chen was still thinking about this, those people who had reached the city-state shouted out in joy. They then flooded toward the city-state. As they neared the city-state, a few hundred figures darted out and stopped them from entering. Where did you come from? Those people shouted as they looked at the large amount of people moving toward the city-state. Apparently, they were the sentries. We come from Battle City, the girl who Mu Chen had saved earlier said loudly as she stepped out. Battle City? The sentries looked at one another in amazement and asked, that place is being guarded by a blood demon general. How did you manage to escape from him? The girl said excitedly, a deity has come down from the heavens and killed the top powers of the fiend blood tribe in Battle City. He even killed the blood demon general with one blow. The sentries widened their eyes and rebuked her at the same time, saying, you are spouting nonsense. The sentries were aware of the ruthless fiend blood tribe. They could not fend off the fiend blood tribe's power, and the blood demon general was even more terrifying. However, the girl standing before them said that the blood demon general had been killed by someone with one blow, which made it sound ridiculous. However, the rest of the indigenous people backed up her claims, and they looked so excited that the sentries were taken aback. One of the sentries asked the leader softly, Captain, could they be telling the truth? The captain furrowed his brows. Although he found it ridiculous, since so many people had corroborated the story, what the girl had said might be true. If this is true, we will have to report to the queen immediately. The look in the captain's eyes changed, and he waved his hand and said, let them in. He then looked at the girl and said, follow me. We shall report this to the queen and fill her in with the details. Having said that, he turned around. The city gate behind him slowly opened, and the people flooded in with joy, having escaped from the calamity. A towering palace was located at the center of the city. After the captain had reported the matter, quick chiming sounds resounded in the palace. The people at the top levels of the city-state quickly gathered together in the main hall. Mu Chen hid himself in the void and looked at the main hall. He was surprised to see that there were many fluctuations around the people in the main hall, and they were not weak. Apparently, Mu Chen had compared their strength to those indigenous people whom he had met earlier. There were still some of them who seemed to be powerful. According to Mu Chen's speculation, the power of these people should be on par with that of the Blood Demon General. If they were in the Great Thousand World, their power would be comparable to that of the Upper Earthly Sovereigns. When Mu Chen sensed it more carefully, he noticed that these people indistinctly exuded a cold aura that was similar to that of the Fiend Blood Tribe. These people have the power of the Fiend Blood Tribe in their bodies. Mu Chen squinted. Although the city-state looked as though it was independent, it was still being eyed by the Fiend Blood Tribe. Greetings, your majesty, everyone shouted and kneeled down on one knee as Mu Chen was sizing up the power of the top levels in the city-state. He sensed that a lady in white was slowly making her way to the main hall. He was surprised to see that the lady, who was supposed to be the queen, was a ravishingly beautiful girl. The girl looked elegant, and her skin was fair like snow. She had a voluptuous figure, and her brows made her look heroic. She looked awe-inspiring and exuded an oppressive aura. Mu Chen was not amazed by her age or looks, but he was shocked by the powerful fluctuations she exuded. Her strength was comparable to that of the blood demon generals. There is no cold aura of the fiend blood tribe in her. That is to say, she has cultivated the strength on her own. However, her strength is not refined. Part of it must be from external forces, Mu Chen exclaimed in his heart, and he looked at the girl with admiration. He knew that she had to have obtained many opportunities and be talented in order to reach her current level in the lower planes. If Mu Chen was right in his speculation, the girl must have been the most powerful person among the indigenous people in the lower planes. It seemed that in every place, whenever a tribe was about to be exterminated, a hero would stand out to take the lead and save his people. As Mu Chen was thinking about this, the girl in white sat in the main seat in the hall. She looked at the kneeling girl and asked gently, Can you tell me in detail what has happened in Battle City? The girl lifted up her head and looked emotionally at the girl in white, who was looking gently at her. When all the creatures in the entire world had been slaughtered ruthlessly by the fiend blood tribe, the girl in white was the only one who had stood up for them. She had gone through much pain and suffering in order to give the people a safe place to live. Many of them looked upon her as their savior for what she had done during the Great Despair. Your Majesty, what we have said is true. A deity has come down from the heavens and killed the blood demon general with only one blow. He is extremely powerful. The girl became excited when she related the matter to the queen. Her voice resounded in the main hall, and as expected, there was another uproar. The girl in white was moved when she heard it. 
She was well aware of the Blood Demon Captain's strength. Although she was able to defeat him, it would be impossible for her to kill the Blood Demon Captain with one blow. Huh, what deity are you talking about? This is absurd. Someone suddenly sneered as the people in the main hall were filled with amazement. All of them looked at the front of the hall and saw an umbrageous looking elder smiling coldly. I don't think that this is the time to talk about the absurd deity. We should be thinking about how to deal with the fiend blood tribe. They must be angry with us. The umbrageous looking elder scanned around, looked the queen in the face, and said, the blood demon general and so many top powers from the fiend blood tribe have been killed, thus they will not take it lying down. They will certainly track these people down. I suggest that your majesty send these people back and give the fiend blood tribe another five million men as compensation to appease them. If they get angry with us, we may even lose this piece of land where we can enjoy some peace. Three other people echoed what the umbrageous looking elder had said. They were three middle-aged men whose eyes were filled with killing intent. What the grand advisor has said is right. We have to quickly appease the fiend blood tribe before they jump on us. We must send these people back to them. Many people who were at the high level turned ghastly pale when they heard what the three men had said. They clenched their fists, but they dared not say a word. The Grand Advisor's power was second only to the Queen's, and most importantly, they were related to the Fiend Blood Tribe and had obtained their strength from the Fiend Blood Tribe. Your Majesty, please don't send us back, the girl in the main hall cried out. She looked pale and bowed down with her face to the ground, begging the Queen. The Queen clenched her fists. Her fingernails poked into her palms and caused her much pain. A man wearing armor turned pale. He could no longer remain silent, and he shouted, Grand Advisor, these people look upon us as their refuge, and they have come all the way here. How can you be so heartless to send them back to the demons? The Grand Advisor looked coldly at the man and said mockingly, General, you are such a nice person. Are you willing to fight the fiend blood tribe if we enrage them? The General gritted his teeth and said, Even if I were to die, it would be better than being in our current situation. The rest of the people thought that we would be able to survive here because of our strength. However, all of us know that every year, we have to send five million men to the fiend blood tribe as slaves. We have to do this in order to survive. Do we want to continue living without dignity? Instead of doing this year after year, why don't we fight it out with the fiend blood tribe, even if it costs us our lives? Having said that, his eyes turned red. His anger filled the main hall, and all the people who were at the high level shared his sentiment. The queen sat on the throne, shivering. Her fingernails poked deep into her palms, causing blood to flow out. Although many of them looked upon her as their savior, she knew that she was not powerful enough to save them. The country could survive, not because of her, but because the fiend blood tribe needed a continual supply of food. Every time she handed over the thousands of people to the fiend blood tribe and saw the despair on the faces of her people, she hated herself for being incompetent. She had wanted to fight it out with the fiend blood tribe on several occasions, but she knew that if she did that, they would have no more opportunities to escape from them, and they would be utterly destroyed. Mu Chen hid in the void and looked at what was going on before him. He suddenly came to a realization that the country was able to exist because the fiend blood tribe had allowed them to, as they needed a large supply of food. This country appeared to be a place of refuge, but in actual fact, it was depending on its people to help them survive. It was pathetic to be in such a situation. Mu Chen sighed in his heart. At this instant, he suddenly saw the queen lifting up her head to look at the void where he was hiding. Her gaze shocked Mu Chen. He had hidden himself well in the void, and no one had noticed him. Has she discovered my presence? As Mu Chen was feeling baffled, the queen stood up and bit her lips. She then bowed slightly in his direction and said in a hoarse voice, Sir, since you are here, why not show yourself? Chapter 1379, The Blood Demon Lord Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The hoarse voice of the queen resounded in the main hall, causing all of the higher-ups to look shocked. They started to become wary and turned to look at the spot where the queen was looking. They were only just realizing that someone had been watching them for quite a while, yet none of them had realized it. The people stared anxiously at the void for a long while. Suddenly, ripples started to form and they saw a slender figure appear in the sky. The figure took his time before landing on the ground. You are very sharp, Mu Chen said as he appeared before them and looked at the queen in amazement. Even those complete earthly sovereigns who were at their peaks in the Great Thousand World were unable to discover his invisibility skill. It never occurred to Mu Chen that he would be discovered by someone from the lower planes. I have sharp senses, which is why I can indistinctly sense your presence. The queen smiled at Mu Chen, not imposing her authority as the queen upon him. She offered him this courtesy as she did not sense any oppression exuding from Mu Chen. However, Mu Chen looked mysterious to her, and she did feel that he was very powerful. Deity. Suddenly, the girl who was kneeling in the main hall shouted excitedly. There was an uproar in the main hall as the higher-ups looked at Mu Chen in astonishment. Apparently, they did not expect the deity that the girl had mentioned to be a youth. Ha! Huh. So you are the one who is creating trouble for us. 
An elder stared coldly at Mu Chen and shouted, How dare you kill the top powers of the fiend blood tribe in the battle city? If they vent their anger on us, we will all be killed. Mu Chen tilted his head to look at the elder, then said with a smile, It seems like no matter where I go, I will definitely find some spineless traitors. What did you say? The elder roared. The moment the elder finished his statement, Mu Chen appeared before, taking him by surprise. Killing intent surged in the elder's eyes, while a majestic power burst out from his body like a volcano. He was clearly ready to throw out a punch. Crack. Just as the power was about to spurt out of his body, a slender hand, which was like the claw of an eagle, pierced through the space, passed through the defense, and grabbed his throat. Although the elder struggled to break free, he was unable to free himself from Mu Chen's grip. Who are you to talk to me in such a way? Mu Chen asked. Mu Chen despised him and felt that he was disgusting. The elder started to look fearful as he realized that the mysterious youth was extremely powerful. He then shouted, let go of me. If you do not do so, the fiend blood tribe will not make you pay. Don't worry. You are still not qualified for me to get my hands dirty in dealing with you. As Mu Chen said the words, he threw him off casually, sending the elder shooting backwards. As the elder hit a stone pillar, his body became embedded in it. As he was constrained by a powerful force, he could not break away from the stone pillar. Thus, he became an ornament on the stone pillar. The higher-ups in the main hall widened their eyes in disbelief when they saw this. The Grand Advisor's strength was second only to the Queen, but he was like an ant with no power to defend himself in the face of this mysterious youth. The rest of the advisors turned pale and kept retreating. They dared to not look at Mu Chen, as they were afraid to fall prey to him. There was silence in the main hall as Mu Chen looked around. Those who caught his eye kept quiet out of fear, as they felt oppressed by him. Mu Chen then rested his gaze on the Queen, who looked him straight in the eye. He then said, previously I thought that there was truly a place of refuge in this world. Never would I have thought that it is just another pit. He realized that, although this city-state appeared to be a place of refuge, every year, they had to send several hundred thousand people to the fiend blood tribe for consumption and be at their mercy. After hearing Mu Chen's words, the queen turned pale. She felt ashamed of herself. Sir, your majesty has done all that she can. If she had not fought for us, we may not have been able to survive until now. One of the higher-ups in the main hall was quick to defend the queen. You don't have to speak up for me, the queen said softly. She then said in a low voice, I am indeed useless, as I am unable to save you. She then lifted up her head and looked fervently at Mu Chen and said, Sir, you do not belong to the fiend blood tribe. So, only you can become the king and save us. Mu Chen was powerful, and his strength was comparable to a blood demon lord's. If he could protect them, the fiend blood tribe would certainly be wary of him. When Mu Chen heard what the queen had said, he curled up his lips and sneered. After all, this girl had regarded him as being of this world. He then said snappily, I don't belong to your world. The queen was stunned and very quickly became excited. She soon lost control of herself and asked, Sir, did you come from another world out there? It seems like you have some knowledge about it. Mu Chen was surprised by her reaction. From the looks of it, she seemed to know about the existence of the Great Thousand World. I have read some ancient texts that mentioned another world out there. The top powers from the world out there are said to have the ability to contend with the top powers of the fiend blood tribe, the queen said. The higher-ups in the main hall were excited and looked fervently at Mu Chen. Mu Chen saw their gazes and, just as he was about to speak, something caught his attention. He lifted up his head to look at the sky in the distance and said, the troublemakers are here. When the people heard what Mu Chen had said, they were puzzled. However, the expression on the queen's face changed, and her eyes were soon filled with hatred and fear. Everyone saw that the area had started to darken. Even the clouds were gradually turning red. The whole place was filled with the smell of blood. Oh no! The fiend blood tribe is here. When the higher-ups saw the change that had taken place in the area, they turned pale and became fearful. The entire city-state became chaotic, and as the indigenous people saw the bloody sky, they fell down to the ground and lamented. In this world, the most devastating thing that could happen was the appearance of the fiend blood tribe. As the people looked on in despair, bloody clouds whizzed toward them from afar, appearing in the sky above the city-state. Several bloody figures appeared in the bloody clouds, all of them looking fierce and ruthless. As the bloody cloud at the forefront dispersed, four burly figures that looked like demon gods stepped out. They folded their arms before their chests and looked sharply at the huge city-state. A strong oppression swirled out from their bodies. Those are four blood demon generals. When the higher-ups in the main hall saw the four burly figures, they turned pale and looked fearful. This was because they knew that their queen could only take on one blood demon general. Mu Chen did not fix his gaze on the four blood demon generals, but squinted his eyes and looked behind them. 
As Mu Chen was looking behind them, the four blood demon generals suddenly moved back respectfully, revealing a red throne. A figure with white hair, who was robed in red, was lying lazily on the red throne. When they saw the figure, all of the higher-ups in the main hall trembled with fear. Even the queen grabbed her fists and shivered. She then said, the blood demon lord is here as well. Blood demon lord? Mu Chen fixed his gaze on the figure. From what he had sensed, the strength of the blood demon lord was comparable to sage Zi Yun and his peers. This meant that he was near the heavenly sovereign level. As such, his strength was enough for Mu Chen to take him seriously. The figure with white hair who was seated on the red throne lowered his head to look at the main hall. He looked as though he was watching a pack of animals that were waiting to be slaughtered. In the next instant, his cold voice resounded in the area, hand the people over. His voice lingered in the area, causing the city-state to be tremble. All the higher-ups in the main hall shivered with fear. Haha, <laughs> were you not feeling smug earlier? The elder from before, who was still embedded in the stone pillar, laughed when he saw what was going on and mocked Mu Chen. One of the higher-ups looked at the queen and asked, Your Majesty, what shall we do? As everyone immediately stole a glance at Mu Chen, it was apparent that they were thinking of handing Mu Chen over to the fiend blood tribe. Mu Chen smiled when he saw them looking at him, but he did not say a word. He simply looked at the queen, waiting to see what she was going to do about it. Silence filled the main hall, while everyone's eyes returned to the queen. Feeling all of their attentions upon her, she grasped her fists and shivered. She then took a deep breath and kept her chest puffed up proudly. She looked around and asked softly, Do you really want to live on in this manner, allowing them to treat us like beasts? All of their eyes turned red and they shivered. They hated the fiend blood tribe, but they did not have the power to go against them. This devastated them all. The queen then said, regardless of what you think, I no longer want to treat our people like beasts and hand them over to the fiend blood tribe to be devoured. Having said that, the queen's face suddenly turned cold. She looked at the people and said in a low voice, this time around, I will not hand my people over to them. Everyone in the main hall was shocked to hear this. They turned to Mu Chen with perplexed looks. They knew that their queen had placed all of her hopes on this stranger. If they lost, their tribe would be utterly destroyed. Mu Chen was taken aback by the queen's words as well. He was shocked by her decisiveness. After all, hers was not an easy decision to make. He looked thoughtfully at the queen and asked, Is there anyone else who is more powerful than the blood demon lord in the fiend blood tribe? The queen shook her head and said, There are a total of six blood demon lords in the fiend blood tribe, and they all call the shots. In that case, Mu Chen let out a breath. He then turned around and walked out of the main hall as the higher-ups looked at him. As he was walking out, his voice resounded in the main hall. After today, they will only have five blood demon lords left. Chapter 1380, A Clean Sweep Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The area turned red, and the indigenous people of the city-state trembled with fear. Red figures appeared high up in the sky, and they looked down voraciously at the people as though they were looking at beasts. As the people in the city-state were in despair, a young figure slowly walked out from the main hall. He stepped into the space and stood in the air. The figure with white hair wearing a red robe looked down at Mu Chen expressionlessly and said flatly, Are you the one who has killed my men? Mu Chen nodded with a smile and said nonchalantly, I have simply killed some suckers in my way. When he made that statement, many of the top powers from the fiend blood tribe looked sharply at Mu Chen, wanting to tear him apart. When the indigenous people in the city-state saw what was going on, they were frightened. They had not expected the youth to talk back to the blood demon lord. The blood demon lord was like a demonic god to them. Once he was enraged, there would be bloodshed in the city-state. The blood demon lord squinted and gave Mu Chen a menacing look as he said, In this world, no one dares to talk me in such a manner. Mu Chen laughed. He shook his head and said, It seems to me that you have been flaunting your power in the lower plains. You are just a blood demon lord of the fiend blood tribe. What is so great about you? When the blood demon lord heard Mu Chen mention the lower plains, his gaze froze. He stared at Mu Chen in bewilderment and asked, Are you from the Great Thousand World? Mu Chen said lightly, you have done too much evil. Someone will teach you a lesson one of these days. Are you referring to yourself? The blood demon lord stared at Mu Chen with a derisive look and asked, you are just a complete earthly sovereign. Are you able to do so? Can you alone contend with our fiend blood tribe? Why not? Mu Chen smiled. A killing intent flashed in the blood demon lord's eyes. He had not expected someone from the great thousand world to poke his nose into the matters of the lower plains. He had to kill this person to prevent other top powers from the Great Thousand World from flooding the lower plains, as the fiend blood tribe would be in dire straits if that happened. Kill him, the blood demon lord told the four blood demon generals as he looked coldly at them. 
He was a cautious person, and he wanted to find out more about Mu Chen's strength. Yes, sir, the four blood demon generals shouted when they heard the command. They looked ferociously at Mu Chen, and without any delay, they stomped their feet, turned into four blood rays, and dashed toward Mu Chen. Boom! 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 Vast blood rays swirled out from the four blood demon generals, and the area was filled with the smell of blood. The indigenous people were on their toes when they saw the scene that was before them. They knew the power of the blood demon generals, and now that the four of them had joined forces, their queen would be no match for them. The queen and the higher echelons gathered outside the main hall and looked at the blows in the sky that were about to strike Mu Chen. Their bodies tensed up, as all of them felt anxious. After all, they did not know Mu Chen's actual power. They also had no idea if Mu Chen was able to contend with the four blood demon generals. If he was unable to do so, they would be utterly destroyed. Swoosh! Swoosh! As the people anxiously looked on, the four blood rays shot toward Mu Chen. Mu Chen lifted up his head and looked calmly at the imposing aura of the four blood demon generals. He slowly clenched his fists, and crystal light burst out around them. He then stood still and threw out a punch. Buzz! Buzz! A bright crystal fist ray shot out and expanded. In the next instant, it whizzed out and pierced through the space, suddenly appearing before the four blood demon generals. The crystal fist ray came too quickly, and the four blood demon generals came to their senses. Their expressions changed, and with a shout, four red streams whizzed out from their bodies, carrying with them a strong force that hit the crystal fist ray. Read novel full. Swish. Swish. When the crystal fist ray and the four red streams collided, the red streams immediately disappeared. It was as if snowflakes had fallen into magma. The blood demon generals looked shocked. Apparently, they had not expected to be so vulnerable to Mu Chen's attacks, even though they had joined forces. Mu Chen's strength had way surpassed theirs. Retreat. The four blood demon lords retreated and tried to escape. Where are you going? Mu Chen sneered, and a killing intent appeared in his eyes. He hated the fiend blood tribe to the core, and since the opportunity was before him, he would not show them any mercy. Mu Chen flicked his fingers, and the crystal fist ray pierced through the space and blasted onto the four blood demon generals. Ah! Uh, a heart-rending cry resounded in the sky. The crystal fist ray dispersed slowly in the sky and hit the four blood demon generals. They disappeared, leaving no trace behind. Just one punch and the four blood demon generals had been turned into ashes. There was dead silence in the whole area. The devastated indigenous people widened their eyes and looked at the scene in disbelief. The powerful blood demon generals were so vulnerable when they met the mysterious youth. Some of the indigenous people who had seen Mu Chen earlier in Battle City shouted out excitedly, that is the deity. They quickly dispersed, and there was an uproar in the city-state. Is it truly the deity? He is so powerful. He does not belong to the fiend blood tribe, so he must be a deity. Is the deity here to save us? Several indigenous people knelt down and bowed to Mu Chen. After facing so many rounds of devastation, they finally had some hope. The higher echelons outside the main hall shouted as well. They watched the youth in the sky and swallowed hard. The four blood demon generals had been killed by one punch from Mu Chen. He was so powerful, that even the higher echelons were taken by surprise. The queen looked at Mu Chen in amazement. She longed to have such great power so she could protect her people. As the indigenous people were shouting out with joy, the top powers from the fiend blood tribe in the sky turned ghastly pale. All these years, they had been formidable in this world, and no one could stop them, thus they were arrogant. However, they had now been hit by such a fatal attack. The four who had been killed were blood demon generals. They held high-ranking positions in the fiend blood tribe, but they were as powerless as ants in the youth's eyes. Fear fell upon the fiend blood tribe's top powers, and all of them turned to look at the blood demon lord, who was sitting on the throne. The blood demon lord looked grim, and he stared at Mu Chen with a cold look. He was taken aback by the strong combat force that Mu Chen had displayed. However, the tougher his opponent, the more imperative it was that he kill him. If he did not do so, the indigenous people would still be feeling hopeful. The blood demon lord said in a petrifying tone, Ha! Huh. Deity? I shall kill your deity before your very eyes this day. Let's see if you still dare to rebel against us. He then slowly stood up from the throne. When he stood up, the city-state once again quietened down. They had been oppressed by the blood demon lords all these years, and they could not get away from their shadow. They considered the blood demon generals to be invincible, and as for the blood demon lord, he was like a demonic god to them. Although the mysterious young deity was powerful, no one was certain if he could defeat the blood demon lord. He had won the earlier fight, but that was only the beginning. The queen and the higher echelons turned grave. Mu Chen had shown great power earlier, but that was not good enough. If he was unable to defeat the blood demon lord, all the earlier victories would come to naught. As the people looked on, Mu Chen lifted up his head to look at the blood demon lord. 
He squinted, and the crystal pagoda loomed in his eyes. The blood demon lord slowly came down from the sky and landed before Mu Chen. He folded his arms before his chest with his red robe fluttering. A killing intent flashed in his eyes, and he said, If you leave the lower plains now, I will let you off unscathed. Mu Chen smiled and stretched out his palms. Powerful spiritual energy glittered at the center of his palms like lightning as he stared at the blood demon lord and said, It depends on whether you are capable of doing so. Pig-headed. You are digging your own grave. The blood demon lord gave an evil smile, and in the next instant, he stretched out his hands. The entire area suddenly darkened, and an endless stretch of blood sea surged behind him. A huge, red demonic figure slowly stood out from the blood sea. A horrifying oppression engulfed the area, and the sky seemed about to collapse under the red demonic figure's shadow. When the queen, who was standing outside the main hall, saw the red demonic figure, she bit her lips. Blood flowed out from her lips as she recalled the frightful memory of the red demonic figure killing the elders of her sect. The demonic figure was so powerful that they had not been able to defend against it. The higher echelon standing behind her turned ghastly pale, and their knees started to knock against each other. They nearly fell to the ground. Everyone shivered at the sight of the demonic figure. Mu Chen was the only one who lifted up his head and remained nonchalant. He asked, is this what you are capable of? The blood demon lord was extremely cautious. He no longer wished to test Mu Chen. The moment he struck, he used his trump card. In that case, Mu Chen smiled at the blood demon lord, but there was no warmth in his smile. The crystal light in his eyes surged, and a crystal pagoda shot out and landed gently on his palm. It's showtime. Chapter 1381, Suppress the Demon Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The huge blood shadow stood in the horizon and covered the sun. A strong smell of blood spread throughout the area, exuding the power of a demonic god. The people in the area looked at the blood shadow with fear. Under the demonic aura, the indigenous people lost their courage to resist the blood demon lord. Although the people were in a state of despair, Mu Chen stood tall in the sky. He held the crystal pagoda in his hand, while looking calm. Since you want to be the hero of this world, I shall grant you your wish. The blood demon lord appeared on the huge blood shadow and looked down at Mu Chen from above, smiling viciously. As a member of the extraterritorial race, he was familiar with the rankings in the Great Thousand World. Mu Chen was only a mere complete earthly sovereign. In their fiend blood tribe, his level was only slightly higher than the blood demon generals, which was way beneath the blood demon lords. Descent of the Sangre Sun. The blood demon lord yelled. He then laughed and immediately stamped his foot. At that moment, the huge blood shadow opened its big mouth and blood rays spurted out to form a humongous Sangre Sun. As the Sangre Sun hung in the sky, the blood rays expanded. Wherever the blood rays shone, they would destroy everything. Even the city that was beneath it started to rot. Go. The blood demon lord wore a devilish smile as he spoke one chilling word. Immediately, the Sangre Sun whizzed toward Mu Chen as quick as lightning. You want to be the savior, don't you? If you move away, the Sangre Sun will shine on the people in the city, killing them all. The blood demon lord spoke to Mu Chen with an evil smile, while the Sangre Sun moved closer to Mu Chen. Why must you use such despicable methods? Mu Chen was disgusted when he heard what the blood demon lord had said. Mu Chen knew that he simply wanted to provoke him to anger, so that he would not move away. But, the blood demon lord had not played his game well, as in Mu Chen's eyes, the blood demon lord was not at all powerful or intimidating. As such, Mu Chen remained still and lifted up his head to look at the Sangre Sun. When it was close enough to him, he formed a seal quickly. Buzz. Buzz. When Mu Chen changed his seal, several rays of crystal light shot out from his palm. In just a short while, the rays turned into a large crystal net. When the large net swirled out, it engulfed the Sangre Sun. You do not know who you are dealing with. The Blood Demon Lord broke out into a smile when he saw what Mu Chen had done. This was because he knew that the unique power of his fiend blood tribe was terrifyingly corrosive, and once one came into contact with it, the person would be in great trouble, as it would stick close to him. So, when he saw that Mu Chen wanted to take him head on, he thought that Mu Chen was digging his own grave. As the Blood Demon Lord was sneering at Mu Chen, the Crystal Net and the Sangre Sun collided. In the next instant, the expression of the Blood Demon Lord completely froze. This was because he saw that, when the Crystal Net and the Sangre Sun had made contact, the Sangre Sun's radiance suddenly dimmed. It was as if its power had been sealed. Swish. Swish. Red smoke rose up continually from the Sangre Sun, while the Crystal Net kept shrinking, bringing the Sangre Sun down with it. In a short while, the Crystal Net closed up and the Sangre Sun turned into a small red spiritual pearl, which was about the size of a palm. Ancient runes then appeared around the red spiritual pearl, and it looked as though it had been sealed. As Mu Chen stretched out his hand, the red spiritual pearl flew into it. He then lifted up his head and smiled at the blood demon lord and said, take it back. 
Having said that, Lu Chen shook his hand, causing the red spiritual pearl to shoot out towards the top powers from the fiend blood tribe who were in the sky instead of the blood demon lord. Move back. The blood demon lord shouted when he saw this. Boom. Just after he shouted, the red spiritual pearl exploded and blood waves raged out. All of the top powers who were hit by the blood waves turned into ashes, as they were being invaded by the corrosive power. The red clouds in the sky dispersed right after the top powers were hit. There were a lot of casualties and the situation was a complete mess. While the fiend blood tribe was suffering this crushing defeat, the indigenous people in the city-state widened their eyes in disbelief. Earlier on, they were still petrified by the destructive attack of the blood demon lord, but in just a short while, the mysterious deity had easily warded it off. He had then killed almost all of the top powers from the fiend blood tribe by giving them a taste of their own medicine. The queen and the higher authorities stood outside the main hall and trembled with excitement. In all these years, they had never seen the blood demon lord in such a pathetic state. They believed that this mysterious youth might truly possess the power to defeat the blood demon lord. The blood demon lord looked ghastly pale as he stared at Mu Chen with fiery eyes. Mu Chen had not only fended off his attack, but Mu Chen had reverted his attack back at him. He felt as if Mu Chen had slapped him hard in the face in front of everyone. This is just the prelude, and you can't even take it. The real show is just about to begin now. Mu Chen spoke with a smile as he looked at the blood demon lord, who had turned pale. When the blood demon lord heard this, he lifted up his head and his expression changed. At that moment, a huge crystal pagoda appeared in the sky and bore down on him, blocking all of his escape routes. The light from the crystal sealed the space up, making it impossible for him to evade it. Boom! Boom! The large pagoda landed on the blood demon lord and the huge blood shadow, engulfing them entirely. Then, Mu Chen disappeared into the crystal pagoda. As Mu Chen looked at the pale-looking blood demon lord, who was carefully observing the pagoda, he waved his sleeve. Immediately, a sovereign spiritual liquid torrent swirled out. When around 50 million sovereign spiritual liquid units had surged out, Mu Chen stopped the flow. He then flicked his fingers and the sovereign spiritual liquid torrent whizzed out toward the walls of the crystal pagoda. Boom! Eight ancient ferocious-looking pictures appeared on the walls of the pagoda. The eight pictures looked like golems and they moved around slowly. Their upper bodies became real and stuck out from the walls. When they opened their mouths, they swallowed the several thousands of sovereign spiritual liquid units into their bodies. After they had been fed with the sovereign spiritual liquid, the eight golems exuded horrifying fluctuations. When the blood demon lord saw the eight golems, he was alarmed. He could feel a terrorizing oppression that was coming from their spirits. These golems have been refined using the demon emperors as mediums. The blood demon lord realized frantically. He had seen a familiar fluctuation before. When these eight golems were still alive, they were probably the demon emperors of the extraterritorial race. Crap. Where did this chap come from? I must not stay here any longer. I must let the other blood demon lords know about this, so that they can join forces to kill him. The eyes of the blood demon lord glittered frantically as he murmured almost incoherently in his terrified state. At this moment, he was beyond fearful. He felt the aura of death from the eight golems coming at him fast and furiously. Are you thinking of trying to escape? It is too late for you to do so. Mu Chen looked at the blood demon lord's glittering eyes and knew immediately what he was thinking. He smiled coldly and tapped his finger at the blood demon lord from a distance, then said, the eight buter, buter destroys the demonic light. Mu Chen's voice resounded throughout the huge pagoda. Swoosh. The eight golems on the walls stretched out their sharp fingernails and pointed at the blood demon lord, while eight beams of black light shot out from their fingernails. The beams of black light pierced through the space, then quickly scattered around the blood demon lord to seal off all of his escape routes. Although the eight beams of black light were not forceful, the blood demon lord was already covered with cold sweat. This was because an indescribable aura of death had come over him. Crap! How can this fella possess such a powerful attack when he is only a complete earthly sovereign? The blood demon lord shouted frantically in his heart. He could no longer stay calm. He grit his teeth as blood rays surged in his eyes. In the next instant, his body expanded. Then, with a blast, it exploded. Endless blood rays raged out, but the eight beams of black light remained unaffected by them. They simply continued to move into the blood rays. After a short while, a black demonic liquid burst out and darkness took over the place. Everything that had been tainted by the blood rays was now covered by the black liquid. In less than one minute, the vast blood rays disappeared completely. What was left behind was only a single lump of blood rays that was being chased after by the demonic liquid. Bang! The blood rays could no longer take it, so they turned into a human figure. The blood demon lord appeared, and he was in a sorry state. His powerful fluctuations had weakened and he had black spots all over his body. He gave Mu Chen a fearful look. He had never anticipated that Mu Chen's means would be so horrifying. 
The moment Muchen struck, he did not even have a chance to retaliate. You can't kill me. If you kill me, the rest of the blood demon lords will sense it. Then, when they join forces to come and deal with you, you will be doomed. The blood demon lord shouted out his threat. Is that so? Mu Chen was a little shocked, but he then smiled and said, I shall not kill you then. When the blood demon lord heard him, he was elated. However, before he could break even smile, Mu Chen's cold voice resounded throughout the space, I shall seal you up instead. I have no problem with that. Buzz. Buzz. The minute Mu Chen said this, a vast crystal light burst out from the pagoda and gathered together on the blood demon lord's body. As the crystal light shone on the blood demon lord, he realized that the power in his body was weakening at an amazing rate. Soon, it had rendered him unable to move whatsoever. I will fight you till my last breath. The blood demon lord shouted out in fear as he tried to activate his strength to blow himself up. Seal. Mu Chen shouted coldly, not giving him the opportunity to blow himself up. The crystal light shrunk aggressively and the blood demon lord screamed. His body shrunk speedily, and in a short while, he turned into a red photosphere and hung in the air. As Mu Chen waved his hand, the red photosphere landed in it. Crystal runes circled on the surface of the red photosphere and within it, the ferocious face of the blood demon lord peered out at him menacingly. Mu Chen looked at his ferocious face and smiled. You have lost. Chapter 1382, A Request Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio the crystal pagoda hung quietly above the large city-state with a halo circling above it. The halo exuded a mysterious power. Both the indigenous people and the top powers in the sky from the fiend blood tribe fixed their gazes on the crystal pagoda. They knew that their destiny depended on the one who made it out alive. The one who came out would be the winner. There was dead silence in the entire area, and there was tension all over. No one dared to open his mouth to say a word. The higher echelons, who were standing outside the main hall, broke out into a cold sweat. After a long while, they quivered and looked at the queen, who was beside them, and asked softly, Your majesty, do you think that the deity will win? They had pinned all their hopes on the deity. If he was defeated, there would be bloodshed in the city, and many people would be killed. Even the higher echelons might be killed by the blood demon lord as well. The elegant queen fixed her gaze on the crystal pagoda. She looked more calm than the rest. She said softly, Did we not prepare ourselves for the worst to happen? Is there anything worse than carrying on living like beasts? When the higher echelons heard what she had said, they nodded in agreement. Instead of living in such a demeaning manner, they might as well be killed. At the least they could still have some dignity. Buzz. As they were talking, the crystal pagoda that had been hanging in the air for some time suddenly shook, and everyone in the area stared hard at it. The queen bit her lips, and her hands started to tremble. She was feeling apprehensive. Although they had prepared themselves for the worst, at least they could see a glimpse of hope. Swoosh. As the people looked on anxiously, a streamer darted out from the crystal pagoda. It lingered in the sky and turned into a slender figure. It is the deity. When the indigenous people of the city-state saw the figure that had appeared, they shouted out in joy. Many of them were so happy that they started to burst out into tears. Some of them even kneeled down and bowed frantically at the figure. Mu Chen looked at the indigenous people seething with excitement and smiled. He lifted up his hand, and a red photosphere appeared. Inside the photosphere was the face of the ferocious blood demon lord. With this, everyone could tell who had emerged as the winner. The deity has won. The higher echelons looked at the scene that was before them and were in a daze. They then sat on the floor and stared blankly at the photosphere. No one had expected the blood demon lord, who was almost like a demonic god to them, to be defeated this day. The queen, who was standing in front of the higher echelons, looked at Mu Chen in amazement. Tears started to gather in her eyes, and they flowed down on her fair cheeks. She had waited for this day for so long. She had worked so hard just to see this day. Although she had done all that she could to help this world that was almost on the brink of destruction obtain this haven, she knew that this was only temporary. Their haven could turn into hell any time the fiend blood tribe decided to put an end to it. She had been living in fear almost every day and every night. However, she could not show her fear to the people, as she knew that she was their pillar. The moment that she fell apart, this haven would collapse as well. However, this day, the blood demon lord that had appeared invincible to her had been defeated. She suddenly felt that she no longer needed to hang on, and she showed her weaker side, allowing her tears to flow. She finally found hope in a world that was filled with despair. The indigenous people of the city-state were filled with joy. Conversely, the top powers from the fiend blood tribe were frightened out of their wits. They had never expected their blood demon lord to be defeated. Let's run for our lives. We must tell the other blood demon lords about this. They looked at one another, and in the next instant, they shot out at the same time and fled in desperation. They wanted to run away from this terrifying youth. There was suddenly chaos in the sky. All the top powers from the fiend blood tribe suddenly behaved like homeless curs, running around wildly. 
Mu Chen looked coldly at the top powers from the Fiend Blood Tribe who were trying to escape. He moved his body and shot up into the sky. The huge immortal golden body appeared behind him, and purple golden light rose up and turned into several large violet spears. They then shot out all over the area. Swoosh! Swoosh! The large violet spears rained down from the heavens like a storm. Every spear that shot out pierced through one blood shadow, and the whole area was filled with heart-rending cries. The top powers from the fiend blood tribe fell down from the sky one after another like birds with broken wings. After a few minutes, the whole area quieted down. Mu Chen had totally wiped out all the top powers from the fiend blood tribe. Mu Chen had found out from the queen earlier that there were a few blood demon lords in the fiend blood tribe who possessed strength that was near to heavenly sovereign level. If Mu Chen were to take them on one at a time, he had absolute confidence in defeating them. However, once they started to join forces, Mu Chen would not have much of an advantage over them. Thus, he did not want the news to leak out to the rest of the blood demon lords. He had to wipe them out. The indigenous people of the city swallowed hard, and when they saw that the top powers from the fiend blood tribe had been killed, they looked at Mu Chen with great respect. Mu Chen waved his sleeve in the sky, and the crystal pagoda turned into a streamer and shot back into his eyes. He then put away the photosphere that had the blood demon lord trapped in it and turned to move toward the main hall. When Mu Chen landed in the main hall, all of the higher echelons went down on their knees to bow to him, showing great respect for him. Even the queen kneeled down and bowed respectfully to Mu Chen. She said in a clear voice, Bai Susu shows respect to the deity. When Mu Chen saw it, he simply smiled and said, I am not a deity. Having said that, he looked at the advisors who had gathered together and saw that they were trembling in fear. They had managed to get the grand advisor out of the stone pillar, and he was standing beside them. All of them looked at Mu Chen with great fear. Bai Susu noticed Mu Chen looking at them, and she looked coldly at the advisors and said, Kill these people lest they become an eyesore to the deity. Swoosh. The moment she said this, several figures around her dashed out toward the advisors. After a fierce fight, the advisors died on the spot, and even the grand advisor, who had been seriously injured by Mu Chen, had no more strength to run away. He was beaten up badly by a group of indigenous people and died a terrible death. From the look of it, the indigenous people hated the advisors to the core. When Mu Chen saw it, he was shocked. He glanced at Bai Susu, and he was taken aback by her decisiveness. With a smile, he asked, Are you doing this to prove your allegiance to me? What Bai Susu had done showed that she had decided to make a clean break with the fiend blood tribe. A smile that was rarely seen appeared on Bai Susu's face, and as she looked at Mu Chen, she said softly, I trusted you from the beginning. Mu Chen smiled and said, I have come to your world with a purpose. Now, I need to have all the information about the fiend blood tribe. Deity, please follow me. I will tell you all that I know about them, Bai Susu said respectfully. She then stood up and led the way, signaling to the rest of the echelons not to follow them. Mu Chen was fine with it, and he caught up with her. They went past a corridor and came to an inner hall. Deity, please take a seat. After leading Mu Chen to a seat, Bai Susu served him tea, and she behaved respectfully and humbly toward him. Mu Chen did not stand on ceremony with her. He took the cup and said, Can you tell me about the fiend blood tribe now? Bai Susu stood before Mu Chen, and she looked so submissive that she no longer exuded the authority of a queen. She bit her lips and asked softly, Deity, can I make a request? Request? Mu Chen raised his brows. Bai Susu gritted her teeth and asked, Can a deity teach us how to defend against the fiend blood tribe? The power that Mu Chen had displayed was mighty and was a level beyond their reach. However, if they could learn some skills from Mu Chen, it would help them greatly in enhancing their strength. In that case, they would not be so helpless and desperate when they came across the fiend blood tribe again. Mu Chen was stunned, and he waved his hand. He took a sip from the cup and said, You are unable to possess the same power that I have. He was as powerful as the spiritual energy he had cultivated. This power was unique to the Great Thousand World, and it was impossible for the people from the lower planes to cultivate it. When Bai Susu heard it, she thought that Mu Chen was unwilling to teach them. Her face became pale, and she kneeled down, begging him, saying, Deity, please save us. Having said that, she gritted her teeth and removed her crown. She held the girdle around her waist and pulled it gently. Her beautiful robe fell down from her body, revealing her fair skin. She shivered and looked like a lamb that had been sheared. She knelt down before Mu Chen with her long hair flowing. The smooth complexion on her back and her behind made her look voluptuous. Lord, if you will teach us how to be more powerful, I am willing to be your slave. Please help us. The girl, who was before Mu Chen, was trembling, and her voice sounded so pitiful that it was heartbreaking. Poof! Mu Chen, who was sitting on the chair, was taken by surprise by what the queen had done. In the next instant, he spurted out the tea that was in his mouth. Chapter 1383, Mount Blood Demon 
Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. The mist that was formed by the tea that Mu Chen had just spurted out landed coldly on by Susu's fair skin, causing her to shiver. She felt ashamed of herself, but she grit her teeth and swallowed her pride. She knew that the future of the beings in their world depended on the youth who was before her. As long as he could teach them to harness the same power, they would no longer have to live in despair. So, she knelt down before Mu Chen with a submissive attitude. She was like a lamb that was waiting to be slaughtered. As the light shone on her lustrous skin, she looked captivating. Mu Chen wiped away the tea from his mouth and looked away from the charming girl who was before him. He then cleared his throat and said, Please put on your clothes. When Bai Susu heard what Mu Chen had said, she grit her teeth and said with a trembling voice, Please, grant me my request. As Mu Chen waved his sleeve, the clothes that were on the floor flew up and covered Bai Susu. He then lowered his head to look at her and said, I am unable to pass my power to you. When Bai Susu heard that Mu Chen had rejected her flatly, she turned pale. However, she dared not infuriate him, so she simply stood up with a blank look on her face. Although she had been covered by her clothes, part of her body was still exposed, showing her voluptuous figure. Although I cannot pass my strength to you, you need not worry. I will wipe out the fiend blood tribe before I leave this place, Mu Chen said in a serious tone as he looked at Bai Susu, who was in tears. When Bai Susu heard his oath, she felt better. However, she continued to look at Mu Chen with a forlorn look as she asked, Lord, do you despise me? If it were not for the sake of my people, I would rather die than degrade myself. Mu Chen shook his head, then said with a straight face, I do not look down on you. On the contrary, I admire you. She was just a girl, but she was willing to sacrifice herself for the sake of her people. She had even put down her dignity and knelt down before Mu Chen. In Mu Chen's eyes, this alone was enough to win his respect. When Bai Susu saw Mu Chen's sincere look, she was shocked. But, after a while, she felt bitter and her eyes turned red. Previously, she had to put on a false front to look strong, but at this moment, she could let down her guard and just be herself. Thank you, she said softly. She was grateful to Mu Chen for his understanding. Mu Chen nodded with a smile and said, You have to trust me. It is not that I am unwilling to pass my power to you, but I am unable to do so. Although Bai Susu was a little disappointed, she simply nodded. She then smiled at Mu Chen and said in a teasing manner, In that case, my lord has missed out on a great opportunity. But, if you are still interested, I will still allow you to woo me. I have quite a lot of suitors, but you have an edge over them. When Mu Chen heard her talking so boldly, he could not help but laugh. Is she trying to flirt with me? Cough. Let's get down to business. Mu Chen coughed and changed the subject, as he could not handle her flirting manner. When Bai Susu saw that Mu Chen was embarrassed, she covered her mouth and laughed. She found Mu Chen to be very interesting. He was so powerful, yet he was able to restrain himself and not be affected by the things of the world. Bai Susu knew that she was attractive, and she had absolute confidence in her beauty. The looks on her suitor's faces had proven that she was correct in her self-appraisal. When she offered herself to Mu Chen, he could have accepted her and made her his woman. Based on a woman's instinct, Bai Susu sensed that Mu Chen had looked at her with the desires of a man, but he did not allow himself to go through with possessing her. Once a person's power reached a certain level, he could obtain anything that he wanted, despite what any rules may say. The fact that Mu Chen was able to restrain himself was a rare thing to find in such a person. Thus, Bai Susu found Mu Chen captivating. Lord, there are six blood demon lords in the fiend blood tribe. Since one of them has already been killed, there are now only five left, Bai Susu said softly after she had composed herself and served Mu Chen another cup of tea. She then added, among these five blood demon lords, three of them rule over Mount Blood Demon. The other two guard the western and northern regions. When Mu Chen heard this, a light flashed across his eyes. If the five blood demon lords were not located in the same place, this posed a good opportunity for him. He looked at Bai Susu and said, if I take them on one at a time, none of the blood demon lords will be a match for me. However, if they join forces to take me on, the situation will be very different. So, in order to make sure that the situation is in our favor, we have to reduce the number of the blood demon lords to three. Bai Susu's face turned grim as she said, in that case, the two blood demon lords who patrol around the world will be the best targets to focus on. She then added, Lord, I will pass down an order to not let the news of the defeat of the blood demon lord leak out. However, from what I see, we can only keep it from the other blood demon lords for another half a month. By then, they will have noticed that this blood demon lord has disappeared. Half a month. Mu Chen murmured as he furrowed his brows. They did not even know the current whereabouts of the two blood demon lords, and if Mu Chen had to seek them out, he might need more than half a month to do so. Lord, you can leave finding the whereabouts of the two blood demon lords to me. No matter what it takes, I will definitely track them down. Bai Susu suddenly said with a smile. Oh. Mu Chen was shocked as he looked at Bai Susu. 
He had not expected them to be able to discover the whereabouts of the blood demon lords. When Bai Susu saw Mu Chen's baffled look, she smiled bitterly and said, There are a number of our people living among the fiend blood tribe. They have suffered in humiliation there, but they have been able to help us obtain some information. Mu Chen became silent. He now understood the great price that they had to pay for obtaining such information. He was determined for their efforts to not have been in vain. Lord, give no more thought to it. As long as we can drive away the fiend blood tribe and let our beings in this world live with dignity, we will do so without fear, even to the point of sacrificing our lives. Bai Susu said after noticing Mu Chen's hesitation. Mu Chen sighed, but did not say another word. For the sake of the world, someone would have to sacrifice himself. It would be naive to think that everything would go smoothly and according to his wishes. I shall leave this part to you, then. As for the blood demon lords, you can leave them to me, Mu Chen said. Bai Susu smiled and bent down, revealing her fair skin. She smelled great as she smiled at Mu Chen and said, Lord, you seem so powerful. Mu Chen shook his head as she teased him. He then said, I need you to help me out. Lord, anything. Please tell me what you need. Bai Susu sat on the chair lazily and played with her hair. She then smiled and said, if you are willing, I will be yours. Whatever you want to know, I will definitely tell you. Mu Chen ignored her and waved his sleeve. At that moment, spiritual light flew out from his glabella and formed a spiritual energy screen in front of him. Several scenes appeared on the screen. Blood was flowing in the world that was shown on the screen, and it covered the entire area. On the peak of a mountain, several shadows shot up into the sky, where there was a space whirlpool. The shadows dashed into the space whirlpool and disappeared, as they were being pursued by streams of blood. Mu Chen had obtained these scenes from the Sovereign White Dragon. According to what Mu Chen had heard, the shadows belonged to the Sovereign White Dragon and his company. As Mu Chen was not familiar with the world in the Lower Plains, he hoped that Bai Susu would be able to identify the place where the Sovereign White Dragon had departed from. He believed that he would then be able to summon the thoughts that the Sovereign White Dragon had left behind in order to learn more about the great opportunity that had been mentioned to him. I would like to know where this place is. Mu Chen said as he turned to look at Bai Susu, while pointing at the spiritual energy screen. However, when he turned his head around, he was shocked to see that Bai Susu, who was smiling just a moment ago, was in tears as she looked blankly at the screen. What happened? Mu Chen frowned. Lord, where did you get these images? Bai Susu asked through her tears. Mu Chen shrugged and said, I am here because an elder who is shown in the scene asked me to bring them here. Why do you ask? Do you know them? Bai Susu wiped away her tears and muttered, I thought that they deserted us. Having said that, she lifted up her head and nodded at Mu Chen. Lord, they are our founders. The mountain that you are pointing at was known as Mount Holy Dragon back then. Now, it is known as Mount Blood Demon. This is the headquarters of the Fiend Blood Tribe. Chapter 1384, The Holy Dragon Sect Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Mount Blood Demon Mu Chen muttered to himself. He looked elated, as he had finally found a lead. Otherwise, he would have been running around like a chicken with its head cut off. However, he was surprised to learn that the Sovereign White Dragon was the founder of Bai Susu's sect. When Bai Susu saw Mu Chen's shocked look, she sighed. As she recalled the past, she said, the name of our sect is the Holy Dragon Sect. It used to be the most powerful sect in this world. However, to call it powerful now seems like self-deception. When she said this, she started to look bitter and said, after the fiend blood tribe entered our world, we realized how fragile we are. Although the elders of our sect have fought hard with the fiend blood tribe, there is no way to stop them at all. Mu Chen nodded. After all, this was the lower plains. In terms of their standard of living, the extraterritorial race was on par, or even higher than the great thousand world. When the extraterritorial race entered the lower plains, it was as though the tigers had barged into the world of the lambs. The power of this world was unable to contend with that of the extraterritorial race. After all, not everybody could possess the same ability as the martial ancestor. Otherwise, he would not be considered a legendary figure. After we were defeated, several elders decided to leave the sect. They knew that there was another world out there, and they wanted to go there to look for some top powers to save our world. They joined hands to force open a crack and left our world. Since then, the rest of us have been waiting for them to come back and save us, Bai Susu said in a low voice. Mu Chen was silent when he heard it. If he had guessed correctly, the elders that Bai Susu had mentioned were the founders of the Demonic Dragon Palace. She was not aware that these elders whom they had pinned their hopes on had conflicts among themselves, as they held different beliefs. The Sovereign White Dragon had been chased out of the Demonic Dragon Palace, which Mu Chen had later destroyed. However, Mu Chen did not intend to tell Bai Susu about this. It would be a great blow to her if she knew that other than the Sovereign White Dragon, the rest of the elders had forgotten about the calamity that had taken place in the Lower Plains. They had forgotten about them. We have been waiting for them, but there has been no news at all. 
When the sect was about to be destroyed, I became the sheet anchor of the sect, although I was still very young back then. All the elders used an ancient method to sacrifice their lives and left their strength behind in order to pass it on to me. Bai Susu smiled wryly and added, this is the reason why I possess such great strength. However, it is pitiful that I am still no match for a blood demon lord. You have done a good job, having come this far, Mu Chen said. Lord, have you seen the founders of our holy dragon sect? Bai Susu looked at Mu Chen in anticipation. After hesitating for a moment, Mu Chen nodded. Bai Susu heaved a sigh of relief and said happily, I know they will never forsake us. They have been looking for a way to save us. Mu Chen smiled and spiritual light gathered on his fingertips. It turned into a shadow, revealing the image of the sovereign white dragon. I am here because this elder has asked me to come. Bai Susu looked at the image of the sovereign white dragon, and emotion flashed in her eyes. She said in a low voice, this is founder white dragon. He is the one who started my lineage. She then turned to Mu Chen and bowed down respectfully and said, Lord, Susu thanks you on behalf of the people in this world. Mu Chen waved his sleeve and gently lifted Bai Susu up. He shook his head and did not claim credit for it. He said, I am here with my own agenda. The sovereign white dragon has promised to give me something in return that is too attractive for me to turn down. Bai Susu smiled charmingly when she heard it. When she looked at Mu Chen, her eyes were dazzling. Now, I know that my destination is Mount Holy Dragon, which is the current Mount Blood Demon. Mu Chen did not notice her look, but he squinted with a sharp look. There were three Blood Demon Lords in Mount Blood Demon, and their strength was near Heavenly Sovereign level. If he wanted to go to the mountain, he had to first kill the three Blood Demon Lords. There would definitely be a fierce fight. This time around, it would no longer be similar to the fight that Mu Chen had had with Reverend Thunder and the rest. It would be a life and death fight. We will have to kill the two Blood Demon Lords who are patrolling around the world as quickly as we can. If they get wind of this and the five of them join forces, even I will be in trouble. Although Mu Chen could still retreat and scathed if he had to deal with the five Blood Demon Lords, this world would be exterminated if the Blood Demon Lords were enraged. He would fail in his mission as well. Thus, he had to succeed. The rest of the time, Mu Chen stayed in the city-state and cultivated daily. He conditioned himself to a state whereby he could display the most powerful combat force any time he wished. Bai Susu did not disturb him. She was either making sure that the news of his fight with the Blood Demon Lord remained a secret, or she would gather news about the two Blood Demon Lord's whereabouts. A lot of manpower was involved, and she was kept busy dealing with it. Fortunately, she completed the tasks that she had agreed to take on. Mu Chen suddenly opened his eyes in the cultivation room. He moved his body and was immediately out of the room. He saw Bai Susu standing outside. I have received some information, Bai Susu said, the moment she saw Mu Chen. Mu Chen heaved a sigh of relief. He had been waiting anxiously, as time was not on their side. However, he did not rush Bai Susu, as he did not want the people to get anxious over it. A blood demon lord is now in the western region of Tianyuan City. He will be there for half a day, Bai Susu said with a smile. Mu Chen looked at her smiling face and hesitated before asking, have you suffered a great loss? Bai Susu was shocked. She then bit her lips and said with a smile, some of them were discovered, and they lost their lives. Mu Chen became silent. Although Bai Susu had made it sound as though it was nothing, he knew that a high price had been paid for this simple piece of information. I will make a move now. Lord, can you bring me along? Bai Susu looked at Mu Chen and begged him, saying, if we succeed, I may be able to get news of the location of the other blood demon lord. If we fail. Bai Susu smiled and continued, at most we will lose our lives, correct? Mu Chen thought for a while and then nodded. Every minute was precious to him. If Bai Susu went with him, he would not have to make a trip back again to obtain the next piece of information. Seeing that Mu Chen had agreed, Bai Susu gave a lovely smile. She then took a step toward Mu Chen, showing her voluptuous figure more prominently. I will have to trouble Lord to give me a lift, then. When Mu Chen saw her action, he hesitated for a moment. He then stretched out his arm and wrapped it around Bai Susu's slender waist. Spiritual light surged around them and engulfed them. They then turned into a streamer and shot up into the sky. On a mountain outside Tianyuan City. A streamer appeared, and Mu Chen stepped forth. He then let go of Bai Susu, who moved back with a blush on her face. Mu Chen stared at the city in the distance and said, There is a strong fluctuation in the city. It should be the Blood Demon Lord. Bai Susu fixed her gaze on the city and clenched her fists. Many people had died in the city, and it was filled with the smell of blood. Stay here while I lure the Blood Demon Lord into the mountain. You shall wait here for me, Mu Chen instructed Bai Susu. Bai Susu nodded obediently. She was not a naive woman. She knew that she must not be a hindrance to Mu Chen at this moment. When Mu Chen saw her response, he immediately moved his body and appeared in the sky in the distance. 
The spiritual energy in his body churned, and suddenly, a powerful spiritual energy fluctuation shot up into the sky. In the city's main hall, a middle-aged man in a red robe was hugging two petite figures who were shivering with fear. Just as his long teeth were extending out of his mouth, he suddenly squinted when the spiritual energy fluctuation appeared. He waved his sleeve and let go of the two petite figures. After moving his body, he appeared in the sky above the city. When he looked out, he indistinctly saw a streamer darting toward the mountain. How dare these people peep at me? The middle-aged man gave a petrifying smile. Bloody rays appeared under his feet, and he shot across the horizon toward the direction of the streamer. The two streamers darted into the mountain, with one at the front and the other one following behind. When Baisusu saw the scene from a mountain in the distance, she lifted up her chest and took a deep breath. She then sat down cross-legged on the mountain peak. She had no intention to tag along to have a look. Although she was anxious and dying to know the outcome, she knew there was nothing she could do to influence it. In this case, it was not necessary to know the outcome beforehand. If Mu Chen was defeated, all their hope would be gone. When that happened, she would blow herself up in case she fell into the fiend blood tribe's hands. Dying would be better than the living hell she would endure otherwise. When Bai Susu thought of it, she heaved a sigh of relief. She then smiled and stretched out her hands lazily, showing her curves. She laid on the ground and looked up at the sky with her big, bright eyes. The sky was still clear as it had been before. This area used to be free from the disgusting smell of blood. How she missed those days. She smiled and shut her eyes. After a short while, she suddenly opened her eyes. She saw a slender youth standing before her with a smile. He was holding a red photosphere in his hand with blood streaming within it. When she saw Mu Chen, she gave a charming smile. Her eyes turned soft as she felt her heart melting. Lord, if you continue to be so cool, I may just fall for you. Chapter 1385, Wipe Out Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The silver linings on the lake glimmered as though white baits were dancing within it. Mu Chen and Bai Susu stood on the water, enveloped by spiritual light. Bai Susu looked in the southwest direction and spoke softly, according to the latest information that I have received, the Blood Demon Lord Inspector will definitely pass through this area. He is heading to Mount Blood Demon now, so we need to intercept him and kill him here. Mu Chen narrowed his eyes slightly. Have they discovered us? Bai Susu pondered this, then said with a serious look, this inspector roams around, so perhaps he knows something, but wants to confirm it, which is why he is heading to Mount Blood Demon to discuss it with the remaining three Blood Demon Lords. Then, we cannot let him get there. Mu Chen nodded. If this Blood Demon Lord reached Mount Blood Demon, they would be more prepared. Bai Susu nodded her head, then both of them kept silent. After an hour, Mu Chen suddenly opened his eyes and looked towards the southwest direction with a nonchalant expression. He's here. Just as Mu Chen finished speaking, rumbling and bloody clouds swept out from the southwest direction. Myriad beasts galloped on the bloody clouds. They all had chains on their bodies and were pulling a massive palace behind them. Numerous guards from the fiend blood tribe surrounded the palace, which made quite a majestic scene. The bloody clouds dashed towards Mu Chen's and Bai Susu's direction. Apparently, they did not discover them though, as they did not slow down at all. When the large-scale palace passed over Mu Chen's and Bai Susu's heads, an icy radiance surfaced in Mu Chen's pitch-black eyes. A vast and violent spiritual energy light beam darted out to the sky, as if it was a sky-supporting pillar. The light beam blasted the palace directly. Boom! The massive palace almost exploded at once. The spiritual energy was wreaking havoc, finishing off some of the powerhouses of the fiend blood tribe instantly. All of them were thrown off of their feet and the sky was chaotic. Who dares to create trouble here? While the fiend blood tribe was in a mess, a bellow echoed throughout the sky. The voice had a magical power that could calm those panicked tribe members down instantly. She's a girl? Mu Chen slightly squinted his eyes when he heard the bellow, as he realized that this blood demon lord was a girl. A slender and seductive lady in a chiffon dress slowly emerged from the recently exploded palace in the sky. The material on her dress was so thin that it was almost transparent. Occasionally, her visible secret areas drew many admiring looks. However, the surrounding powerhouses of the fiend blood tribe quickly lowered their heads when she showed up. Their eyes were full of respect and fear. The seductive blood demon Lady Lord had a killing desire in her eyes. She swept her bloody gaze around, then finally focused it at the lake below her. I'll take care of the blood demon Lord. You take care of the rest. Don't let anyone escape. Mu Chen knew that the blood demon Lord had sensed their presence when he noticed her gaze. Hence, he immediately dispersed the spiritual light and gave instructions to Bai Susu. Bai Susu nodded her head. Given her strength, she was much stronger than those blood demon generals. Besides, Mu Chen helped to eliminate some of the most tricky ones. Hence, her task was not that difficult. 
Mu Chen did not speak further, but rose in the air slowly in front of the blood demon Lady Lord, while all of the powerhouses of the fiend blood tribe stared at him as if they were ready to pounce at him. The blood demon Lady Lord narrowed her eyes at Mu Chen, but a bewitching smile surfaced on her pretty face. What a handsome young lad. Are you thinking of spending a night with me since you are standing in my way now? Her chiffon dress slightly swayed, revealing her fair skin. It was extremely alluring. Mu Chen put on a smile in the face of her lustful seduction. But, his eyes were as still as a calm like, as if he were an old monk. Seeing this, the blood demon Lady Lord narrowed her eyes even further. The seductive smile slowly disappeared from her face and was replaced by a fierce and harsh look. She stared at Mu Chen, then asked, You had something to do with the missing blood palm lord and blood nether lord, didn't you? Mu Chen threw her a surprised look as he said, Looks like you have discovered it to be true. I have been keeping in contact with them, but they suddenly disappeared. So, I knew that there must be more to all of this than meets the eye. But, I never thought that the people from the Great Thousand World would interfere in our business, she said coldly. Apparently, she had guessed Mu Chen's background from his intense and vast spiritual energy. Women are indeed hard to deceive. Mu Chen smiled. As the blood demon Lady Lord stared coldly at Mu Chen, the surrounding blood aura surged, emanating a daunting mightiness across the land. However, just when everyone thought that a great war was going to erupt, the blood demon Lady Lord suddenly beamed into a bloody ray and charged toward somewhere far away at lightning speed. This sudden change of events not only befuddled the powerhouses of the fiend blood tribe, but Mu Chen was also stunned for a moment. Then, he laughed and said, women are indeed experts in deception. Apparently, the blood demon Lady Lord was feeling uneasy. After all, if Mu Chen could finish the other two blood demon lords off, she knew that he must have powerful means. Hence, she knew that she would not have many chances in defeating him in a solo battle. So, after learning that Mu Chen was the culprit behind all these things, she did not have the intention to fight him at all. She was simply trying to distract him until she could find a chance to flee. Now, the safest thing for her was to try to make it back to Mount Blood Demon to join forces with the remaining three Blood Demon Lords. I've been camping here for so long. How can I let you run away? Obviously, Mu Chen would not allow this to happen, especially after spending his time camping here. So, he smiled while flitting into a streamer. He then pierced through the air, chasing behind her at a high speed. As two beams of streamers flit across the sky, space continued to distort itself. In a flash, they had flown thousands of miles away from their original location. However, no matter how hard the blood demon Lady Lord tried to escape, she could not shake Mu Chen. To make things worse for her, the distance between the two of them was closing up fast. Damn asterisk, this fellow is sticky, she muttered. The blood demon Lady Lord looked pale as she grit her teeth. She never thought that a godlike man would show up in the world that they ruled as the kings. Boom. While she was lamenting her predicament, the space on top of her suddenly rumbled. As she looked up in horror, a gigantic crystal pagoda dropped from the sky and loomed over her. The crystal pagoda was coming at her so fast, before she could even react to it, it had shrouded her within it. Mu Chen, who was still chasing behind her, smiled faintly and beamed into the crystal pagoda. The pagoda stood quietly in the land. After approximately a half an hour, the space fluctuated as a streamer darted out to Mu Chen. As Mu Chen held a ball of bloody light. Within the ball of light, there was no bewitching look on the face of the blood demon Lady Lord, only fear. Dear Lord, if you can spare my life, I'll be your slave. The blood demon Lady Lord pleaded with a seductive tone to the skies. Mu Chen smiled, then threw the ball and suppressed it under the pagoda. When he had the chance, he would exterminate them completely. After getting rid of the blood demon Lady Lord, Mu Chen's tense body started to relax. His plan was dangerous, but it had gone well. Only three blood demon lords remained in this land. If he could wipe them out, his mission would be complete. Till then, he could obtain the great opportunity that Sovereign White Dragon was talking about. But, to seal off these three blood demon lords, I already paid close to 300 million in Sovereign Spiritual Liquid. When he thought of this expense, Mu Chen could not help but feel a little heartache over it. This time, his trip had almost stripped the Mu estate's resources completely. Even though Mandela could understand why he had needed to use them, she was still expressing her unhappiness on her face. After all, the expenses of the Mu estate were rather high already, and now, everyone had to tighten up their purse strings after Mu Chen's actions. Let's hope that the great opportunity can really help me hit the heavenly sovereign level. Otherwise, I will lose out on this investment. Mu Chen shook his head, while smiling bitterly. He then turned around and flit away. A few minutes later, he was back in the air above that same large lake. At this point, the water in the lake had turned into a pool of blood and corpses were floating in it. Bai Susu stood on the water, exuding a cold killing aura. When her cold and beautiful eyes met with Mu Chen's, they became gentle at once. She then smiled and said, congratulations to you for succeeding again. 
Mu Chen smiled as he landed beside Bai Susu and placed his palm on her shoulder. As he did so, spiritual energy surged into her body. All of a sudden, little red dots surfaced on her white skin, but eventually evaporated. At the same time, the cold killing aura around her dissipated. Blood poison. She gasped. Seeing those little red spots, Bai Susu had a slight change in her expression. She was unaware that she had been poisoned by the blood poison previously. Your strength is not weak, but it is rather unstable. You need to cultivate more. Otherwise, you will not make any progress. Mu Chen drew back his palm and reminded her. Yes. Bai Susu answered obediently. Mu Chen nodded his head and spoke no further. He looked towards the east and grew silent. After a while, he said, I'm afraid that the three blood demon lords on Mount Blood Demon have found out about this. I'm guessing that it will be a tough battle. This time, he was going to have to face three formidable opponents, each of whom were almost at the heavenly sovereign level. Chapter 1386, Before the Grand Battle Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio A majestic mountain stood tall between the heavens and the earth. It looked so grand as the summit was above the clouds. If you looked down from the summit, you would feel like you were on the top of the world. This was Saint Mountain, but now the mountain was covered in blood. An intense, pungent, bloody smell lingered in the air, and the sky was painted in maroon. Within the vast mountain, a stream flowed red as if the water were fresh blood. It looked like a place for blood demons to cultivate themselves. Countless bloody rays could sometimes be seen floating around in the mountain. At this time, a thick and viscous blood aura lingered in the deepest area within the mountain. Three figures stood before a gorge with their hands behind their backs. The surrounding bloody aura surged and rippled, shaking the space continuously. The three of them wore red robes. The one who was standing at the forefront had a pale face with a vertical blood slit that ran between his eyebrows. It exuded a faint but daunting killing aura. He turned to the other two and said indifferently, we have primarily confirmed that someone is attacking the fiend blood tribe. Blood Netherlord and the other two have been apprehended. The other two fierce-looking blood demon lords could not help but change their expressions. Although they somehow had an idea before they had come here, they were still shocked and their speculations were confirmed. After all, they had ruled this place without any hindrance for so long. All the powerhouses in this land were not worth mentioning to them, so why had such a formidable opponent suddenly sprouted up? He should be from the Great Thousand World, said the fair-skinned blood demon lord. D asterisk amen. The other two blood demon lords twitched their facial muscles and cursed. If it were really a powerhouse from the Great Thousand World, it would be a little tricky. They knew very well that the powerhouses from the Great Thousand World were incomparable with those from the lower planes. Their strength could not be belittled. But according to my estimation, that person is not a heavenly sovereign. He is at most at the same level as we are. The fair-skinned blood demon lord squinted. Given my speculation, Blood Netherlord and the other two were taken down separately. If this person were a heavenly sovereign, there would be no need for this trouble. The other two relaxed slightly when they heard this. So long as it was not a heavenly sovereign from the Great Thousand World, they could probably still scare off the mystery powerhouse from the Great Thousand World if the three of them joined hands. What should we do now? asked the other two. The vertical slit between the Blood Demon Lord's eyebrows wriggled slightly. After a while, he slowly said, send my orders out. Get all the powerhouses of the Fiend Blood Tribe back to Mount Blood Demon. The other two Blood Demon Lords were shocked. Brother, what about those cities we occupied? The leader of the Blood Demon Lord said emotionlessly, looks like both of you have not got your priorities right. If we are defeated, what is the use of keeping those cities? Is that fellow so formidable? asked the two of them doubtfully. Regardless how formidable this guy might be, we need to prepare for the worst. You must remember what our final objective is. The Blood Demon Lord leader looked down and gazed at the gorge in front of them. There was a sea of blood in the gorge. The pungent smell of the blood was almost piercing through their noses. An enormous egg covered in blood was floating in the sea of blood. Hideous runes were engraved on the blood egg. An indescribable ferocious aura exuded from it as if it were nurturing something. The three Blood Demon Lords looked at the bloody egg with blazing hot fires burning within their eyes. It was not easy for us to take over this place without letting other clans know about this. With the help of the blood from the spiritual beings in this world, a true king can be nurtured. Once he is born, the Fiend Blood Tribe will have our own demon emperor. At that time, the Blood Fiend Tribe will enjoy some status in the extraterritorial races. They will not treat us like dirt as before. Our plan has reached the most crucial stage, and no mistakes must be made. An ultimate coldness surged within the leader's eyes. He then turned to the other two Blood Demon Lords and said, Don't be too worried about it. I'm only preparing for the worst. If this fellow only dares to sneak behind Blood Netherlord and the other two, that goes to show that his strength is stronger than theirs by a level. Hence, I doubt he dares to barge into Mount Blood Demon. 
The other two Blood Demon Lords nodded in agreement. Since the three of them would never divide themselves while guarding Mount Blood Demon, the powerhouse of the Great Thousand World would be courting his own death if he was not a heavenly sovereign. Hence, they decided to keep this arrogant fellow alive for the time being. They would make him pay a thousandfold once their king was born. Mu Chen and Bai Susu stood on the summit of a mountain in a barren land. Bai Susu looked at a city in the distance while Mu Chen squinted and said, These powerhouses of the Fiend Blood Tribe are continuously abandoning the cities. They are gathering up at Mount Blood Demon, Bai Susu said with a stern face. Looks like the three Blood Demon Lords sensed something amiss. Mu Chen nodded slightly. He was not surprised at all. After all, three Blood Demon Lords had fallen out of contact at the same time. This was not a small matter. The other three Blood Demon Lords would be on their guard regardless of how stupid they were. They sense danger, so they are calling back all the powerhouses to secure Mount Blood Demon. Bai Susu knit her willow-shaped eyebrow slightly and looked at Mu Chen. What shall we do, Lord? Mount Blood Demon was heavily guarded, and the three Blood Demon Lords must be waiting for Mu Chen's arrival. If they barged into it, it might be a battle that would shake the earth. Mu Chen laughed when he heard this. What else? Let's fight our way through. His tonality was lighthearted, as though he were talking about some sightseeing location and not a fearsome battlefield. Even though Bai Susu was a girl, she could not help but feel her blood accelerate when she heard his neutral tonality. Immediately, she pursed her lips into a smile. Since you're so confident, we will definitely put our lives at stake. Mu Chen smiled. Just as he was about to speak, his expression suddenly froze. He was slightly shocked while looking at the land behind him. Suddenly, many presences were sweeping in like swift, rumbling currents. Mu Chen looked at that human current in shock. He realized that the current was not made up of the members of the Fiend Blood Tribe, but of the indigenous people from this world. Judging from the scale of it, almost all the indigenous people from this world were rushing toward them. He turned and looked at Bai Susu. Looking into his eyes, Bai Susu pursed her lips and smiled. Lord, this battle concerns our survival. Your goal is the three Blood Demon Lords. The rest do not require you to waste your effort. We will not allow anyone to disturb you. Mu Chen knit his eyebrow when he heard that. All of you are fooling around. The powerhouses of the Fiend Blood Tribe were all grouped together. The indigenous people had quite a number, too, but they might lose their lives in real combat. Bai Susu smiled. Her voice was soft but determined. Lord, our hatred for the Fiend Blood Tribe is beyond your imagination. Hence, we have no regrets, even if our people are completely annihilated. So, let us come along with you. Bai Susu bowed to Mu Chen respectfully. At the same time, the vast and mighty current gathered under the solitary mountain. The countless indigenous people kneeled on one knee. A thunderous voice echoed in the land, we seek your permission. Mu Chen was silent for a while as he looked at the scene. He could see the hatred in the eyes of these people. Apparently, most of them were ready to sacrifice themselves. Even if he wanted to stop them at this time, the people might still just follow behind him. As such, he sighed softly and said, if the other party does not make any move, all of you must stay put, too. As long as I kill the three blood demon lords, the fiend blood tribe will collapse. He was afraid that when he summoned the thought of sovereign white dragon, the latter might not fulfill his promise if he was too upset about the death of his tribe mates. Hence, he had better try to keep some of the people alive. Your order is our command. Countless voices resounded respectfully between the heavens and the earth. They looked at Mu Chen with genuine respect. Mu Chen stopped commenting. He nodded slightly to Bai Susu and beamed into a streamer charging somewhere far away. Behind him, the vast and mighty current followed closely while shaking the earth. The current swept across the land. A few days later, their speed gradually slowed down. A streamer appeared in the sky, and Mu Chen stood with his hands behind his back. His calm eyes looked at the majestic mountain that seemed to be far away. The enormous mountain was poking through the clouds, looking down at the land. Bai Susu stood at the side and stared at Saint Mountain, which had become bloody and filthy. Her eyes could not help but get red. Thin veins started appearing on her jade-like hands. Mu Chen looked at the gigantic mountain that was exuding an overwhelming, pungent, bloody odor. Countless figures waited solemnly at the mountain with blood aura lingering in the air. Mu Chen gazed at the enormous bloody mountain. Suddenly, three bloody rays darted out from Mount Blood Demon. They were suspended in the air and transformed into three bloody figures. Brutal blood aura soared into the sky. At the same time, a cold voice echoed between the heavens and earth. The killing intent was as solid as if it had materialized. Ignorant scoundrel. I wanted to let you live longer, yet you barged into my territory. You're cutting your own throat. Since you wish to court your own death, I'll grant your wish today. Chapter 1387, 1 vs. 3 Bloody Demons Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio A bloody aura loomed over the land in front of Mount Blood Demon. 
As the three bloody figures stood in the sky, three streams of ferocious auras exuded from their bodies. From afar, they looked like three statues of demonic gods. Numerous native powerhouses looked at the three bloody figures and shuddered uncontrollably. The fear in their eyes was evident, as they knew that the three bloody figures before them were the most formidable blood demon lords in the entire fiend blood tribe. Countless top-notch native powerhouses had died at their hands throughout the years. However, Muchen just remained calm and shook his robe lightly. At that moment, a spiritual light surged like a tide, spreading through the other half of the sky. The spiritual light hampered the ferocious aura that was coming from the three blood demon lords. Bai Susu and the rest felt relieved upon seeing Mu Chen make his move. Their tense bodies slowly relaxed, and they cast admiring gazes towards him. The leader of the Blood Demon Lord glared at Mu Chen from the top of Mount Blood Demon. He then asked, You're just a mere complete earthly sovereign, yet you dare to act so tough in front of me? You're too arrogant. The leader of the Blood Demon Lord could tell Mu Chen's strength by his spiritual energy fluctuation. Hence, he was quite baffled about it. Generally, complete earthly sovereigns were almost like their blood demon generals in the clan. So, he had to wonder. How did that three blood demon lords lose to Mu Chen? Upon hearing his mocking words, Mu Chen smiled and said, A complete earthly sovereign is good enough for you guys. You sure know how to brag, the other two blood demon lords at the side chided in unison. Their eyes were as sharp as knives as they glared at Mu Chen with hideous looks on their faces. Brother, why are you talking so much to a person who is going to die? Let's deal with him together. Kill him first, then throw all of his flesh and blood into the bloody gorge, one of them said, while the pair's ferocious gazes swept across those native powerhouses behind Mu Chen. Fine, let's settle this person together. The leader of the blood demon lords nodded indifferently. Read novel full. Although he mocked Mu Chen, he remained vigilant. He did not intend to give Mu Chen any chance of attacking him. Boom. Three enormous bloody rays soared into the sky from the bodies of the blood demon lords. The mightiness of this shook the earth and the bloody and violent wind howled, bringing a pungent smell along with it. The three blood demon lords launched an attack altogether, the impact of which was rather earth-shaking. It even shocked by Susu, who clenched her fists tightly. Throughout the last couple of days, she had seen that Mu Chen was indeed formidable. But, it had always been a one-on-one -on -one match. Now, he had to fight with the three most formidable blood demon lords. Shu. As the three blood demon lords struck together, the three streams of bloody current pierced through the air like a filthy blood river, sweeping towards Mu Chen. Upon seeing it, Mu Chen swung his robe. A spiritual energy light shield appeared, which protected him. Boom! The bloody river bashed the spiritual energy light shield, and as the blood splashed about, the daunting energy seemed to be tearing the sky apart. Hideous smiles surfaced on the three blood demon lords' faces. The demonic blood river was extremely filthy. Once the spiritual energy contacted it, it would erode the spiritual energy instantly. However, just as the smiles surfaced on their faces, they were quickly frozen. It was at this moment that a sudden crystal radiance glowed. As the radiance spread out, the bloody river lost its vibrancy in color and eventually dissipated. The three blood demon lords narrowed their pupils slightly at this time. The crystal radiance then formed into a light coating, shielding the area where Mu Chen was standing. At the same time, the space twisted beside him. Then, two figures, one dressed in black and the other dressed in white, suddenly appeared beside Mu Chen. The two figures looked exactly the same as Mu Chen. What most shocking to the three blood demon lords was they had the same tyrannical spiritual energy fluctuation as Mu Chen, too. Is this cloning of the spiritual energy? How could both of them have the same mighty strength as the main body, one of the blood demon lords exclaimed in shock. He seemed to understand a little bit about the means available in the Great Thousand World. The leader of the Blood Demon Lord said with a cold voice, Lad, it's no wonder you dared to force your way to Mount Blood Demon. You do have some impressive capabilities. Brother, what should we do now? Asked the other Blood Demon Lord calmly. They had now lost their advantage in numbers. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords darkened his expression. After a while, he let out a burst of unpleasant laughter and said, I don't believe that his clones share the same combat power with the main body. Let me handle the main body, while you guys get rid of his clones. Then, we will attack him together. The other two blood demon lords nodded unison, indicating that they shared the same thinking. After all, the skill of transforming from one into three without compromising the combat power was scarcely seen in the extraterritorial race. So, they highly doubted that a mere complete earthly sovereign could do such a thing. The two of them then turned into blood rays and charged out. Mu Chen saw them, but remained calm. Then, he threw a nod to the black and white Mu Chens, who both laughed and soared into the sky. They took two different directions, while allowing the two blood demon lords to chase after them. After a while, the black-robed Mu Chen struck first. A ring on his finger was blinking with lights. The next moment, many figures suddenly dashed out and stood behind him. Boom! 
A vast and mighty fighting spirit rose to the sky and shook the earth. As thousands of troops stood behind the black-robed Mu Chen, their thunderous roars echoed through the land and their powerful fighting spirit transformed into an ocean that floated in the air. The ocean displayed a daunting might as it expanded itself. This was the Mystery Dragon Army. The black-robed Mu Chen sat cross-legged in the fighting spirit ocean. He smiled at the blood demon lord, who was looking shocked. He then swung his robe, causing the fighting spirit to sweep towards that blood demon lord with daunting strength. On the other side, countless spiritual seals flew out like shooting stars from the sleeves of the white-robed Mu Chen. These spiritual seals merged in the air, and as the countless spiritual energy light rays darted out, an enormous array was condensed and formed. The other blood demon lord, who was following closely behind, was caught in the array. Bai Susu and the rest of the native powerhouses watched from afar, overwhelmed by what they were seeing. Apparently, they had not expected that Mu Chen would have such formidable means to be able to trap the two blood demon lords with only two clones. While they were all feeling shocked, the leader of the blood demon lords darkened his expression. He now had to believe that these clones actually possessed an equivalent combat power as Mu Chen's main body. Read novel full. All of you have committed evils in this land. Now, it's payback time, said Mu Chen as he looked calmly at the leader of the blood demon lords. You are such a bragger. Wait till I destroy your main body. Then, your clones will break down naturally. The leader of the blood demon lords laughed hideously, while blood rays surged within his eyes. He immediately opened his mouth and spurted out an endless stream of blood. In the blink of an eye, the blood transformed into a vast, bloody ocean that was suspended in the air. Roar As the bloody ocean swished and swooshed, a ferocious roar came from within it. The next moment, a huge beast crawled out of it. The body of the gigantic beast was a bloody red, and its killing aura raged into the sky. It looked like a giant ape that had three heads. Its face looked fierce and hideous, like a fearsome beast that had just risen from hell. Roar Once the gigantic bloody beast appeared, it let out a loud bellow. The howl was filled with a ferocious and destructive killing intent. It immediately fixed its bloody gaze on Mu Chen. Then, a huge bloody ball of light gathered in its mouth. Then, it charged towards Mu Chen, leaving a black trail behind it in the sky. Mu Chen looked at it and slightly narrowed his eyes. He could sense a dangerous fluctuation coming from the huge bloody beast. This made him grow wary of the strength of the blood demon lord's leader. Basically, his power was one of the strongest among all of the powerhouses, making it close to the heavenly sovereign level. Phew. Mu Chen took a deep breath as he formed a seal with both of his hands. A violet radiance exploded behind him, creating a colossal violet silhouette. Shu. As the immortal golden body appeared, it condensed and formed hundreds of immortal god runes. They shot out like huge dragons and quickly wove themselves into a large violet web in front of Mu Chen. Bang! Then, the ball of bloody light swept in with destructive power. It swept across the space before finally bashing into the large, violet web. Its daunting mightiness squeezed and suppressed the web instantly as the ball of bloody light continued to charge towards Mu Chen. However, Mu Chen did not move an inch. As the reflection of the destructive ball of light grew bigger in his eyes, he remained calm. Just when Bai Susu and the rest of the people were about to let out numerous panicked exclamations, the gigantic violet web absorbed all of the impact when the ball was just a few feet away from Mu Chen. The ball of bloody light stopped in front of Mu Chen, as it was tangled up by the huge web. Seeing this, Mu Chen lifted his finger slowly and flicked it gently. Wang. The gigantic violet web shook and contracted, sending the ball of bloody light back in the same direction it came from. In the blink of an eye, it sprung right back towards the huge bloody beast. Roar. The huge bloody beast roared and clenched its fist as it held up a huge bloody rod. As it swung the rod hard, the returning ball of bloody light exploded. At that moment, a daunting windstorm swept out and lightning flashed throughout the land. Humph, those are some impressive skills. The bloody glow in the eyes of the leader intensified when he saw Mu Chen's defense. He then laughed hideously and said, Next, I will let you have a taste of the daunting destructive bloody beast from our fiend blood tribe. Roar. The bloody beast let out a shriek right after the leader of the blood demon lords finished speaking. Then, a visible sound wave swept out. It could clearly be seen that the beast was holding a huge bloody rod. It then flit into a bloody ray of light and headed towards the immortal golden body. The killing aura it emitted was so destructive, it was as if it wanted to exterminate all of the living beings in the entire world. As Mu Chen looked at the incoming gigantic beast, he formed a seal with both of his hands immediately, while the immortal golden body under his feet burst out of violet radiance. At the same time, the immortal god runes formed themselves into a huge spear within its grasp. As the immortal golden body swung this golden spear, the spear's golden radiance was as glaring as the hot sun. Its body then quickly darted out. Countless pairs of shocked eyes were looking at it as it collided ferociously with the incoming enormous bloody beast. 
At the same time, Mu Chen's sneer echoed throughout the sky like a clap of thunder. Let's see whether your bloody beast or my immortal golden body is more superior. Chapter 1388 Acceleration Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Boom! The immortal golden body and the enormous bloody beast collided ferociously in the sky like two clashing meteors. A loud and earth-shaking explosion could be heard. A visible impact wave swept out violently like a windstorm. The space around them was collapsing, and the land below was quivering. Roar! The bloody beast let out a deafening roar. The huge, brightly glowing, bloody rod in its hand struck fiercely at the immortal golden body. Clang! However, a golden spear shining with a violet aura pierced through space. The sound of metal echoed in the air, and sparks flew out in all directions. The enormous fiery rod was forced to draw back, but the enormous bloody beast was extremely fearsome. It charged forward while wielding the rod so quickly, there were multiple afterimages. The rod blotted out the sky and the land as it smashed down on the immortal golden body. The rod's power was destructive and imposing. A golden ray burst out of the immortal golden body. It held a large violet spear and charged directly towards the rod like a huge spiritual deity. The spear and the rod collided, shaking the entire land. Mu Chen looked at the two enormous beings exchanging blows. Lights flickered in his eyes. He charged out suddenly and headed straight towards the leader of the blood demon lords. The bloody beast was indeed extraordinary. It might take a while to take care of it, but if the ringleader was captured, the gang would collapse. So long as he could defeat the leader of the blood demon lords, the bloody beast would naturally crumple to its knees. Seeing Mu Chen charging towards him, the leader of the blood demon lords sneered. Without your clones and your sovereign celestial body, how dare you challenge me with just your physical body? You are really courting your own death. Without all those means, Mu Chen looked just like a mere complete earthly sovereign. Yet, the leader of the blood demon lords had a strength that way surpassed that of the usual blood demon lords. He was even a step away from the blood demon emperor level. Naturally, he would not be afraid of Mu Chen. Hence, he did not back off when he saw Mu Chen approaching. Instead, he stepped forward. The ghostly figure appeared directly in front of Mu Chen. His body shook a little and inflated at once into a giant. He slammed his palm hard on Mu Chen. The slap from the palm burst every inch of space, displaying an extremely daunting force. What powerful physical strength! The reflection of the bloody palm was enlarging in Mu Chen's pupils as he could feel the palm's power. Mu Chen squinted. Within seconds, crystal light exploded from his pupils. Massive spiritual energy swept out from his body like a flood. Roar! Mu Chen curled his fingers into a fist and punched. At the same time, the roaring of a dragon was vaguely heard. The spirit of the real dragon climbed onto his arm, and the dragon's claws merged with Mu Chen's five fingers. The force from the punch was earth-shaking. Boom! The fist and the palm collided hard, causing space to explode into fragments. The broken areas looked like black holes. Mu Chen and the leader of the Blood Demon Lord's bodies wavered and darted backward. What a lad! He actually has a strong physical body. A shocked expression swiped across the leader's face. The mightiness of Mu Chen's physical body was apparently beyond his expectation. However, he was not at all afraid. In the previous collision, he could feel that he had a slight advantage. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords let out a cold laugh. Without giving Mu Chen a chance to breathe, he darted out once again. The next moment, he launched an attack that rained down like a blizzard on Mu Chen, enveloping him. While Mu Chen's clones and sovereign celestial body were away in a fight, the leader of the Blood Demon Lords wanted to play all his advantages so that he could form a winning strategy. Boom! Mu Chen looked solemn when he saw the incoming offense, and the surface of his body surged with a crystal-like glow. The spirit of the real dragon crouched on his arm, circulating its own spiritual energy and the power of the physical body to the maximum. Mu Chen could feel that the leader of the Blood Demon Lord's strength was much more domineering than that of the rest of the Blood Demon Lords. He was one of the strongest opponents he had met who was not a heavenly sovereign. He was, indeed, a tricky opponent. Bai Susu and the rest of the natives were watching the three battle rings from afar with great trepidation. The combat in each battle ring struck fear into each of them. This level of combat would blow them away completely if they got hit in the slightest. Your Majesty, Lord Deity seems to be suppressed by the leader of the Blood Demon Lords. Some of the top-notch native powerhouses gathered around by Susu. They looked in Mu Chen's direction with concern. The leader apparently had the upper hand in that battle ring. His reigning offense utterly suppressed Mu Chen. Bai Susu clenched her jade-like hands, but her face was calm. She had been following Mu Chen for the past few days. She knew he had formidable means, but he had yet to display them. Apparently, he was waiting for the best chance to strike. This level of combat was a gamble to see who revealed a weakness first. Boom! Mu Chen and the leader of the Blood Demon Lords fired off another blast into the sky. The bright and radiant spiritual energy and bloody ray filled the air. 
However, the leader had a hideous smile. His neck vibrated a little, and his head stretched out like a snake. Shark fangs grew from his mouth, and he bit hard towards Mu Chen's neck. At the most critical moment, Mu Chen tilted his head slightly, and the shark teeth sank right into his shoulder. Blood immediately spurted out. Let me suck your blood. The leader of the blood demon lords laughed hideously. He planned on sucking Mu Chen dry. However, Mu Chen smiled coldly. He swung his sleeve, and a crystal pagoda shot out from it. The pagoda grew in size with the wind. With a boom, it shrouded the two of them. Mu Chen knew that given his current means, he would have to rely on the eight buter to win. However, the leader was moving like a ghost. His body merged with space, and he was always faster than Mu Chen. If Mu Chen were to take out the buter pagoda directly, he was afraid he could not capture him inside. The crystal pagoda swept down onto the leader, and he was shocked. He felt uneasy at the sight of it. To be safe, he wanted to withdraw his sharp fangs immediately. However, he realized that Mu Chen's muscles were contracting, and his muscles were as stiff as iron. He could not move his fangs at all. Boom! That moment of hesitation caused the Crystal Pagoda to fall over their heads, keeping both of them inside while it was suspended quietly in the air. Inside the Pagoda. Mu Chen retreated. He ignored his bleeding shoulder and smiled at the leader of the Blood Demon Lords who was looking around with a cold face. Mu Chen swung his sleeve, and a torrent formed by sovereign spiritual liquid swept out from it. The vast spiritual energy fluctuation lingered in the pagoda. This time, Mu Chen used up 80 million drops of sovereign spiritual liquid, as he knew that the leader was too formidable for him. Since he was going after him, he should not be stingy with the sovereign spiritual liquid. He would instead give it everything he had to finish that fellow once and for all. The torrent swept out, and Mu Chen quickly formed a seal with both hands. Eight hideous-looking ancient demonic portraits surfaced on the pagoda's wall. Half of the bodies were stretching out from the wall. They opened their huge mouths and swallowed all the sovereign spiritual liquid in one shot. Buter Demon Exterminating Light Cold radiance gathered in Mu Chen's eyes. Without any hesitation, he circulated one of the killing blows in the eight buter. The eight demonic portraits stretched and pointed their fiendish fingers at the leader of the blood demon lords. The next moment, eight beams of black light darted out. As those beams of black light charged at the leader of the blood demon lord, his expression changed drastically, and his eyes filled with horror. Apparently, he could also feel the domineering mightiness of the killing blow and the serious threat that could endanger his life. D asterisk amen, this fellow actually has such means. The leader let out an angry groan. Immediately, he formed a seal with both hands. Vast bloody light surged, and the lights formed a ball of bloody light that shielded him. SSTZ When the eight beams of black light shot out and came into contact with the ball of bloody light, they pierced directly through the shield. At the same time, it went through the leader of the blood demon lords. Ah. A devastated cry resounded in the air. The leader of the blood demon lords exploded into a pool of blood. The mightiness of the eight buter lived up to its name as one of the 36 volumes of rare superpowers. Mu Chen looked at it and swung his sleeves. The crystal spiritual energy enveloped and sealed the pool of blood in the air before transforming it into a crystal light ball. The ball fell into his hand. Mu Chen looked down at the crystal light ball with a frown. The leader of the blood demon lords showed him a hideous and ruthless expression from within the crystal ball before the face slowly disappeared into thin air. His aura disappeared. This fellow is indeed tricky. Mu Chen kept silent for a while before he grabbed the crystal ball and burst it in his hand. He knew that the leader was not dead. Instead, he had used an unusual way to escape. Even though the leader escaped from death, his body had been destroyed. No matter how far he ran, he had suffered a significant loss, which in turn reduced his combat ability. Thus, he was not much of a threat now. No matter what he wants to do, I must take this opportunity to finish off the other two blood demon lords. Mu Chen moved out of the pagoda. So long as he finished off the other two, he could deal with the leader of the blood demon lords easily with Qi into Trinity. Back in Mount Blood Demon. A pool of blood gathered and formed a figure in the bloody gorge that was filled with fresh blood. That pale-looking figure was the leader of the blood demon lords that had been killed by Mu Chen. His body was frail and weak. Apparently, he had suffered a huge blow. With a dark expression, he looked at the other side of the mountain and gritted his teeth. D asterisk MN lad. He actually had such formidable means. The mightiness exploded out from the eight demonic portraits still struck fear in him at this point in time. Had he not preserved half of his flesh in the blood gorge, he would still be trapped in the pagoda for sure. Even so, his constitution was significantly undermined along with his combat capability. Since he had exited the battlefield temporarily, Mu Chen would lay his hands on the other two blood demon lords, and they would not be able to hold him off for too long. They no longer had the upper hand, given their current situation. The leader of the blood demon lords was looking coldly at the bloody egg that was floating in the bloody gorge. Demonic light runes were blinking on the egg as if it was synchronized with a baby's breathing. That lad is rather bizarre. 
If we wish to eliminate him, we need to accelerate our emperor's birth. The leader of the blood demon lords took a deep breath. He grit his teeth and let out a sharp shriek. As he cried, many powerhouses from the blood fiend tribe walked out from the bloody gorge. They seemed to be under someone's control as they all walked towards the gorge and plunged into it. Once their bodies touched the blood in the gorge, they melted into hot fresh blood and merged with the bloodstream. All of a sudden, blood spurted out as many powerhouses jumped into gorge consecutively. As more and more fresh blood melted into the bloodstream, the light runes on the demonic bloody egg got brighter. Then, a thin crack slowly emerged on the bloody egg's surface. Chapter 1389, The Birth of the Blood Emperor Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Outside of Mount Blood Demon The gigantic crystal pagoda that was suspended in the air suddenly vibrated, while everyone was staring at it. It then quickly reduced in size, while a light figure darted out in front of everyone. Lord Deity When Baisusu and the rest of the native powerhouses saw the figure, they could not help but all exclaim in excitement. Thrill and happiness filled their faces. Apparently, they did not expect that the winner tea between Mu Chen and the leader of the Blood Demon Lords would be determined so quickly. Compared to their raucous excitement, it was dead silent in Mount Blood Demon. Many powerhouses in the Fiend Blood Tribe were horrified by this outcome. They did not expect that the most formidable Blood Demon Lord would be defeated by Mu Chen. However, Mu Chen was not at all concerned about all of these shocked looks. He cast his gaze towards Mount Blood Demon, but could not sense the fluctuation of the leader. Apparently, he had hidden. Mu Chen was not at all pleased with the current situation. In fact, he was a little uneasy about it. In any case, I need to finish the remaining two blood demon lords off. As Mu Chen thought this, a radiance flickered in his eyes. He then walked to the other battlefield, as he knew that he still must finish them off first, as only when they were dead, would Mu Chen be able to do his best when the leader put up a last fight. Mu Chen rushed into the battlefield, which was already howling with a fighting spirit ocean. Waves of fighting spirit torrents swept through the sky non-stop, keeping one of the blood demon lords busy. When Mu Chen appeared on top of the fighting spirit ocean, he was overlooking the blood demon lord, who was trapped. The latter had a sharp change in his expression upon seeing him. He knew that, since Mu Chen had shown up here, the leader of the blood demon lords must have fallen. How can this be possible, exclaimed the blood demon lord. After all, their leader was the strongest among them, so he was amazed to think of how he could lose to this mere complete earthly sovereign. But regardless of his shock, Mu Chen remained indifferent. He waved his hand, revealing the immortal golden body behind him. Immediately, the immortal golden body dashed into the battlefield, sweeping out the immortal god runes. He did not use the eight buter anymore, as the consumption of the sovereign spiritual liquid was too great. Thus, he could only join hands with the black-robed Mu Chen to suppress this blood demon lord. Boom! In fact, after Mu Chen entered the battlefield, the blood demon lord, who was maintaining the deadlock, started to lose his ground. In the end, he was forced back by one of the fighting spirit torrents, while a huge violet spear pierced through his chest. As a strong, violet glow was released, his body exploded, which wiped out all of his vitality immediately. Mu Chen and the black-robed Mu Chen did not stop after killing this blood demon lord, but in a flash, they shifted towards the last battlefield, where the white-robed Mu Chen was engaging in an intense fight with the remaining blood demon lord. However, when that blood demon lord saw Mu Chen and the black-robed Mu Chen arrive, his face turned as white as a sheet. At that moment, he knew that his fate was sealed. As such, he grit his teeth and inflated his body. Within moments, he exploded himself. Boom! The loud explosive sound echoed throughout the land. Then, as if a huge bloody sun had arisen, red streams of torrent gushed out violently, as if they were going to flood the entire land. But, before the streams could spread across the land, Mu Chen shook his buter pagoda out from his sleeve. Immediately, endless crystal lights started to shine on top of it. As the lights scanned through the bloody torrents, they toned down their color quickly, then transformed into a red crystals, which dropped from the sky. Among these red crystals that were about to fall from the sky, one beamed out towards the Mount Blood Demon suddenly. You can't run. Moments after it had beamed out, Mu Chen appeared in front of it. With a sneer, a crystal light surfaced from his palm, like a light shield, and nabbed that red crystal. Mu Chen saw the horrified Blood Demon Lord show up within the red crystal, and without any mercy, Mu Chen clenched his palm and killed him. Don't get carried away. You all have to die when our emperor is born. Knowing that he had no chance to escape, the blood demon lord let out a screeching and evil laughter. Mu Chen broke the red crystal, then threw the broken pieces into the air. With this, Mu Chen had officially defeated the three blood demon lords. The native powerhouses exploded into deafening cheers. Some of them were so worked up that they even fell to their knees and cried bitterly. 
After all, these blood demon lords from the Fiend Blood Tribe had been haunting the natives like a demonic god for so many years. No matter how much they struggled, they were as helpless as ants under their oppression. However, the six blood demon lords were all killed by the Lord Deity. The living beings in this world had finally regained some vitality and freedom. While many natives were kneeling towards Mu Chen and bowing to him, Bai Su Su noticed that Mu Chen was not showing any signs of happiness. So, she flit over and asked in a low voice, Lord, is there something wrong? That leader of the blood demon lord is not dead yet. He escaped. Mu Chen looked at the mountain that was standing tall and firm before him, while a spiritual radiance flickered in his eyes. He had been trying to detect the location of the leader. Bai Su Su was slightly shocked when she heard this. Mount Blood Demon is the base camp for the fiend blood tribe. If the leader of the Blood Demon Lords has escaped, he must have gone there. Mu Chen nodded, while an icy radiance flickered in his eyes as he stared at Mount Blood Demon. He then swung his sleeves, causing the Buter Pagoda to shoot out. The pagoda grew in size with the wind, and within seconds, it had grown to 1,000 feet tall and was suspended on top of Mount Blood Demon. Not only were the native powerhouses were dumbfounded, but even those powerhouses from the Fiend Blood Tribe were shocked. They started running in all different directions, causing the situation to suddenly turn chaotic. Mu Chen and his clones formed seals at the same time, injecting a vast amount of spiritual energy into the pagoda. Crystal rays fell from the top, shrouding the entire Mount Blood Demon. Those bodies of the powerhouses from the Fiend Blood Tribe who touched the crystal ray shrank at a fast speed. Eventually, they turned into pieces of palm-sized crystals. Ding dang! As the crystals fell on the floor, the entire Mount Blood Demon was ringing with a crisp clear sound. The situation was rather bizarre. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords looked up to the huge crystal pagoda that was hanging in the air. He had a slight change in his expression, as he could sense that the crystal ray was scanning the entire Mount Blood Demon. He believed that the light ray would spot him in no time. I must speed up, he murmured as he looked at the bloody egg in the bloody gorge. The cracks were expanding on the surface of the egg, while a daunting fluctuation seemed to be brewing within it. He bit his lip and let out another shriek. At this moment, many powerhouses from the Fiend Blood Tribe sprouted out from the surroundings. They then jumped into the bloody gorge in order to provide more energy for that bloody egg. Mu Chen stood outside of Mount Blood Demon, watching as the scene descended into chaos. Even then, the leader of the Blood Demon Lords did not show up. Mu Chen slightly knit his eyebrows. Suddenly, his eyes narrowed as he sensed a daunting fluctuation surfacing deep within the mountain. Boom! Mu Chen's expression turned solemn once he made this discovery. He formed a seal with one hand, and a thousand feet tall crystal light pillar beamed out from the hanging pagoda. It struck hard towards the direction where Mu Chen had sensed the fluctuation. Out of safety concerns, although he did not know what the thing was yet, he knew that he had to destroy it. Rumble. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords also sensed that the crystal light pillar was falling from the sky, so he lifted his chin and stared at the incoming light pillar, which was charging downwards like a huge dragon. With a change in his expression, he swung both hands. At that moment, an endless blood torrent gushed out towards the sky from the Bloody Gorge. It then formed a gigantic blood shield that shrouded the entire Bloody Gorge. Boom! The crystal light pillar struck hard upon the shield, causing ripples to spread across the surface of the shield. After all, the blood shield was formed with the might of the Bloody Gorge, and as such, the shield was able to block the attack without shattering. I found him, Mu Chen murmured, while he narrowed his eyes outside of Mount Blood Demon. Without hesitation, he encircled the Buter Pagoda immediately. More crystal light pillars fell from the sky, striking at that location, one after another. Boom! 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 A violent rainstorm wreaked havoc in the air above the Bloody Gorge. With the non-stop raining down of the crystal light pillars, the blood shield became thinned and was weakened. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords darkened his expression when he saw this. He did not expect that Mu Chen would be so decisive to fire off such a destructive offense in order to eliminate all of the unknown factors. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords turned around and looked at the bloody egg. Even though the egg was filled with cracks on its surface, its shell remained unbroken. The egg seemed to be missing something. The leader of the Blood Demon Lords pondered for a while. Eventually, he lifted his chin and grit his teeth, then said, You bastard. Since you want to drive the Fiend Blood Tribe into despair, you shall be the first sacrifice our Emperor. After he finished shouting, his body vibrated and burst into a bloody torrent. Without any hesitation, the bloody torrent charged towards the huge bloody egg. At the same time, Mu Chen seemed to sense something, as his eyes turned darker and a crystal light pillar blasted open the blood shield. With lightning speed, the pillar pierced through space and bashed hard onto the bloody torrent. Boom! A violent explosion spread out in the next moment, while the entire bloody gorge was torn and began collapsing. While the bloody gorge was collapsing, a bloody egg rushed towards the sky and suspended itself quietly on top of Mount Blood Demon's Peak. 
As Mu Chen looked at the eerie looking bloody egg, his eyes narrowed. The dangerous aura that it emitted struck fear in his heart. He circulated his Buter Pagoda, causing countless crystal torrents to sweep down and bash hard onto the gigantic bloody egg. The overspreading crystal torrents fell on the egg with a destructive might. However, just before they came into contact with the bloody egg, the eggshell finally cracked open. A fair palm then reached out and held the crystal torrents gently within it. At the same time, the torrents burst into pieces. Chapter 1390, The Power of the Demon Emperor Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The pale palm stretched out from the blood egg and lightly gripped the crystal torrent that filled the sky, causing it to explode. The horrific power was enough to bring the whole world into silence. Mu Chen's expression changed slightly at the moment, gazing sharply at the broken blood egg. As the eggshell shattered, he could feel a terrifying wave of power condense and form. Boom! Just then, a huge blood-red beam violently burst out from the eggshell and rose up into the sky, directly hitting the crystal pagoda suspended in the sky. The two collided with a clang, and the crystal pagoda was hurled directly backwards. Mu Chen's expression was somber. With a wave of his sleeves, the crystal pagoda fell into his sleeves. He stared at the blood egg intensely, with a flash of terror in his eyes. Creak. Under his gaze, the blood egg quickly cracked. The pale palm stretched out and peeled off the eggshell. Finally, everybody saw a naked boy stand up from the eggshell. The boy had a slender body, and his eyes were blood red, as if there were a sea of blood condensing inside. His long white hair fluttered in the wind, making him a charming figure, but the violent destructive energy that emanated from him made the entire demonic blood mountain tremble. There was no emotion on his attractive face. His blood eyes swept past, cold and indifferent. At the same time, countless gusts of red wind whistled around his body. An indescribable oppression spread, and in the sky, the blood clouds condensed, turning into a blood-red hurricane, falling from the sky and enveloping the whole world. The top powers of the indigenous people looked at the white-haired boy and started trembling madly. The horrible oppression almost caused them to lose their minds, and their trembling heels almost brought them to their knees. Bai Susu's pretty face also turned pale. Although she did not know how powerful the white-haired boy was, she intuitively sensed that his skills were through the roof, and he was much stronger than the head blood demon lord. Standing beside Mu Chen, her petite figure trembled slightly. If her resolve had not been strong enough, she would probably have been unable to withstand the fear she felt from the bottom of her heart, and she would have run away. When her fear reached the maximum level, Mu Chen gently patted her on the shoulder. The spiritual energy light rays shielded her from the terrible oppression. Master. Bai Susu looked at Mu Chen gratefully, but she found that his expression was somber to a degree she had never seen before. His eyes were filled with intense contemplation as he gazed at the white-haired boy, I never expected a demon emperor to be born into the fiend blood tribe, Mu Chen said slowly. The thing he was most worried about in this trip had finally appeared. A demon emperor appearing among the fiend blood tribe was equivalent to a heavenly sovereign. Faced with this existence, even Mu Chen could sense the danger. He knew how powerful a demon emperor was. He didn't have much confidence when faced with a real demon emperor, despite easily defeating the blood demon lord. Today's task has just been made more difficult. At the top of blood demon mountain, the white-haired boy didn't care about his nudity. He just opened his mouth, and the blood-red eggshell turned into a bloody beam that he swallowed whole. He then looked at Mu Chen and said indifferently, Thanks to you, I was born today. Otherwise, my birth would probably have been delayed for hundreds of years. Although he had just been born, he had absorbed a lot of his clan's blood essence. Even the blood demon lord sacrificed his blood essence to irrigate him. He thus owned some of the blood demon lord's memories. Mu Chen sighed. I never thought that a demon emperor could be born into the fiend blood tribe. The white-haired boy, who was also the blood demon king of the fiend blood tribe, said indifferently, though you have contributed to my birth, you still have to die today. His voice was slightly hoarse but completely unemotional, containing a world of indifference. Mu Chen smiled uncaringly. He knew that it would be life or death when he saw the blood demon king, and he never thought there could be an amicable resolution. Indeed, I would like to learn some of your tricks. Mu Chen could not throw in the towel, even though he knew he was a real demon emperor. The outcome would only be known after their battle. Your blood essence is abundant. I will refine you into a blood slave rather than kill you, the blood demon king said while staring at Mu Chen. Mu Chen smiled as a purplish gold light shined behind him. The immortal golden body appeared, and he was standing on top of the immortal golden body's head, with the black and white Mu Chen standing on his shoulders, respectively. The three sat down, and the vast spiritual energy poured into the immortal golden body. All of a sudden, a golden beam burst from the immortal golden body, making it look like a huge purplish gold sun. Mu Chen had answered the blood demon king with his actions. He is overestimating himself, the blood demon king said indifferently while watching the scene. Mu Chen didn't reply. The three figures formed a seal, and the purplish gold god runes on the immortal golden body's surface condensed and burst out, suspended around its body like a huge dragon. 
Within a few seconds, 200 immortal god runes appeared. Mu Chen did not plan to proceed tentatively, and with the help of the two manifestations, he immediately pushed the number of immortal god runes to the extreme. The immortal god runes entrenched themselves, emitting a purplish gold beam, causing even the void to shake. Even the blood demon lord would be seriously injured in an instant when faced with such huge power. Immortal god runes, myriad of change, immortal god bell. Following Mu Chen's yell, the 200 immortal god runes burst up into the sky and turned into a huge purplish gold bell in the next instant. It fell from the sky, leading to an explosion of the void, enveloping the blood demon king. As the golden bell fell, Mu Chen waved his sleeves, and dozens of immortal god runes condensed again, turning into a huge gold pillar that whistled out and slammed into the golden bell. Clang! The impact shook the world, and the demonic blood mountain started to collapse. The huge sound wave spread, tearing up the sky. All the boulders around the golden bell turned into ashes under the impact of the sound waves, and the entire ground collapsed layer by layer. This scene horrified countless people. If the external sound waves were that horrific, how devastating the effect was within the golden bell could not be imagined. Mu Chen's blow was very intimidating. Bai Su Su showed her joy. She looked at Mu Chen, but saw that his expression remained somber. He did not relax after his attack. He knew his attack would knock down a heavenly sovereign, but it probably did not do much damage to a demon emperor. Just as that thought passed through Mu Chen's mind, the golden bell violently vibrated, and everyone saw a deep palm print appear on the bell. Ping. The huge golden bell shattered from the force of the blow, and the blood demon king's figure emerged. He was uninjured, apart from some red marks. However, the red marks quickly disappeared. Hiss. Bai Su Su and the rest inhaled sharply. They never expected the blood demon king to be so formidable that such a level of attack was just a minor annoyance to him. Even Bai Su Su, who had so much faith in Mu Chen, couldn't help but feel worried when she realized how powerful the demon emperor was. He is the demon emperor, indeed. Mu Chen expected this, but he still sighed when he saw that the Blood Demon King was uninjured. There was a huge difference between the power of the Blood Demon Lord and the Blood Demon Emperor. On the mountaintop, the Blood Demon King looked at Mu Chen coldly with his blood-red eyes, then lifted his finger and pointed at him. His fingertip emitted a blood ray, and a drop of fresh red blood flew off of his fingertip. The blood droplet turned into a round blood pearl, and with a slight shake, it penetrated through the void and dashed nimbly towards Mu Chen. Mu Chen watched the scene with a serious expression. He did not dare underestimate it. Taking a deep breath, millions of purple golden lights erupted from the immortal golden body, intertwining and finally forming a purple gold mountain. Dong! The blood hurtled towards the mountain that seemed to be made of purple gold. Boom! At that instant, as if the sky were going to fall, the seemingly indestructible purple golden mountain collapsed at the moment of contact, and an indescribable force exploded outwards. Ping! The sky collapsed, and the earth trembled. The purplish gold light dissipated in the distorted space. The giant immortal golden body seemed to be severely injured, and it was pushed backwards thousands of miles by the horrifying force, its feet leaving two deep tracks on the ground. Seeing this, Bai Su Su and the indigenous people were horrified. It was the first time they had seen Mu Chen defeated since they had met him. Obviously, the blood demon king's strength was way beyond Mu Chen's. In the dis distance, the immortal golden body finally recovered, and Mu Chen, who was standing on its head, looked down at its body with a somber expression and found that many cracks had appeared. Just a blow had already caused the immortal golden body to fall into such a state. The blood demon king's power was truly formidable. Huh. Mu Chen took a deep breath, and his eyes flashed fiercely. The blood demon king was indeed formidable, but he had experienced much in life, and he would not go down without a fight. The battle today is definitely a life and death battle. Chapter 1391, The Battle Between the Mu Overlord and the Blood Demon King Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio As bloody rain down poured between heaven and earth, everyone was silent. The power that the Blood Demon King had demonstrated earlier was so strong that he had managed to fling away the unstoppable Mu Chen with just a drop of his blood. Faced with this insurmountable amount of power, the masters among the indigenous people could not muster up much fighting spirit. If Mu Chen was to be defeated today, perhaps they would commit suicide. Either way, they would be free. Just as the indigenous people were stunned by the Blood Demon King's display of power, the chaos at Blood Demon Mountain erupted into cheers at the Blood Demon King's appearance. Although numerous Blood Demon Lords had been killed, the mere existence of the Blood Demon King was sufficient to ensure the survival of the fiend blood tribe. Mu Chen ignored the cheers, as his cold gaze was locked on the Blood Demon King, who was standing in the bloody rain. Boom! As Mu Chen stomped his feet, his body rose and millions of spiritual lights shone like the scorching sun. Behind him, the black and white Mu Chen's hurriedly followed, and the three of them dashed towards the Blood Demon King. Roar! As Mu Chen's body shook, the spirit of the real dragon emerged. 
It then roared and merged with Mu Chen's body, while dragon scales could be seen appearing on his body, enveloping him like a piece of armor. Read novel full. A pair of phoenix wings extended from Mu Chen's back. As Mu Chen flapped his wings, strong gusts of wind directly tore through the space. Before this great battle, Mu Chen had calibrated the spirit of the real dragon and the phoenix to merge flawlessly with his body, thus maximizing his combat power. Whoosh! Mu Chen took the lead, appearing in front of the blood demon king instantly. Spiritual light then converged onto his fist, and as it condensed, it formed a layer of spirit crystals. This punch held immense destructive power, and even the leader of the blood demon lords cowered in the face of it. However, the blood demon king just looked at it condescendingly. He stretched out his white slender palm and gently slapped Mu Chen's fist. Bang! The collision of their fists sounded like a collision between two metal bodies. Mu Chen looked as if he had taken a great blow as he crashed onto the ground like a fallen meteorite. While Mu Chen distracted the blood demon king, the black and white Mu Chens acted simultaneously, their spiritual energy palms penetrating through the space and landing heavily on the blood demon king's back. Surprisingly, such a strong simultaneous blow did not even affect the blood demon king at all. His eyes flashed murderously, and a cruel blood ray rolled out from behind him. Crash! Crash! The black and white Mu Chens were flung backwards by the force of the blood ray, knocking down two mountains as they went. The combined efforts of Mu Chen and his two clones had been defeated in just a short amount of time, causing heavy injuries to them all. The Demon King was indeed unbeatable. Standing above their heads, the Blood Demon King looked down at the crater where Mu Chen had just landed. His eyes flashed as he pointed at Mu Chen. Boom! A stream of blood rays shot out from his fingertips and expanded with the wind, turning into a giant red python. The python looked ferocious and brutal. Crash! After the giant python rushed into the deep crater, there was a muffled sound. In the next moment, with a flash of red light, the blood-red giant python was suddenly smashed into pieces. In midair, the blood demon king narrowed his gaze. An overwhelming fighting spirit emanated from the crater, while thousands of figures slowly rose up from it. Mu Chen's silhouette could be seen amongst this army of figures, which was surrounded by a massive fighting spirit. It was like an endless ocean was churning around him and the army. Transform into the spirit of fighting intent. Mu Chen's deep voice rang out. At that moment, thousands of fighters from the Mystery Dragon Army let out a loud shout in unison, and in the next moment, millions of lights from fighting spirits rose into the air, then converged into a massive dragon fighting spirit. This time, Mu Chen had deployed 6,000 soldiers from the Mystery Dragon Army, which is almost the maximum that he could control. Any more, and the Mystery Dragon fighting spirit could backfire on him. Thus, this fighting spirit was stronger than it had ever been. Roar Read novel full, the dragon fighting spirit let out a roar, and with its waves of fighting spirit, it violently attacked the blood demon king. Its claws were so big, they covered the sky as they smacked down upon the blood demon king. The space underneath the massive claws was closing rapidly as the blood demon king looked up at them and raised his palm. Blood rays converged, making his palm expand exponentially. He then hit the dragon's claws and started grappling with the dragon. Boom! A violent storm raged above them, darkening the entire sky. Roar! As the storm continued to rage, the dragon fighting spirit let out a huge roar, and its massive body was hurled outward. At the same time, the blood demon king's body also trembled as he retreated a few steps. Seeing this, Mu Chen's pupils contracted. He never thought that the blood demon king would only retreat a few steps in the face of his immense fighting spirit. Mu Overlord, you would have to use 10,000 soldiers from the Mystery Dragon Army in order to contend with this demon king. Jiang Long, the Mystery Dragon Army general, said with a deep voice, while standing behind Mu Chen. Upon hearing this, Mu Chen pursed his lips. Deep down, Mu Chen knew that controlling 6,000 soldiers of the Mystery Dragon Army was already the best that he could do. If he was to try to control more, the fighting spirit would turn on him. Then, he would be defeated, without even needing the Blood Demon King to attack. The disparity of power between Mu Chen and the Demon King was obvious. In the sky, the Blood Demon King stabilized himself and looked at Mu Chen with his bloody gaze. You have some tricks up your sleeve. It's no wonder that you gave the Fiend Blood Tribe a hard time. Nevertheless, no matter how many tricks you use, you can never make up for our disparities. Just as he stopped talking, the Blood Demon King opened his mouth and started to absorb everything that was nearby. The suction force of his energy was terrifying. It was like a black hole, tearing apart heaven and earth. Most of the suction force was directed towards the dragon fighting spirit. Thus, Mu Chen realized that resistance would be futile, as the dragon fighting spirit was no match for the suction. As such, the dragon was eventually swallowed whole by the blood demon king. Pshh. The 6,000 soldiers from the mystery dragon army coughed out blood after the dragon fighting spirit was swallowed. They were all badly injured. 
Watching this with a dark expression, Mu Chen turned towards Jian Long and said, You should retreat. Mu Overlord, please be careful, said Jian Long guiltily. But, he was also aware that he could not offer any more help, as the Mystery Dragon army had suffered serious injuries. So, with a wave of his hand, he led his army in a retreat. Standing above the sky, the Blood Demon King looked down at Mu Chen indifferently as he asked, What other tricks do you have now? Entertain me with them, then perhaps I will make your death less painful. Mu Chen frowned. This was the first time that he had ever battled a Demon King in person. It was only now that he realized how strong a Demon King truly was. Although Mu Chen had a lot of tricks, in front of this level of Sovereign, he would obviously be overpowered. Perhaps I have no choice but to try that trick. Mu Chen muttered quietly as he slowly closed his eyes. The robe around his body gradually stopped moving, then adhered to his body, becoming motionless, even with the strong wind. The Blood Demon King looked at Mu Chen and smiled coldly. He then crossed his arms, with no intention of interrupting. After all, he was certain that whatever tricks Mu Chen deployed, they would still be insufficient to overcome their gaps in power. The sound of the wind and the rain gradually dissipated as Mu Chen closed his eyes. It was as if he was the only person on earth, standing quietly. His inner mind was calm. He even seemed to have momentarily forgotten about the Blood Demon King's presence entirely. This ethereal state lasted for an indeterminate period of time before suddenly, Mu Chen sensed two small ripples. These ripples seemed to be getting more intense. Then, finally, two spiritual lights rose up slowly. Manifestation of the Real Spirit Amid the silence, a low mutter rang out. Just as the voice stopped, the two spiritual lights shone brightly as two figures emerged. It was the black and white Mu Chens. However, these were not the real manifestations of the two, but rather the two real spirits at the core of the manifestation. Back when Mu Chen had mastered the Qi into Trinity, these two real spirits had detached from his body and manifested. In the past, Mu Chen could not sense the presence of the real spirits of his two manifestations. But, during his time at the pavilion, he was inspired by the practices that the Heavenly Emperor had left. So, although he could vaguely sense the presence of it, it was still too vague and foggy. But, in this very moment, in the face of death, Mu Chen had finally been able to successfully summon the two real spirits. To fuse with the real spirits, is the Triunion level. Mu Chen muttered as the two real spirits flew towards him, then fused with him. In the physical world, the black and white Mu Chens materialized in front of Mu Chen, stepped forward, then walked into Mu Chen's body. At that moment, the two manifestations disappeared. As Mu Chen slowly opened his eyes, a spiritual light was swimming in his dark gaze and an indescribable power emanated from his every gesture, causing the entire world to tremble. His motionless robe also started to move at this moment, although there was no wind. As he was standing in the sky, the Blood Demon King looked at the changed Mu Chen. He had an odd glint in his eyes, but immediately, he let out an indifferent smile and said, Finally, some fun. Chapter 1392, Qi into Trinity, Triunion Level Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Up in the sky, Mu Chen stood on air. Spirit light rippled in his deep gaze. Spirit lights that almost seemed solid converged on the surface of his body, enveloping him like a t-shirt made of spirit light. Although he did not emanate a strong aura, the moment Mu Chen opened his eyes, everyone could feel a force breaking through the Blood Demon King's demonic aura, slowly rising. Although his aura was not as strong as the Blood Demon King's, the power was still awe-inspiring, like a giant pillar standing between heaven and earth, immovable even by violent winds. Mu Chen lowered his head and slowly clenched his fist. He could feel an immense spiritual energy flowing continuously in his body like a flood. Even his flesh, blood, and bones were showing signs of crystallization because the spiritual energy was so majestic it could not be locked within his body. How powerful! The spirit light in Mu Chen's eyes flashed, and he inwardly gasped in admiration. He did not expect that the second realm of his qi into trinity would be so powerful. Once he merged with his materializations, his power increased drastically. If he had fought the former leader of the blood demonic lords in his current condition, just one punch would have been enough to break him. The vast spiritual energy in his body erupted continuously like a volcano. Mu Chen raised his head, his challenging gaze locked on the blood demon king. In the next moment, he stomped his foot and space cracked. Suddenly, his figure appeared behind the blood demon king like a ghost. He opened his palm, rotated his wrist, and violently slapped downwards. The whole palm appeared to transform into a white jade palm, shining with spirit light. His palm shined as if it contained the night sky. However, when such a beautiful palm fell, thousands of miles of earth beneath it directly collapsed, and a huge palm print was left on the earth. The power of the slap was devastating. However, just as the white jade palm was about to hit the ground, the blood demon king smiled faintly and countered with a slap. Immediately, his palm turned a blood-red color, as if it were crafted of red jade. The palm whooshed past, and the air suddenly smelled of the cloying miasma of blood. Boom! The two palms clashed together in the sky. 
At the moment of collision, the red light and white light burst out directly shrouding half of the sky. At the point of collision, it looked as if the world were divided into two. Two terrifying waves of energy exploded, and the impact hit Mu Chen and the Blood Demon King. The former was flung backwards while the latter was also pushed back a dozen steps. The Blood Demon King instantly neutralized the force of the impact. He stared at Mu Chen with his bloodshot eyes, and a cruel smile appeared on his face. Not bad. You did not disappoint. Finally, you have a bit of the power needed to go head to head with me. Only such a powerful force can make your blood essence pure. When I swallow your blood essence, I will be able to make up for some of the side effects caused by my early birth. Ha ha ha. The Blood Demon King's loud laugh echoed in the sky. He immediately opened his mouth, and a bloody river spouted out. The Red River gave off a terrifying bloody aura, as if it were the filthiest thing on earth. Everything that touched it would turn into a pool of blood. Since the prey is already delicious enough, it's time for me to eat. Spirit corroding blood river. Accompanying the blood demon king's laughter, the blood river roared and swept towards Mu Chen. Mu Chen looked at the blood river roaring towards him, and his eyes focused. He could feel the terrifying erosion power contained within it. If he fell into it, even in his current state, he would suffer serious injuries. Hence, he dared not delay. With a wave of his sleeves, an infinite spirit light condensed behind him and quickly turned into an immortal golden body. This immortal golden body was clearly more powerful than before. Not only had it increased in size, the purplish gold light surrounding it was also extremely bright, making it look like a purple sun. Mu Chen clapped his hands together, and purplish gold immortal god runes materialized on the immortal golden body. Within seconds, 300 immortal god runes appeared in the sky. Due to the increased power following the triunion level, the immortal god runes created by Mu Chen also increased. Buzz. 300 immortal god runes shot up into the sky and finally condensed in the sky above Mu Chen while emanating purplish gold light rays and forming a purplish gold gourd about the size of a palm. Mu Chen created a seal with one hand and shouted, Immortal golden gourd, finish him. The gourd tipped over, golden light shined out of the gourd's mouth, and a powerful suction force burst out. The blood river roaring past started trembling violently in the face of this suction force. After a stalemate, it went against its current and was sucked directly into the purplish gold gourd. The Blood Demon King saw the Blood River being sucked into the purplish gold gourd, and his eyes flashed. With a cold huff, he was going to make the Blood River release its power and burst the gourd from within. However, just as he was going to do so, Mu Chen waved his arm, and the purplish gold gourd rose into the sky. In the next moment, the gourd had created a crack in the void and disappeared into thin air. When the gourd disappeared into the void while carrying the Blood River, Mu Chen and the Blood Demon King immediately lost their connections with them. You're quite clever after all. The Blood Demon King narrowed his eyes, and the blood rays in his gaze flashed. Staring at Mu Chen, he smirked. He clearly did not expect that Mu Chen would use this tactic to unravel his blood river. You flatter me. Mu Chen was expressionless. Although he had neutralized the Blood Demon King's attack, he still remained serious. He barely had the power to go head-to-head -head against the Blood Demon King with the help of the Triunion level, but he was aware that this did not mean that he had the qualifications to defeat the Blood Demon King. A true Demon King was still too powerful for him. Then let me see how long a little mouse like you can survive. The Blood Demon King's white hair danced in the wind, and he smiled coldly. He immediately bit his fingertips and drew a pattern in the air. After a few moments, a blood rune floated in front of him. The rune was moving restlessly as a powerful aura emanated from within it. The rune seemed to have sealed countless angry ghosts that constantly let out hair-raising shrieks. Looking at the runes, Mu Chen's eyes narrowed, sensing a strong threat from it. The Blood Demon King grinned and pointed his finger. The blood rune suddenly rose and disappeared into the highest part of the sky. Shortly after, everyone noticed that the sky began to darken. Many blood clouds suddenly gathered at the highest point in the sky, shrouding an area of nearly one million square miles. The thick blood clouds rubbed against each other and emitted an eerily mournful sound of thunder that echoed between heaven and earth. The whole world trembled under the thunder strike. Mu Chen's body tensed. A chill surrounded him, and his expression was more serious than ever. The Blood Demon King stared down at Mu Chen with a contemptuous gaze, as if he were looking at an ant. Then he took a deep breath and slowly joined his palms. His voice, indifferent like a god of destructions, echoed between heaven and earth. Bloody thunder. Boom. Thunder boomed from within the mighty blood clouds. In the next moment, countless bolts of blood-red lightning fell from the sky and rushed towards Mu Chen. Every bolt of blood thunder was a destructive force. When it struck, heaven and earth trembled. Mu Chen's eyes narrowed when he witnessed this scene. He did not dare hesitate and immediately let out a loud shout. The immortal golden body behind him shined with millions of golden light rays. These rays converged and gradually formed a massive purplish gold lotus. Immortal Golden Lotus With a low sound, the purplish gold immortal golden lotus quickly closed and enveloped Mu Chen within it. 
Faced with such a terrifying attack by the Blood Demon King, Mu Chen did not hesitate to use his most powerful defense. Bang! Countless bolts of blood thunder landed, madly striking the immortal Golden Lotus. In the distance, Bai Susu and the masters of the indigenous people looked at the destructive bolts of lightning, devastated. Each bolt had the power to destroy the earth, and all those bolts were striking madly at Mu Chen. Nobody knew whether Mu Chen could withstand these horrifying attacks. Master. Bai Susu clenched her fist and bit her red lips. She stared at the spot that was being bombarded by a sky full of blood lightning. She knew that if the golden lotus cracked, even Mu Chen would be destroyed by that lightning. Boom. The rumbling thunder continued, the earth shook, and the roaring sound continued for a very long time. Finally, the blood clouds began to dissipate, and the sound of the thunder weakened. Everyone was looking at the point where the blood lightning had dissipated. As the thunder and lightning dissipated, a giant purplish gold lotus slowly appeared between heaven and earth. It was covered in burn marks, and its purplish gold light was dull. Creek. On the top of the giant lotus, a crack appeared, and it suddenly exploded. High above, the Blood Demon King was also looking at the inside of the giant purplish gold lotus with a narrowed gaze. His gaze sharpened when he realized that there was no sign of Mu Chen inside. The golden silkworm molted. Surprised, the Blood Demon King quirked up an eyebrow. Boom! Suddenly, he intuitively looked up. A layer of clouds scattered, and a huge crystal tower flew out, descended from the sky, and quickly enveloped him. Chapter 1393, The Final Artifice Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The Blood Demon Emperor stood within the large crystal pagoda, his eyes squinting narrowly as he looked around it. However, his facial expression remained unmoving and indifferent. The space not far away vibrated as Mu Chen's figure also appeared. He gazed at the Blood Demon Emperor's figure, his well-defined face similarly expressionless. You actually withstood my blood fiend spirit thunder. The Blood Demon Emperor shot Mu Chen a faint smile and seemed to be a little amazed. After all, his strike could make anyone beneath the Demon Emperor level turn into dust immediately. But, unexpectedly, Mu Chen had survived it. The Blood Demon Emperor's bloody eyes gradually glanced over Mu Chen's body and sized him up. The condensation of those blood rays seemed as if they could rip a hole through his entire body. After a while, he seemed as if he had discovered something, as he couldn't help but show a weird grin on his face as he said, so, it seems like my blood fiend spirit thunder did not actually not have any effect on you. At those words, Mu Chen's eyes narrowed. He then immediately shrugged his shoulders helplessly. At that moment, the spiritual light around him fluctuated, and within his body, two beams of light disappeared, then reappeared faintly, as if they were about to leave his physical body. Those two beams were the two incarnations that he had harmonized within his body. He had only begun to control this triunion level of his. Thus, it wasn't yet perfectly harmonized. Beside that, he was previously so shocked by the blood thunder that he could no longer maintain that state of integration, so he was slowly detaching from it. Once he was detached from that state, his combat powers would definitely be reduced. By then, if he wished to face the Blood Demon Emperor, it would be nearly impossible. The Blood Demon Emperor was obviously aware of this. Hence, he just wrapped his arms around his body and gazed tauntingly at Mu Chen. It was as if he was wanting to see how he was going to fare in his final struggle. The Demon Emperor is truly troublesome to deal with. Sensing the Blood Demon Emperor's taunting gaze, Mu Chen could only sigh. These past few years, Mu Chen had encountered many powerful opponents, but there had been only a few times like this, where even if he used all of his skills, he still couldn't gain the upper hand. Not only was he not able to gain the advantage, but he was instead gradually being forced into a very dangerous state. However, he didn't know that there was such an indescribably large gap between the earthly and heavenly sovereign levels. If the news of him standing here fighting the Demon Emperor was to be sent back to the The Great Thousand World, it would cause an uproar. After all, under normal conditions, a complete earthly sovereign facing a heavenly sovereign ought to yield an ending that was a definite and easy kill. But, in Mu Chen's case, it appeared that he could still ferociously fight a demon emperor to this step, which was, in itself, already something that seemed to be somewhat of a miracle. Mu Chen raised his head and looked at the blood demon emperor, then murmured, if this is the case, then I can only use up all of my energy to temporarily trap this guy before the incarnations have completely left my body. After saying these words, he did not hesitate at all, but formed a seal immediately with both of his hands. Boom! The large crystal pagoda vibrated, and on its walls, eight golems appeared gradually. Their malicious figures caused an insidious aura to permeate within the pagoda the moment they appeared. As the blood demon emperor saw the eight golems, his previous expressionless face changed suddenly. This was because he felt a surge of demonic power coming from those golems. These golems were refined using the demon emperor as type of material base, the Blood Demon Emperor narrowed his eyes as he asked. These golems clearly had remnant demonic power that had been kept from before their deaths. 
he could sense that they were even comparatively stronger than he was currently. This meant that the golem's abilities during their lifetimes were all more valiant than his own abilities. As the blood demon emperor was still in a state of shock and trying to process all of this, Mu Chen took a deep breath and waved his sleeves. Immediately, a torrent of spiritual energy filled up the pagoda. This time, Mu Chen drew out all of his remaining sovereign spiritual liquid, which was as much as 150 million units. Boom! The torrent that had been transformed by the sovereign spiritual liquid raged on, as the eight golems greedily opened their mouths and inhaled it violently. Immediately, they swallowed the whole torrent in one gulp. Right after they swallowed the enormous amount of sovereign spiritual liquid, the eight golems seemed to gradually detach their bodies from the pagoda wall, breaking free bit by bit before finally jumping out of it. The eight golems were like eight demonic gods as they stood towering in the middle of the pagoda, vaguely resonating a sense of peerless savagery. Whoosh! The eight golems then burst out of the pagoda, directly charging towards the blood demon emperor. Seeing them approaching, the blood demon emperor narrowed his eyes and took a step out, appearing first in front of one of the golems. As he shot out a palm, bloody beams covered the sky, colliding against the golem with great force. Bang! A fearful energy wave spread apart as the blood demon emperor's body shook. As for that golem, it flew backward and smashed against the pagoda wall, causing a deep pit to form on the wall. Whoosh! The other seven golems charged ahead and trapped the blood demon emperor as a fearful attack loomed over him like a rainstorm. Boom! The two sides fought for quite some time, but the blood demon emperor was ultimately more powerful, showing not a bit of fear, even though he was facing such an intense siege. Instead, he was continuously sending golems flying outward, one by one. The Buter golems in this type of state should have reached the capabilities of a heavenly sovereign, but this is still not enough. Mu Chen's sight flashed as he witnessed this scene. According to his presumptions, in order to return these golems to the energy level of a heavenly sovereign, at least 400 to 500 million sovereign spiritual liquid units would be needed. There was also a precondition that he had to personally own the energy level of a heavenly sovereign. Otherwise, he would not be able to stifle the hostility of these Buter golems at all. However, it should still be possible to temporarily trap this blood demon emperor. Mu Chen murmured as he suddenly formed a seal with both of his hands. In that instant, those eight golems that were surrounding the blood demon emperor suddenly fell back and joined their palms together. At that moment, a black beam permeated the space, and within moments, it formed a black diamond-shaped light shield. The light shield rapidly shrunk before finally trapping the blood demon emperor within it, like a jail cell. The blood demon emperor blasted punch after punch, and every punch that he blasted onto the diamond light shield made it rock vigorously. Judging from appearances, it looked like it wouldn't be much longer until the shield was forcibly smashed apart. Seeing this, Mu Chen waved his sleeves. Then, within the crystal pagoda, an intense crystal beam exploded. It gleamed away before settling on the dark diamond-shaped light shield. Sizz. The crystal beam rapidly etched lines of crystal veins onto the light shield, and with the formation of these ancient veins, the originally rocking diamond-shaped light shield slowly became stable and remained unmovable, no matter how much the blood demon emperor struck at it. It was only when Mu Chen saw this that he faintly let out a breath. But, he knew that this was only a temporary fix, which would not be able to last long. The Blood Demon Emperor would escape sooner or later. By then, the Eight Buter would also be damaged, which meant that he would not be to activate it for a short while. Inside the diamond-shaped light shield, it was as if the Blood Demon Emperor knew that this was Mu Chen's last artifice. Hence, he looked at Mu Chen with intentional mockery. Stop putting up such a stiff resistance. If you would just obediently let me swallow you up, you could die a better way. As his voice echoed out, it was as cold as ever. However, Mu Chen only grinned at his remark and ignored him. He then disappeared within the pagoda. Mu Chen's figure quickly reappeared outside Mount Blood Demon. The faraway top powers of the indigenous people were startled by his appearance. Soon after, their faces lit up with happiness, as they clearly thought that Mu Chen had been victorious. But, before they were able to cheer, Mu Chen waved his hand. His serious expression startled everyone, causing them to shut their mouths instantly. Bai Susu came to Mu Chen's side and looked at the pagoda carefully before she asked in a perturbed manner, Master, what about the blood demon emperor? Mu Chen stayed silent for a while before answering, I was able to temporarily trap him, but time is limited. Once he escapes, I fear that even I cannot stop him anymore. After hearing those words, Bai Susu's delicate face turned pale and her gleaming eyes dimmed. She bit her red lips with her porcelain white teeth, and after a while, she whispered, Master, if this is unable to be done, when that time comes, please leave when you get the chance. She knew that, with Mu Chen's capabilities, even though he couldn't defeat the Blood Demon Emperor, if he wanted to escape, then he would presumably still be able to do so successfully. Mu Chen did not respond to her. 
Instead, he just furrowed his brows and looked down at the, the rune stone that was given to him by the martial ancestor, which was now in his hands. If he get to the point where he had no other option, he figured that he would crush the rune stone. But, he was not very sure, as he was in the lower plains, if he would still be able to summon the martial ancestor in time. Hence this tactic did not seem stable, and could thus only be used as his last resort. As such, it seemed like he would still have to depend on himself alone to come up with a way to deal with the blood demon emperor. Muchen this dilemma pondered for a while, then suddenly squinted his eyes as if he had just thought of something. He hesitated a little, then put out his palm. A white light appeared on it, and it was gleaming. Then, the white dragon spiritual pearl appeared within his palm. Muchen flicked his finger, and the white dragon spiritual pearl gradually rose before it started floating in front of him. Now, his only tactic was to try to see if he could summon the conviction of the sovereign white dragon here. The white dragon spiritual pearl floated silently in front of him. Although it was hovering in white light, it still had no movement. When Mu Chen saw this, a shade of disappointment flashed in his eyes. He sighed in his heart and waved his sleeves again, intending to store the white dragon spiritual pearl away. However, at that moment, he suddenly felt the white dragon spiritual pearl vibrating. Buzz! A beam of white light suddenly burst out from within the pearl. Then, it finally condensed above the white dragon spiritual pearl before transfiguring into an old figure. Chapter 1394, The Whereabouts of an Opportunity Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Light condensed above the white dragon spiritual pearl and then gradually transformed into an old figure. The figure was dressed in a white robe, and when he appeared, both his eyes were tightly closed. Only after a while did they slowly open. At first, there was a hint of confusion within his gaze. However, as he saw the towering Mount Blood Demon ahead of him, his body suddenly shook, and there were waves of excitement in his eyes. Mount Holy Dragon, he muttered aloud, and in that moment, a lightning strike of spiritual light appeared in his eyes. His sense of confusion suddenly disappeared as he turned around and caught his first sight of Mu Chen. Master White Dragon, it has been a while. Mu Chen greeted him with a faint smile. It is you. Sovereign White Dragon was in a daze as he looked at Mu Chen. Then he quickly remembered the situation they were in when he had met Mu Chen before he disappeared. However, the Mu Chen at that time had yet to step into any sovereign level, but now, even Sovereign White Dragon felt as though he couldn't see through Mu Chen. Master White Dragon, do you remember what you entrusted me to do? Mu Chen cupped his fist in his other hand and smiled. Sovereign White Dragon seemed to understand what he meant, as he trembled while looking at the familiar piece of land before his eyes and said hoarsely, this is my homeland. He suddenly remembered something, and his expression changed a little. What about the extraterritorial demons? I have wiped out all the blood demon lords in this world, Mu Chen said softly. Sovereign White Dragon looked at Mu Chen in astonishment. His eyes were clearly filled with disbelief, because he knew that those blood demon lords all had capabilities on par with complete earthly sovereigns of the Great Thousand World. That level of capability existed in a manner that was far beyond his reach, even while he had been alive. However, these powerful demons had now all perished at the hands of the lad in front of him. Meanwhile, as Sovereign White Dragon was still in a state of shock, a clear voice echoed by the side. There was a similar tremble in that voice, as its owner was clearly extremely exhilarated, too. Founder White Dragon, what the master said is indeed the truth. All those blood demon lords have already been executed. Sovereign White Dragon looked across, only to see by Susu's beautiful teary eyes looking at him, her delicate face filled with excitement. You are. Sovereign White Dragon stared at by Susu, and suddenly, the expression in his eyes twitched. You are a successor of my White Dragon bloodline? Your disciple's disciple by Susu pays her respects to you, ancestor. By Susu bowed gracefully with her beautiful cheeks flushed red. Sovereign White Dragon looked her up and down, and laughed bitterly. The people of the younger generation have unexpectedly achieved much more than us old folks. Seems like we were really useless. It is no wonder that we couldn't protect this world. He could obviously see that by Susu was actually more powerful than he had been before his death. At those words, Baisusu immediately clarified, Ancestor, this is the achievement of all the predecessors in our bloodline through their lives and not merely my own power. The ancestors and other seniors, even though they have gone far away, also struggle to pursue the law of salvation. Only then could powerful people be born from it. Sovereign White Dragon looked startled for a moment, and his expression dimmed. I see. It seems like they have used their last resort. But that, too, needs someone who is fitting, and the fact that you can do it is remarkable as well. Mu Chen listened to the conversation and laughed. It's not the time to reminiscence about old times now, Master White Dragon. Even though I have killed all the blood demon lords on this land, there is still another, bigger problem. He pointed at the towering pagoda. Before these blood demon lords died, they created a blood demon emperor with the help of countless amounts of blood essence within this heaven and earth. It is the most powerful level of demon emperor, on par with a heavenly sovereign. 
Sovereign White Dragon couldn't help but look aghast. He had practiced in the Great Thousand World before and naturally knew how horrifying the existence of a Heavenly Sovereign was. Who would have thought that during these years, the Fiend Blood Tribe had actually created a Blood Demon Emperor in their world? Sovereign White Dragon's expression was dismayed as he mumbled, Now I really am at my wit's end. Must this be the day that millions of lives in my world perish? I'm afraid whether or not they perish will have to depend on the opportunity you promised me that year, Mu Chen said with a grin. Sovereign White Dragon paused, then immediately, a bright light appeared in his eyes. He looked at Mu Chen in surprise and said, Mu Chen, perhaps you have already reached the stage before Heavenly Sovereign? I am now bitterly looking for the path towards Heavenly Sovereign. Mu Chen nodded, then he looked at Sovereign White Dragon with shining eyes and said, I wonder if you, my master, can enlighten me? He tried so hard to come to this world and had banished those demons. The reason he was doing this was naturally for the sake of the supreme opportunity that Sovereign White Dragon had promised him. He wanted to try and see if he could find the path to Heavenly Sovereign here. Spiritual light beamed in Sovereign White Dragon's eyes, and after thinking for a while, he said, if that is so, then there might still be a chance to survive this calamity. Upon finishing his sentence, he continued, Do you know the Martial Ancestor? Mu Chen nodded slightly and said, I have met the Master Martial Ancestor once. Sovereign White Dragon looked at him in awe. After all, people like the Martial Ancestor were the pinnacle of existence in the Great Thousand World. Heavenly Sovereigns were hardly able to meet him even once, let alone normal beings. However, Mu Chen had already done that, which was enough to prove his remarkable background. Then you should also probably know that the Martial Ancestor is similarly from the Lower Plains, and our world has also been invaded before by a troop from the extraterritorial race. However, the Martial Ancestor is peerless among us. Even though he originated from the Lower Plains, he could still use his own strength to defy the natural order and finally wipe out the extraterritorial race. Sovereign White Dragon sighed. Perhaps only those as extraordinary as the Martial Ancestor were able to perform such legendary actions. Mu Chen nodded. There was nobody in the Great Thousand World who didn't know about the legendary actions of the Martial Ancestor. But I am afraid you do not know that the reason the Martial Ancestor could fight and win against the strange demonic emperor then was because there was an item that played an important role. Sovereign White Dragon grinned before continuing slowly, and that item was called the Worldly Fetus. The so-called Worldly Fetus is considered a spirit of the world that is incarnated from the essence of that whole world. However, it does not have self-consciousness. If one could control it, then they could easily adjust the energy of a world. But not all lower planes possess the existence of the worldly fetus, because its formation also needs all types of opportunities. The worldly fetus will only appear in a very few lower planes. Sovereign White Dragon pointed a finger at the space of this world and marked every one of his words clearly. And in our world, a worldly fetus coincidentally existed. And with the support of that power, Sovereign White Dragon stared solemnly at Mu Chen and said slowly, you can then break through the shackles and step into the real heavenly sovereign level. Mu Chen was shocked, and in his eyes, endless fiery spirit gushed out. His predictions were indeed not wrong. At this side of the world there was really an opportunity that could help him break through to heavenly sovereign. But under normal circumstances, that worldly fetus can only be sensed by the livings of this world. It was also due to this benefit that the martial ancestor back then could subdue the worldly fetus and repress that strange demonic emperor. Sovereign White Dragon looked at Baisusu sympathetically and said, It is such a pity that in our world, there have never been legends such as the Martial Ancestor. Although Susu has reached an unprecedented realm, it is mostly due to the molding of external forces. Thus, it would be completely impossible to sense the worldly fetus, and even if it was sensed, I'm afraid that she would still not be able to refine and subdue it. Mu Chen's brows frowned a little, because he wasn't a living thing from this world but an outsider. Ha, huh, you need not worry. Since I have promised you, I will naturally have other ways. Sovereign White Dragon chuckled and pointed at this piece of land before saying, the world is spiritual. If all the living things in this world can sincerely pray at the same time, with the help of that prayer's energy, it should be able to protect Mu Chen so he can sense that worldly fetus. All the living things? Mu Chen was lost in thought. The human heart is most unpredictable. Hence, I'm afraid this method would normally be quite hard. But now that this side of the world is being scourged by demons, and everyone is falling into a sea of suffering, if there is a way to salvage this, then I think no one will give up easily, said Sovereign White Dragon. Hearing that, Mu Chen's eyes glimmered. Soon after, he bowed to Sovereign White Dragon respectfully. If this way works, I will definitely ensure the peacefulness of this world. If he could step into Heavenly Sovereign with the help of this strategy, then he clearly wouldn't be afraid of the Blood Demon Emperor anymore. Dealing with him would be much easier, unlike the gridlock back when the Martial Ancestor fought the strange Demonic Emperor. This wasn't to express how much he had surpassed the Martial Ancestor. It was just that back then, the Martial Ancestor was in the Lower Plains after all, and his tactics were limited. Whereas now, aside from coming from the Great Thousand World, Mu Chen also held two big rare superpowers. 
As soon as he became a heavenly sovereign, common opponents at his level would not even dare to test his edges. If that is so, then on behalf of all the living thing in this world, I thank you for your future protection beforehand, Sovereign White Dragon said in a respectful manner. If Mu Chen stepped into Heavenly Sovereign, then he would naturally be one of the pinnacles within the powerful ones in the Great Thousand World, enough to be called a doso. After he finished speaking, he said no more and sat down cross-legged in mid-air before gently closing his eyes. As his eyes closed, a formless wave originated from him and rapidly spread out. In an instant, the wave reached all the regions of the lower plains. At the same time, in the hearts of Bai Susu and all the indigenous people, there was a rising apprehension. Thus, they all sat down cross-legged at once with their hearts pure and calm. As they sat quietly, after a while, there were suddenly streaks of light spots rising from their foreheads that finally lifted off into the distant sky and floated towards Mu Chen. Mu Chen allowed those light spots to float towards him and land on his body. Between heaven and the earth, more and more light spots rose from further places, as if they had come across vast stretches of space. The whole world was permeated by those mysterious light spots. The light spots blanketed the space, and finally, as if they had turned into a cocoon of light, they enveloped Mu Chen. As the mysterious light shined through their eyes, in that instant, Mu Chen slowly closed his dark eyes. Chapter 1395, Heavenly Barrier Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio The light spots surged in continuously and finally enveloped Mu Chen completely. As he closed his eyes, it was as if a consciousness rose into the air, shooting straight into the endless void under the protection of countless lights of prayers. However, it was not long before Mu Chen suddenly felt something and his consciousness opened its eyes. It was as if he had entered a complete state of disorder. This place was like how it was at the beginning of heaven and earth, as there was no separation of space and even time passed by extremely slowly. As Mu Chen looked at this space of disorder, his consciousness gradually spread apart to sense the hidden worldly soul within this space of disorder. This form of sensing did not gain any response at the start, but as the lights of prayers around him grew immensely stronger, he finally felt a mysterious vibration that was suddenly approaching him. Read novel full. Mu Chen's consciousness went to it quickly. Then, he witnessed beams of light fluctuating within the space of disorder. The beams of light bloomed and, like the sea, they sent waves into the midst of the disorder. The disordered light seemed as if it contained endless vitality. That type of vast vitality made Mu Chen feel a little shocked. The energy was extremely pure and ancient, as if it had born at the formation of the world. Mu Chen stared at the ocean of disordered light. He could feel that, within this ocean, there was a boundless and vast vibration. Clearly, this was the worldly soul of this world. Whoosh! As Mu Chen gazed at the scene before him, the tides within the Sea of Disorder suddenly rose. In the midst of the Sea of Disorder, an enormous swirl formed, which was immediately followed by a ball of disorder that was rising slowly from within it. The glowing ball of disorder was like a heart that was beeping faintly, and along with its every movement, the whole world trembled. When it breathed, winds and clouds gathered, tides came in and out, and the sun rose while the moon fell. This is the worldly soul? Mu Chen murmured as he looked at that glowing ball of disorder. Even though he couldn't feel any sense of consciousness coming from it, he could still sense a hint of spirituality emanating from it. Then, the expression in Mu Chen's eyes suddenly froze, as he could see that, upon this glowing ball of disorder, bloody veins were scrambling all over it. These veins that intertwined on its surface were like maggots clutching onto bones, making the glowing ball of disorder appear extremely disproportionate. Is it because this world was invaded by the fiend blood tribe and countless lives were taken that this worldly soul has also experienced erosion? Mu Chen wondered aloud as his gaze flashed and apprehension filled his heart. However, this condition made him feel a little happier. This was because, if the worldly soul already felt the danger that was brought by the fiend blood tribe, then there would be less of a hindrance in accepting him. At this thought, Mu Chen's consciousness slowly got nearer to it. Worldly soul, I can help all of you banish the fiend blood tribe and return vitality to this world, but I will need your power. Mu Chen did not hide too much, but directly stated his aim, knowing that, although the worldly soul had no consciousness, it still had some spirituality. Hence, it could judge the jeopardy of this world by relying on its instincts. As Mu Chen finished speaking, the glowing ball of disorder seemed to tremble slightly, but there was still no clear movement. Seeing that, Mu Chen knew that it was because he wasn't from this world that caused the worldly soul to resist him a little. If Bai Susu was standing here now, then she would have gotten its help much faster. But, he did not rush it, but just repeated solemnly, the blood demon emperor is powerful. If we let him escape, I will definitely be defeated by him. By that time, in order to protect myself, I can only retreat, this would mean that this side of the world would be invaded by the fiend blood tribe and all lives would be instantly turned into blood sustenance. He then added, when that time comes, even you, the worldly soul, will hardly escape their hands. Then, you all will be eroded by the blood demon emperor and absorbed so that he may refine himself. 
Once Mu Chen said those words, which contained such a heavy sense of tragedy, the worldly soul too was clearly influenced. The disordered light around it uncontrollably intensified, but in the end, there was still no visible movement forward. Mu Chen's gaze flashed, as he was growing a bit impatient. If he could refine this worldly soul, it would then be equal to his becoming the lord of this world. Then, all living things would be under the control of his thoughts. Hence, as it was their protector, the worldly soul clearly did not really trust Mu Chen, as he was an outsider. Hence, Mu Chen took another step forward and said in a deep tone, If I become the lord of this world, I swear from the bottom of my heart to protect the peacefulness of this world, and as long as I have breath, I will not let that extraterrestrial ray step foot into this world again. His voice was bright and distant and immediately echoed throughout the disorder. His oath came from deep within his heart. Anyone else might not have realized this, but this worldly soul was born along with the heaven and earth, so it was intensely sensitive. If one's heart was not true, it would not be able to escape its senses at all. Hence, not long after Mu Chen uttered his oath, the worldly soul finally exploded into millions of disordered rays, and within that disorder, a sound of a godlike tune seemed to emanate. Within that disorderness, hundreds of millions of shadows of living beings seemed to be faintly appearing. At this sight, Mu Chen couldn't help but become exhilarated. An uncontrollable happiness warmed his heart. He knew that this meant that the worldly soul had agreed. Then, at a twitch of Mu Chen's thoughts, his physical body, which was standing outside Mount Blood Demon, disappeared into thin air immediately, only to reappear within the disorder in the next instance. Mu Chen's consciousness returned to his body as he glanced at the glowing ball of disorder. He then moved his body right through the heavy and thick curtains of disordered rays before landing on the glowing ball of disorder. He sat down cross-legged and closed his eyes slightly. Meanwhile, his body sank right into the glowing ball of disorder, bit by bit. Amid this disorder, it was as if time was completely stagnant, which just happened to give him enough time to charge into the heavenly sovereign level. As his physical body fused into the glowing ball of disorder, his body trembled suddenly. In the next moment, Mu Chen felt as if he was in a sea of disorder as the boundless and vast disordered energy flew in immediately. Finally, it transformed into a beam of disorder and poured into his body slowly from the top of his celestial spirit cover. Boom! That level of disordered rays was the primeval energy that had been birthed at the very beginning of this world, and it was boundless and vast. In terms of grades, even though it was still able to be considered a top-tier energy within the Great Thousand World, its existence was scarce. Only those worlds that had given birth to a worldly soul could obtain even a little bit of this energy. As he felt the vast energy surging around him, Mu Chen immediately launched a cultivation technique. In that instant, the blood and flesh in his body trembled before completely devouring the vast energy that was flowing into his body. In just a few moments, Mu Chen felt as if he had swallowed several billion units of sovereign spiritual liquid. In that very moment, he felt a faint shake in his heart. He did not think that the energy of this worldly soul could be so refined and endless. It was really deserving of its fame as a spiritual being that had accompanied the birth of heaven and earth. His head was spinning, but he quickly calmed his mind in order to gradually immerse himself into a deep-leveled cultivation mode. Mu Chen was not in a hurry, but just allowed the disordered light rays to continuously pour in. Meanwhile, the spiritual energy in his body also grew at an astonishing rate. Mu Chen's physical body sat in this manner amid the disorder for quite some time. In fact, it was as if a few decades had passed. His figure remained unmoved, like a huge rock, and even his breath was slowly getting fainter and fainter. After an unknown amount of time, Mu Chen's stone-like body seemed to have faintly started to shake. In the next moment, his eyes finally opened slowly. Buzz! The moment he opened his eyes, a beam of refined light shot out. That beam was indescribably illuminating, and it actually pierced a hole through the disorder before finally disappearing into it. Mu Chen gradually closed his palms. He was feeling the indescribable surging spiritual energy within his body. A simple tremble of his body felt as if there were endless strikes of thunder crashing in his body. Boom! Hundreds of millions of beams of spiritual light exploded from Mu Chen's body, and in between the glimmer of those spiritual lights, Mu Chen's body instantly started to expand as he sat cross-legged in the space of disorder. His body gave out a beam of holy light that made him seem like the sun, releasing light amid the disorder. As Mu Chen looked at his body, he could sense that almost every inch of his blood and flesh contained an indescribably powerful spiritual energy. In fact, the spiritual energy so completely filled his body, it was at the point where he could not stand even a little bit more. That feeling was like a lake whose waters were filled to its brink. Right in the at this moment, he has already reached the limit below the Heavenly Sovereign, and according to his estimations, with the horrifying spiritual energy in his body, if he met another top power who had already reached the Heavenly Sovereign level, then it might be possible for him to destroy them with just his palm. Up to this point, Mu Chen could already feel the presence of a shackled barrier. That barrier was extremely strong, and it had obstructed all his ways to ascend thus far. Presumably, that is the barrier of the Heavenly Sovereign. Mu Chen's expression sank as he realized this. 
Now that he had already reached the limit, if he continued on, he might be able to break the barrier. But, there was also a big possibility that his physical body could be filled to the point of bursting. Then, when the spiritual energy retaliated, it was possible that would be his downfall. The possibility of two such different and extreme endings certainly made people fearful, not daring not try this often. Mu Chen's gaze glimmered. After a while, his expression suddenly turned sharp. The path of cultivation was essentially going through hardships and training. In order to reach the peak, the keenness and courage to advance bravely was needed. As today was the day that his great opportunity had presented itself, if Mu Chen missed it, it was unknown how many months or years it would take before this kind of opportunity came around again. At the thought of that, Mu Chen's expression turned serious, and there were no longer any signs of hesitation and fear within his eyes. He then looked up into the void and said in a low voice, Worldly soul, please assist me to break this heavenly barrier. There was only silence. Then, after a few moments, numerous disordered light rays spread throughout the surroundings, while a glowing ball of disorder rose high into the air, then shrunk as it whirled. Finally, it shot downwards and transformed into a ray of disordered light before falling right into Mu Chen's celestial spirit cover. Mu Chen took a deep breath and slowly closed his eyes. Win or lose, it would all depend on this move. Chapter 1396, Heavenly Sovereign Calamity Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Buzz When the chaotic light shot into Mu Chen's celestial spirit cover, his huge body vibrated fiercely. The next moment, spirit light emanated from within all the pores in his body. The spiritual power contained in the spirit light was so strong that as soon as it left his body, it became rain that fell amid the chaos. That was obviously because the spiritual energy in Mu Chen's body had reached its maximum capacity, and his body could no longer contain it, so to protect itself, his body sprayed out some spiritual energy. However, this kind of spurt was like a drop in the ocean compared to the infinite power of the spirit. Snap! Therefore, cracks appeared on Mu Chen's huge body and quickly spread. In just a few seconds, his body was like cracked porcelain, and he cut a sorry figure. However, Mu Chen was calm like always. He knew his body had already reached its limit. Let the body break if the limit is reached. Stand firm between intact and broken to form the body of a heavenly sovereign, he whispered, his black eyes filled with determination. He did not care about the dangers of his body breaking. In the next moment, he made a seal and stopped suppressing the spiritual power, allowing it to riot. Buzz. Thousands of spirit lights burst out violently from the cracks in Mu Chen's body. The light gradually expanded, and after a moment, a loud bang rang out. Bang! Mu Chen's massive torso exploded, but blood did not spatter out. Instead, it turned into powder. The powder floated quietly, shining with crystal light. Millions of light flecks floated for a while, and then a light breeze blew the countless spiritual light flecks, trying to reshape them. As time went by, the spiritual light powder gradually gathered, and a shadow loomed in it, as if the powder was going to rebuild flesh and blood. Boom! However, at this time, amid the chaos, the sound of strange vibrations could be heard. It sounded extremely eerie. The sound caused the rebuilding flesh and blood to vibrate. Although the physical body had shattered, Mu Chen's soul still existed. He also sensed the sound of the vibrations and immediately looked up. In between the chaos and the shaking void, lacquered black clouds rushed out with black light surging within. The clouds were continuously absorbing the light of chaos, becoming more and more deep and mysterious. Mu Chen looked at the black clouds, and his heart filled with fear. At the same time, a sobering thought hit him. Is this the heavenly sovereign calamity? According to rumor, breaking through the sky obstacle would bring disaster, and the disaster was called the heavenly sovereign calamity. This disaster was extremely horrifying. Even a real heavenly sovereign would be afraid of it. This spells trouble. Mu Chen sighed inwardly. The heavenly sovereign calamity absorbed the chaotic light, and its power seemed to have become even more horrifying. He was at the critical moment of physical reshaping, and if it was destroyed, the opportunity for a breakthrough would be lost. There was no room for mistakes. Crash. As Mu Chen was waiting, the black clouds moved across the heavens, and a stream of black water flowed down from the sky. The water's flow seemed to be light, but when it fell, even the void was crushed. Seeing this, Mu Chen's gaze turned somber. His flesh that was gradually being rebuilt emitted purplish gold light rays. A huge immortal golden body emerged and made a seal, and 300 immortal god runes appeared out of thin air, forming a purple gold wall above it. Boom! The black water fell on the purple gold wall, and the wall trembled violently. Every drop of black water was as heavy as a mountain, and all those drops fell with the force of one million mountains. Its power was truly terrible. Under the impact of the black current, a crack appeared in the purple gold wall, but fortunately, it did not shatter, and it resisted until the black water disappeared. What an amazing heavenly sovereign calamity! 
Seeing this, Mu Chen was shocked. It was just the beginning, and it had almost destroyed the defense of his 300 immortal god runes. How much worse could it get? Mu Chen was afraid and dared not delay, immediately urging the immortal golden body to summon more immortal god runes, repairing the purple gold wall which was about to shatter. At that time, the black clouds rolled in again. In the next moment, the temperature suddenly rose, and a fireball descended from the sky. The fireball was black and looked weak, but Mu Chen dared not let down his guard. The restored purple gold wall exuded golden light. A black fireball whizzed down and finally landed on the purple gold wall, but surprisingly, there was no earth-shattering explosion, because Mu Chen saw that the fireball was like a corrosive venom, rapidly melting the purple gold wall. Mu Chen quickly used his mind to throw the purple gold wall away. In a heartbeat, the fireball melted the purple gold wall into a puddle. Bang! The fireball had just fallen, and Mu Chen didn't even have time to admire its power when the black cloud rolled in again. This time, a powerful sound could be heard. A black meteorite slowly emerged from the black cloud and rapidly whistled down. Mu Chen looked at the black meteorite whizzing down, knowing that the meteorite must be destroyed. Using his mind, the immortal golden body burst with golden light and countless immortal god runes condensed in its hands, forming a giant golden spear. Whoosh! The immortal golden body threw the golden spear, and it violently shot out and hit the black meteorite, shaking it a little. However, the spear was crushed to powder under the impact of the crash. Whoosh! Whoosh! Immediately, a series of giant purple gold spears continued to rise up into the sky, and although they were destroyed by the meteorite every time, they managed to slow down the black meteorite's descent. At that time, Mu Chen again urged the immortal golden body, and numerous immortal god runes rose up into the sky and formed a giant purple gold net. Boom! Boom! The black meteorite fell and shattered the giant purple gold net, but parts of it had dissolved from the impact, so when the black meteorite reached the space above Mu Chen, its volume had been reduced by nearly half. Just then, the immortal golden body rushed up, and clenching its giant fist that was emitting golden rays, it landed a heavy blow on the black meteorite. Bang! An earth-shattering shockwave was released, and the black meteorite exploded into pieces, the immortal golden body was hurled backwards, and cracks emerged on the giant fist. After the black meteorite fell, the black clouds in the sky fell silent, but Mu Chen tensed in anticipation, knowing that this was the calm before the storm. Bang! Black lightning suddenly tore apart the layer of clouds and fell over the land. Each flash of lightning contained an extremely horrifying power of destruction. When Mu Chen saw this, his expression changed, and he didn't hesitate. Yelling a command in his head, the immortal golden body emitted golden light, and a huge golden lotus was formed, guarding them within it. Boom! Boom! The black lightning continued to fall and slammed on the golden lotus. Each bombardment caused the latter to tremble violently, and the petals shattered one by one. This time, the attack was fast and furious, and endless like a hurricane. Even though Mu Chen was using the strongest defense, it would still be like a boat in the middle of a hurricane that could be destroyed at any time. Boom! Lightning resounded continuously, and the violent bombardments lasted for a long time. Although Mu Chen was urging the immortal golden body to repair the immortal golden lotus, it was still unsustainable. Therefore, at a certain stage, the immortal golden lotus finally reached its limit and exploded. As the golden lotus shattered, many flashes of black lightning slammed into the immortal golden body, causing its surface to crack. However, the good thing was that the black lightning was gradually dissipating. Clearly, Mu Chen had survived another wave. The lightning dissipated, and even Mu Chen couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. He was obviously shocked by the power of the heavenly sovereign calamity. It was no wonder there were so few heavenly sovereigns. The calamity was enough to discourage masters who wanted to reach this level. Rumor has it that the heavenly sovereign calamity has four waves of attack. It should be over by now, Mu Chen muttered to himself. If more waves of attacks were to come, not just him, but even a true heavenly sovereign would not be able to withstand them. Buzz. However, just as he finished that thought, he felt a restlessness in the black clouds. He quickly looked up and saw all the black clouds retreating in one direction. After a few moments, the clouds disappeared, replaced by a black hole. The black hole was suspended quietly in the air, and it finally floated down slowly, locking onto Mu Chen. D asterisk MN. How can there be a fifth wave? The black hole descended, making Mu Chen's heart leap in fright, because he could feel the tremendous power contained within the black hole. That kind of power was scarier than a full-scale attack by the Blood Demon King. Mu Chen was shocked. Although there were some heavenly sovereign calamities that surpassed four waves, he did not expect to be so unlucky as to meet one. The hollow black hole seemed to have taken shape because it had absorbed too much of the chaotic light in this place, and that power was indescribable. This is really dangerous. 
Chapter 1397, left the northern spiritual realm at youth, now ascended the heavenly gates. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. Buzz. Amid the high altitude, a dark black hole dangled in the void. Its shape was somewhat illusory, and although its speed was not fast, when it fell, Mu Chen knew that he could not escape it. At that moment, an indescribable sense of crisis surged in his heart. He instantly understood that, if he had a slight accident, he might fall here today. Therefore, he did not hesitate to activate the immortal golden body. The purple gold rays of light glimmered, and regardless of all of the cracks on the body, he was able to mobilize all of its strength. As a result, a huge immortal golden lotus appeared, forming a barrier to protect him. This was Mu Chen's strongest defense, but it was hard to activate it twice in a row. Even though he was able to do it now, this exhaustion of energy would certainly damage the immortal golden body. Read novel full, however, since this was the most critical moment, he certainly could not hold back. Otherwise, all of his efforts would have been in vain. As Mu Chen summoned his strongest defense, the black hole eventually fell, fluttering down on the immortal golden lotus. At the moment of contact, endless black light burst out of the black hole and the golden lotus trembled violently. In the next moment, the golden lotus began to disintegrate at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. Even the power of the spiritual energy dissipated amid the black light. Mu Chen's most powerful defense was completely shattered under the influence of that black light. It was at this moment, that Mu Chen's mind shook violently. After his flesh had been rebuilt, for the most part, he looked up at the golden lotus, which had been eroded in just a few moments. An aura of death enveloped his heart. If he were an ordinary person, he would have been filled with horror and despair. However, over the years, Mu Chen had experienced numerous life and death struggles. Thus, although there were fluctuations of myriad emotions in his eyes, there was no fear within them. He pursed his lips and did not give up in the face of the dark void. Instead, he tried his best to blend himself with the immortal golden body in order to resist it. After a few minutes had passed, the golden lotus had completely disappeared. The dark hole fell again. This time, it charged towards the immortal golden body and Mu Chen's half-reshaped physical body. Mu Chen raised his face as the immortal golden body that was surrounded by purple gold light grew more powerful and mellow. From afar, it looked like a giant Buddha, sitting in the void. As the black hole fell, its overbearing black light poured over the immortal golden body, causing the purple gold rays to fade. The immortal golden body was quickly turned into nothingness, starting from its head down to its feet. Mu Chen gazed at this scene, then slowly closed his eyes. In the moment of destruction, his heart seemed to completely merge with the immortal golden body, while a touch of enlightenment rose from his heart. The dark light shrouded the immortal golden body, which soon disappeared underneath it. Mu Chen's flesh, which had been half remade at this point, also dissipated instantly. Amid the chaos, Mu Chen's silhouette completely dissipated, as if it was turning into nothingness amid the heavenly spiritual tribulation. Soon after Mu Chen's had completely dissipated, the black hole also slowly dissipated. At that moment, the whole chaotic scene was enveloped in dead silence. Such a stillness lasted for an indefinite period of time, as within the chaos, time still passed slowly, as if it was frozen. Outside Mount Blood Demon Bai Susu and the others stared at the huge pagoda, their gazes anxious. Although Mu Chen seemed to have been practicing for decades amid the chaos, only half a day had actually passed outside. Although only half a day had passed, they were still consumed with worry. As they could feel that the light above the pagoda had begun to dim, which meant that it would not be long before the Blood Demon Emperor would emerge. If Mu Chen did not return by then, they would be reduced to ashes with the flick of the Blood Demon Emperor's finger. Read novel full, don't worry, we are now at the last step. It's all up to fate now. Reverend White Dragon seemed to be much calmer than the Est, as he was accustomed to life and death circumstances. He also knew that, at this point, no matter how much they worried, it would be of no help. Hence, it would be better to wait quietly than to worry in vain. When Bai Susu heard his words, she calmed down a little, then said, The Lord will surely prevail. Reverend White Dragon sighed. He had practiced in the Great Thousand World for a long time, so he naturally was very clear about how difficult it was to break through to the rank of Heavenly Sovereign. Also, there were so many fatal death traps in the Ascension to become a Heavenly Sovereign. One wrong move, and one would be reduced to ashes instantly. Therefore, although he thought that Mu Chen was indeed talented, as to whether he could really break through to become a Heavenly Sovereign, it was really unknown. Back amid the chaos, an indefinite amount of time had passed. The stillness pervaded the space all this time. Then, one day, there was a change. A purple and golden speck of dust was seen. Although it was weak at first, after a while, it emitted purple gold rays that shone brightly. The rays of light spread as the grain of purple gold dust expanded in the wind. In just a few moments, it transformed into a purple golden light cocoon. Upon the cocoon of light, ancient runes from heaven and earth seemed to be engraved. 
These gold patterns symbolized the meaning of immortality. As soon as the purple golden cocoon was formed, it swallowed all of the chaos of heaven and earth. After a long time, it seemed to have reached a certain limit. At that time, a crack spread upon the purple golden cocoon. Crack. Crack. The crack was unstoppable, and it soon spread to every corner of the purple golden cocoon. In the next moment, the purple golden cocoon shook violently and erupted. At that moment, an indescribable aura condensed within the chaos. As the aura formed, even the chaos of the light retreated, as if it did not dare to make contact with it. If one looked at the scene carefully, he would see that a shadowy figure was within the endless purple gold light. After a few moments, the figure gradually became clearer. A slender youth stood tall and was dressed in dark robes. Purple gold light surrounded him, and as the light flickered, it caused the heavens and earth to shake and the winds and clouds to surge and howl. This figure was, of course, Mu Chen. His eyes were closed, and as they slowly opened, it seemed as if they contained the entire sky. With just a sweep of his gaze, he caused the space where he stood to be engulfed in turmoil. He lowered his head slightly and looked at his own flesh, which was faintly illuminated with a jade light. It was truly untainted and pure to the utmost, for by this time, his body was in complete harmony, both flesh and spirit. From now on, even if his flesh was destroyed, as long as the spiritual energy between heaven and earth remained, he would be able to regenerate his body. It was as if he was immortal. Is this how being a heavenly sovereign feels? Mu Chen murmured, as he now possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth with just a wave of his hand. This power made him feel intoxicated, and it was something which he had never imagined. Such power. No wonder the heavenly spiritual tribulation is so terrifying. Mu Chen pursed his lips. If he had not merged with the immortal golden body and realized the third sovereign superpower, he would have been dead by now. This third sovereign superpower, the immortal change of life and death, was the last superpower art of the immortal golden body. It was extremely mysterious and mystical, and the conditions for activating it were unusually harsh. Only in the face of real death was it able to be completed. But, once this was done, even in the face of death, one could be born again and become even stronger. However, this superpower required a great deal of courage to control. After all, not everyone possessed the courage to face life and death. Mu Chen smiled and lamented the fact that he had suffered many times in order to accomplish this feat but, he still was not shaken. His blood, sweat, and tears had finally paid off. He had left the northern spiritual realm as a youth, and now, he had ascended the heavenly gates. Mu Chen laughed, and with a wave of his sleeve, his figure dissipated between the nothingness, and the chaos disappeared at the same time. Mount Blood Demon Rumble Between heaven and earth, there was a constant roar. Each roar caused by Susu and countless natives to turn pale and shiver in fear. This was because the roar came from the pagoda. At this moment, the pagoda was constantly shaking, as it had a terrible force that was raging within it. It was obvious that the pagoda was about to collapse. Boom! Another loud noise reverberated, and the pagoda jerked violently as it soared into the sky. The bottom of the pagoda was shattered, while a sea of blood swept out from its base. Finally, the sea of blood formed into the figure of the blood demon emperor in midair. As Bai Susu and the others looked at the figure of the Blood Demon Emperor, their hearts were filled with despair. However, they soon found that the Blood Demon Emperor did not care about them at all, but looked up in the air solemnly, completely ignoring them. Bai Susu and the others were stunned, but then, they seemed to understand suddenly. They looked up to see that a chaotic light had just descended from the sky. As the light dispersed, a familiar slender figure stepped out from it. Then, a cheerful laugh rang out, instantly calming the fear in everyone's hearts. I apologize for making everyone wait. The figure said. Chapter 1398, The Power of a Heavenly Sovereign Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The light of chaos scattered in the sky. A young figure stood in the air as his robes fluttered in the wind. His handsome face glimmered with a jade-like light, and his dark eyes were as deep as the stars. People could not help but look and be lost in them, as they found it hard to extricate themselves. The moment when Mu Chen appeared, Bai Susu and Reverend White Dragon stared unblinkingly, as they clearly felt the difference in him. Mu Chen's spiritual power in the past was majestic. Even though it had not been triggered, it still emitted a terrible spiritual pressure, causing people to feel oppressed. However, Mu Chen no longer emanated that kind of pressure. He smiled and stood in the air, and it was as if his spiritual energy had completely dissipated. There were no spiritual fluctuations at all. While they could see Mu Chen standing there, there was no aura at all in their perception, just nothingness. Thus, even if they launched a violent offensive attack in Mu Chen's direction, they wouldn't even be able to touch his sleeve. They looked at each other as shock crept up their faces. Of course, they didn't think that Mu Chen's spiritual energy had really dissipated, now that they could not sense his presence. 
There was only one explanation, and that was the gap between them and Mu Chen had reached an unsurpassable point. Mu Chen had successfully crossed the heavenly barrier and stepped into the realm of heavenly sovereign. Did the Lord really succeed? Bai Su Su murmured, her eyes full of shock. Although she was unfamiliar with the heavenly sovereign realm, from the gap between the blood demon emperor and the blood demon king, she truly knew what a great gulf existed between those two realms. A big part of the reason why she had always believed in Mu Chen was because she has no other choice. Mu Chen was her last hope, so in order not despair to the point of collapse, she had to hold on to that hope tightly. She made herself believe that glimmer of hope could really save them. However, in her suppressed rationality, Bai Su Su did not have much hope that Mu Chen would break through to Heavenly Sovereign. Thus, when she saw Mu Chen, she was utterly shocked. Truly a talent favored by the heavens. Reverend White Dragon sighed deeply. As a man greatly knowledgeable about the Great Thousand World, he was well aware of how amazing this achievement was. Such a gift was truly marvelous. At the same time, he was immensely glad. Who would have thought that the inadvertently formed good fate in the past actually could fulfill his wish? As Bai Su Su and the others were stunned by Mu Chen's success, the Blood Demon Emperor's face was dark. His original condescending demeanor had dissipated completely. The moment Mu Chen stepped into the rank of Heavenly Sovereign, the Blood Demon Emperor knew that his original advantage had disappeared. D asterisk M in it, if I had known this would happen, I wouldn't have withheld my full strength. The Blood Demon Emperor was filled with regret. In his previous clash with Mu Chen, although he did not have mercy, he also did not exert his means to the extreme. Otherwise, with his class strength as a demon emperor, no matter how many means Mu Chen had, he wouldn't get any advantage. Not to mention, he could have trapped him to win the most critical breakthrough time. Mu Chen saw the blood demon emperor's sullen look. He knew what he was thinking and immediately smiled. There's no use for regret now. The blood demon emperor's eyes twitched as he inhaled a deep breath and suppressed the upwelling emotion in his heart. Even if you step into the rank of heavenly sovereign, you won't be able to win. But now you do have the right to negotiate face to face with me, and if you agree, I can lead my tribe out of this plane. Mu Chen smirked and replied, isn't it a bit too late for you to want to leave now? He lifted his gaze, and a cold glint flashed in his eyes as if it contained the whole of the universe. You have massacred and caused much bloodshed here. Did you think we would just forget about it? The blood demon emperor's eyes flashed with a chilling glint as he raised his head and glared at Mu Chen fiercely. I just don't want to fight with you and cause damage to both parties. That is why I back down. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Mu Chen looked at his fierce appearance as he smiled nonchalantly. He conjured up seals with one hand as the space fluctuated. A black and a white silhouette then walked out slowly from the space. In that case, I welcome your advice. Three Mu Chens stared at the Blood Demon Emperor coldly as the space around them rippled. As the ripple spread, it seemed as if the whole world was shaking. Reverend White Dragon, Bai Su Su, and the crowd gulped in apprehension. After a long time, Reverend White Dragon just gasped as he exclaimed, what a terrifying superpower art. Although Mu Chen's Qi into Trinity had been tough in the past, it was not too shocking. Now that he had ascended to Heavenly Sovereign and put this skill into play, people would truly feel frightened, for when this skill was executed, it manifested three true Heavenly Sovereigns. Looking at the three identical Mu Chen's in the sky, even the Blood Demon Emperor's eyes were filled with fear. Originally, he thought that Mu Chen's clones could only manifest into ranks lower than that of a Heavenly Sovereign. The scene before him truly terrified him. If this played out, it meant that he would face three heavenly sovereigns. There was no doubt he was bound to lose this battle. Whoosh! Therefore, with a wave of his sleeve, a torrent of blood suddenly emerged, raging in heaven and earth. It charged towards the three Mu Chens, but his form transformed into a bloody ray of light and retreated. It seemed that he was going to run away without fighting. Mu Chen looked at the blood demon emperor retreating without hesitation and laughed sarcastically. He stretched out his hand and held it against the torrential sea of blood, only to see that the sky and earth were shining with light. The space in front of him was broken apart, as if it had formed a huge mouth. He swallowed the sea of blood and threw it into another void. At the same time, his other palm grasped at the blood demon emperor in the distance. Bang! The world shattered into tens of thousands of huge black holes. The countless space debris transformed into an invisible force and then into a massive, transparent space palm, grasping the blood demon emperor within. Boom! Endless bloody light rose into the sky, and in the next moment, a massive crimson demonic shadow condensed. It shocked the space palm and escaped. Whoosh! At this point, however, the white-robed Mu Chen appeared above it and pointed in the air. Whirr! Endless gales of wind gathered and turned into a huge pillar of wind. The wind column seemed to have materialized into a tangible substance and descended fiercely, suppressing the blood demon emperor. The crimson demonic shadow roared as it blasted out demonic fists and clashed brutally with the wind column. Bang! However, at the moment of contact, the wind column suddenly dispersed into hundreds of millions of spatial gales. 
As each gale passed, it tore wounds out of the red demonic shadow, causing it to howl in pain. Mu Chen was a heavenly sovereign now, and every attack was far more terrifying than it had ever been. It was obviously not possible for the blood demon emperor to be as relaxed as before. Whoosh! When the white-robed Mu Chen dragged down the crimson demonic shadow, the space in front of it was distorted. A black-robed figure stepped out of the air, and the black-robed Mu Chen looked indifferent. Without a word, his body burst out with a glittering glow of jade light. He looked crystal clear, and even his flesh and blood had transformed into white jade. This was the true body of a heavenly sovereign. Once triggered, one would be able to control the power of heaven and earth with every move. With the flick of a finger, he could cause the world to collapse. The black-robed Mu Chen triggered his heavenly sovereign body. He dealt out a fluttering blow that seemed to have no power. However, when it surged out, it ignored the space in front of them and landed on the blood demon emperor's chest. Boom! As the blow fell, the world vibrated violently. The crimson demonic shadow suffered a huge impact as he flew back. Amid his wails of agony, the shadow erupted. Puff! The shadow crumbled, a bloody beam of light shot out, and he spewed out a mouthful of blood. Apparently, this was the blood demon emperor's real body. In this short battle, the blood demon emperor lost completely without any countervailing force. Three silhouettes fell from the sky and occupied three positions around him, entrapping him. Their indifferent gazes swept across, causing the blood demon emperor to feel cold all over. The blood demon emperor looked at Mu Chen's eyes filled with murderous intent, and he knew that the latter would not let him go today. Thus, his gaze gradually became vicious. Do you really think you're going to win for sure? His voice was malicious as he glared eerily at Mu Chen. Mu Chen's eyes narrowed as bright spiritual light condensed on his fingertips. He did not intend to waste his breath and was ready to deal the fatal blow. Whoosh! However, the blood demon emperor bit the tip of his tongue, and a mouthful of pure blood spewed out and soared straight into the sky. It was as if a crimson token talisman had been summoned in his blood. It exploded, causing the space to erupt. Demon summoning talisman, demons descend. As his chilling voice rang out, the void became dark as it formed a passage of space. At the end of the passage, an incomparably evil aura surged. Seeing this, Mu Chen's gaze turned grave. The end of the space passage led to the territory of the extraterritorial race. Chapter 1399, Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio This was a gloomy world, as its sun and moon were very dark. They emitted a gray light that enveloped the endless world. Buzz! Suddenly, there was a strange wave that turned into a huge spatial whirlpool. It immediately attracted many powerful beings' attentions. Everyone looked towards the end of the whirlpool, which seemed to be connected to the lower plane, and couldn't help but comment about it. Someone actually triggered the demon summoning talisman. Looking at the fluctuation, it should be the fiend blood tribe. Who would have thought that the small clan would have a demon emperor? He's really good at hiding. But, it is a small clan that has a weak background. Otherwise, why would it have been forced to use the demon summoning talisman? This talisman can only lead to the arrival of one demon emperor, depending on who has that interest. One by one, demonic thoughts interacted between heaven and earth, but no demon emperor really wanted to intervene. After all, the lower plane had been sucked dry by the fiend blood tribe, and their value was not particularly large. Furthermore, the situation was unclear at the moment, so it would be unwise to rush into anything. As some of the demon emperors thought about this, in the space that was filled with corpse gas, a dark figure was closing his eyes on a majestic throne that was made of bones. At this time, he seemed to sense something and opened his eyes abruptly. His eyes pierced through space into the lower plane. Finally, his gaze landed on a young figure, while a chilling glint flashed in his gray-white eyes. This man has the lingering aura of death that was left by my child. I suppose he must be the one who murdered my child. The dark figure looked at the young figure coldly, and with a wave of his sleeve, he detached his dark palm from his body. It then turned into a black light that shattered the void. In just a few moments, it appeared before the whirlpool of space and fell into it. This scene caught the attention of many of the demon emperors, and when they sensed the person who had just made the move, they were all shocked. It's actually the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor from the Corpse Devil Clan. Why would he strike, one of them wondered aloud. The Corpse Devil Clan was one of the 32 clans of the extraterritorial race, and the dark figure who had just struck was the clan leader of the Corpse Devil Clan. He was a Heaven Demon Emperor and was one of the strongest among the extraterritorial race. Generally, such existences would not strike easily, but now that he had suddenly taken action, it was natural for the other Demon Emperors to be shocked and bewildered. 
Although the Heaven Demon Emperor had simply turned his hand into the embodiment of himself and sent it into the lower plane, the power of a Heaven Demon Emperor would ensure that, even if it was only being emitted from his hand, it was a power that was far from what an ordinary Heavenly Sovereign would possess. It seems that the Heavenly Sovereign in the lower plane has offended this Lord. Ha, huh, poor thing. Many demons began to retreat. Now that a Heaven Demon Emperor had struck, the Heavenly Sovereign of the Great Thousand World was doomed. In the lower plane. As Mu Chen looked at the space passage that was connected with the other side of the world, his gaze turned solemn. Then, he immediately thought of a move. He quickly transformed his vast power into a giant hand, which covered the sun and struck the space whirlpool, trying to smash it into pieces. Bang! The heaven and earth trembled, but the space whirlpool only shook a little, yet was not broken. At this time, Mu Chen could sense an indescribable aura of evil emanating from the end of the space. As soon as that aura appeared, it shrouded the whole world and countless creatures trembled and whined. Even the ground rumbled and shook. This aura. Mu Chen's pupils contracted, as he was no stranger to this gas. In fact, he had experienced it before, when he had encountered the Prince of the Corpse Devil Clan. However, it was obvious that the aura of death this time was many times stronger than the Prince's had been. The Blood Demon Emperor glanced at the space passageway and was astonished. A moment later, he exclaimed in shock, Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor, Although the demon summoning talisman could attract the emperors to come to his aid, the blood demon emperor never thought that he would lead this existence over. Even within the whole extraterritorial race realm, the black corpse heaven demon emperor was the pinnacle of all of the existences. As such, the existence of such a figure would not have heeded his invitation at all. But, no matter how shocked he was, it was the truth. He was indeed here. The blood demon emperor looked at Mu Chen again. He then shook his head and sneered. You are truly unlucky. If this was just an ordinary demon emperor, perhaps Mu Chen could have still remained undefeated. However, this was the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor from the Corpse Devil Clan. Mu Chen ignored his mocking, while he looked gravely at the end of the space, where the aura of death had seeped in. It was clear that the Heaven Demon Emperor was breaking the shackles of his plane and trying to descend upon it. It was obvious that the Heaven Demon Emperor had unimaginable power, as even the sturdy plane shackles were breaking at an amazing rate. In a matter of minutes, Mu Chen saw a black light appear, while a dark, bony palm stretched out of it. The dark palm gave off a black light as it gradually twisted, then finally turned into a dark figure. The figure stood outside the plane, like a demon god. As his piercing gaze locked onto Mu Chen, his emotionless voice was heard from outside the sky, ringing in every corner of the world. Are you the one who killed my son? He asked Mu Chen. Mu Chen's gaze grew solemn. He finally understood why he had attracted the Heaven Demon Emperor from the Corpse Devil Clan here. Apparently, he had caused this trouble by killing the Emperor's son. Before the Prince died, he had wrapped his aura around Mu Chen's body. But, in the past, he was in the Great Thousand World, so naturally, the Heaven Demon Emperor from the Corpse Devil Clan could not sense it. However, since the Blood Demon Emperor had connected with the territory of the extraterritorial race, the Heaven Demon Emperor was now aware of the scent of death upon Mu Chen. Realizing this, Mu Chen narrowed his eyes and nodded calmly. Since that is the case, I will take you back today and turn you into a corpse puppet. Although the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor spoke calmly, his voice was filled with cruelty and killing intent. When Mu Chen heard his words, he laughed and said, I'm afraid it won't be what you want. Oh? The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor smirked coldly, while he looked down on the entire plane and mocked Mu Chen. Did you think that by becoming the worldly lord of this plane, you could be on par with me? I'm not so arrogant to think such a thing. Mu Chen smiled. No matter how confident he was at this time, he would not feel that he had the ability to battle a heaven demon emperor, even if he was just a manifestation of his palm. What the heck are you doing? The blood demon emperor sneered at Mu Chen, as he did not understand his behavior. The black corpse heaven demon emperor frowned as a black light emerged in his eyes. Mu Chen's behavior was indeed a little strange. In any case, I will capture you and kill you. As he spoke the black light in his eyes surged and he stretched out his palm. The corpse gas permeated the air and bombarded the plane violently. Then, the entire plane trembled, the sky broke apart, and the earth capsized. In the face of the black corpse heaven demon emperor's power, which was capable of destroying heaven and earth, Mu Chen was utterly calm. He closed his eyes, letting the heaven demon emperor attack the world violently. You are just going to shut your eyes and wait for death. The blood demon emperor made a sarcastic comment, trying to distract Mu Chen. His calmness clearly made him a little uneasy. However, Mu Chen still ignored him. Boom. The world continued to shake, while Bai Susu and Reverend White Dragon looked horrified beyond the distant void. They could only see a terrible corpse gas pouring in through the plane shackles. Under the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's attack, the whole plane was crumbling, and it was about to be broken. 
However, at this moment, Mu Chen's eyes finally opened and a serene smile appeared on his handsome face. Beyond the plane, the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor looked at Mu Chen and frowned. Then, with just a point of his finger, the corpse gas gathered continuously, then turned into a large skull. The skull screeched and charged forward, wanting to tear apart the entire plane. However, just when the skull was about to make contact with the barrier, a raging thunder rumbled beyond the plane. The endless thunder broke into the void and rolled in from an unknown location, then blew the corpse gas skull into smithereens. Who dares to get in my way? Seeing this, the black corpse heaven demon emperor's pupils contracted as he roared. Mu Chen let out a small puff of white air, then said with a smile, you have finally arrived. He then unclenched his fist slowly, while dust trickled out of his fingers. At this time, the space had been completely torn apart, and it seemed as if there was a sea of thunder that was howling out of it. Above the sea of thunder, a wistful figure, who was holding a lightning staff, stepped out of the void and appeared outside of the plane. The vast thunder rang through the sky as a deep authoritative voice was heard, if the heaven demon emperor wants to find an opponent, you can come to my martial border. Why display your power in this small lower plane? Did you really think there was no one who could rival you in the great thousand world? Chapter 1400, Martial Ancestor vs. Corpse Emperor Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio A voice containing grandeur rang through the sky for a long time. Under that sound, a vast sea of thunder surged from nothingness, and above it, a majestic figure also appeared outside of the plane. The figure was holding the Lightning Emperor staff, on which flashes of lightning shined. Each ray of flickering lightning caused the heavens and earth to shake. The silhouette was dressed in purple and black robes as he stood tall in the sea of thunder. His expression was firm and steady, as if he possessed infinite power. When this figure appeared, the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's face changed, and his gaze grew solemn. He said darkly, I didn't expect to meet the martial ancestor here. The border of the Great Thousand World was guarded by the martial border and had contact with the extraterritorial race. The martial ancestor had clashed with many formidable characters of the extraterritorial race, so his prestigious reputation resounded even within the extraterritorial race. Martial ancestor? In the lower plains, Reverend White Dragon looked at the figure who appeared outside the plane in utter shock. For those who came from the lower plains, the martial ancestor was legendary, and he had never thought that he would see him in person one day. Reverend White Dragon sighed and immediately looked towards Mu Chen, deeply impressed. I did not expect that young brother Mu had such strong connections, that he could even invite a character such as the martial ancestor. It was no wonder that even though he had seen the arrival of a heaven demon emperor, Mu Chen had not shown much panic. He still had such means in his hands, which made White Dragon most impressed. The young man had truly made his mark in the Great Thousand World. Mu Chen smiled at Reverend White Dragon's exclamation, then looked up into the sky. One was a heaven demon emperor, and the other was a divine heavenly sovereign. This encounter would be an amazing show. Outside the world, the martial ancestor's deep, unfathomable eyes first looked at the lower planes. With his power, he could easily know what had happened in this plane with a brief scan. A cold glint flickered in the depths of his eyes. Martial ancestor was also from the lower planes, so he knew very well what a terrible nightmare the extraterritorial race was to the humans and creatures there. In the past, in his lower planes, even his wife gave her life to help him in order to destroy the demons. All this led to martial ancestor's hatred of the extraterritorial race. It was like a replay of the story. Waves of emotion surged in his eyes as he glanced at the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor. Corpse Demon, you should hide in your realm. How dare you wreak havoc in my Great Thousand World and Lower Plains. The martial ancestor's cold voice reverberated as billions of peals of thunder roared, shaking the sky. Although the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor was wary of the martial ancestor, he was also a clan leader, after all. Listening to the martial ancestor's insults, he was furious but smiled. He may have only been a palm, but the present martial ancestor was obviously only a spiritual energy manifestation. Thus, the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor was not afraid. Although the other party was famous, he was no pushover, either. The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor pointed at Mu Chen in the lower plains and said coldly, Martial Ancestor, this fiend killed my son and almost slaughtered the fiend blood clan. If you hand him over today, I will leave. The Martial Ancestor looked towards Mu Chen and smiled. He said appreciatively, if so, he has done very well. The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's face twitched as he said eerily, it seems that Martial Ancestor doesn't want to settle this amicably today. The Martial Ancestor smiled and said, who wants to settle this amicably with you? Today, I will be sure to collect your palm. Humph, I don't believe it. With your mere spiritual energy manifestation, what can you do to me? The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor mocked him. Since they could not come to a compromise, he did not hesitate further. With a wave of his sleeve, thick corpse gas permeated the air and covered the skies. Roar. All of a sudden, a roar rumbled from the corpse gas. 
Hundreds of skeleton corpse beasts burst out, and above each one there was an extremely strong fluctuation. These skeleton corpse beasts had clearly been specially created by the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor. The beasts had very strong physical bodies, especially their heads. Even a spiritual great heavenly sovereign would be at a loss as to what to do. The martial ancestor stepped on the Sea of Thunder, and his gaze did not fluctuate as he looked at the group of roaring beasts. He thumped his lightning staff on the ground, and lightning and thunder raged through the sky. As lightning and thunder surged, the Lightning Emperor staff transformed into a massive lightning dragon. As the dragon circled the space, one could not see the end of it. Lightning bolts surrounded its body as all kinds of colors constantly changed. Every lightning bolt seemed to have extremely destructive power. Mu Chen looked at the lightning dragon solemnly. In his perception, the lightning dragon was extremely extraordinary, and it did not look inanimate. It seemed to be sentient, like a true lightning dragon. If he encountered this lightning dragon, he would not necessarily be able to gain much of an upper hand. Roar Mu Chen was startled as the lightning dragon roared in the sky. Its open mouth was like a black hole, and hundreds of millions of thunder and lightning bolts shot out. They were like chains of lightning piercing directly through the void, entangling the corpse beasts. Clatter. The chain shook, shot backwards, and tied up the corpse beasts. They finally fell into the lightning dragon's mouth. Swallowing the corpse beasts, the lightning dragon belched and patted its abdomen contentedly. It then turned into lightning and transformed back into the lightning emperor's staff in the martial ancestor's hands. When the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor saw this, his face darkened. His corpse beasts contained the most domineering corpse demon venom. If other heavenly sovereigns and demon emperors had encountered it, they would have been eroded and became corpses themselves. However, when they had been swallowed up by the lightning dragon, he could feel an extremely ferocious force neutralize the corpse demon venom. Obviously, the martial ancestor had easily countered his means. The martial ancestor glanced at the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor and remarked nonchalantly, Now that you've made your move, if you can resist my move, I'll let you go today. How arrogant! The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor was enraged but laughed. He was a Heaven Demon Emperor but now was repeatedly mocked by the Martial Ancestor. How could he not be furious? I would like to see today how worthy you are. How dare you speak to me like this? However, in the face of the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's anger, the Martial Ancestor was unbothered. With a thought, a halo emerged from behind his head. The halo was in the form of a ring, and on it were eight colors. They were clear and distinct as the halo rotated slowly. Whoosh! The eight-colored halo shot out and expanded in the wind. It instantly became tens of thousands of feet huge, and shrouded heaven and earth. The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor was enveloped in the halo center. Humph! The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor snorted coldly as thick corpse gas surrounded him. In the next moment, droplets of Black Corpse water dripped down from his body. The Black Corpse water, known as, Abominable Corpse water, was thick and pungent, as if it were filled with the indescribable gas of death and extinction. Even if just a drop fell into the lower planes, the entire plane's hundreds of millions of creatures would be turned into corpses and carcasses. Go! With a flick of his finger, the drops of black corpse water burst out into a small stream. It seemed silent, but when it passed, even the void gave off a breath of stillness. The corpse water stream polluted the world and finally clashed with the massive eight-colored halo. The abominable corpse water had the power of filth. When it came into contact with any spiritual energy, not only was the energy infected, but it even spread to the form's physical body, depriving it of its vitality and turning it into a skeleton. Under such evil water, no matter how tenacious one was, one couldn't live. Therefore, when the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor saw the corpse water fall on the eight-colored halo, he immediately revealed a cold smile. The martial ancestor was formidable, but he was too proud. And today, this pride would be his fatal flaw. Piesich the corpse water came into contact with the eight-colored halo and began to corrode it, trying to erupt its force of terrible erosion and filth. Boom! However, the eight-colored halo suddenly burst out with bright splendor. Eight spiritual lights flickered on it including lightning, darkness, ice. The eight kinds of spiritual light each represented a different nature of spiritual energy. They were incredibly strong but had no resistance to each other. Instead, they blended with each other as a brilliant flame rose on the halo. The flame was extremely wonderful. It was seemingly fire, but there was cold ice and thunder flickering within it. Upon seeing this, Mu Chen could not help but sigh. It was rumored in the Great Thousand World that the martial ancestor had the most spiritual attributes. It seemed that it was true, indeed. This extraordinary fire swallowed and puffed, engulfing the abominable corpse water. The flame burned, and the corpse water turned into light smoke and dissipated. The black corpse heaven demon emperor's face immediately changed, as he was filled with dread. This flame seemed to have the power to destroy demons. Before he could have any more thoughts, the eight-colored ring of fire suddenly shrank. 
It had been a million feet in size before, but in the next moment, it surrounded the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's body and shrank rapidly to bind it. The Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor's eyes narrowed as his body expanded, trying to shatter it. Whoosh! At this point, the eight-colored ring of fire fell upon his body, and in the next moment, his body suddenly stiffened. The eight-colored fire invaded his body, and in a flash, he was ablaze. Ah! The flame was obviously terrifying and unstoppable, and even the Black Corpse Heaven Demon Emperor could not resist it. He yelped in agony, and in just a few moments, his body melted down and turned into a charred, dry hand. Bang! The eight-colored ring of fire shook as the palm turned into powder and scattered into nothingness. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.